Oh god, I don't know how to say this. <sighs> I don't know how to say this. Hello there mortals, I'm Jensen and welcome back to Hydra Nier. Unfortunately, I have some more bad news. I am going to show you the world that we left with yesterday. And you saw in the last episode that we did save it about four times before we left. I'm going to go into uh, the subscribe world right here. We're going to load it. And unfortunately, there is no world anymore. It's all gone. Everything that we did in the last session is gone. Uh, we are going to return to the menu. And look, here is the real issue here. I am part of 0.1% players that have ever experienced this bug. I'm also going to show you the backup because everybody on the internet is saying when the game is broken, go into the backup, load that, see if that's going well. Unfortunately, no, the backup is also completely broken. So we've lost everything from the last session, unfortunately. Hello there, Happy Ninja. How are we today? It broke again? It most certainly did, but I'm not deterred. I'm not deterred. We are going to play this game. I think I have fixed it because when I last uh, tried to start up a world last night, I completely uninstalled the game. I deleted all of the files, except for the saves, of course. I was hoping to fix the old save. And then I fired up a new world and it saved everything in that. So this session hopefully will be saved. I'm going to hit new game right here. And this time we're going to call it the same thing as we usually call it, but this time with a twist. We're going to call it subs uh, for the last time subscribe right here done for the last time subscribe if this save also breaks we're going to stop playing this game even though it's really fun not having any progress any session is really frustrating so we're going to hit uh i'm actually going to go into the steam cloud save as well and we'll hit new game the issue with the steam cloud is that if the save breaks then it'll overwrite the steam cloud as well but hopefully uh we will not be at that point so we're back into a brand new game and this time, we're going to play a little bit differently. We're not going to go into fishing so hard, but we are going to have to gold pan for a bit. What we're going to do is we're going to immediately go ahead and mine a gigantic hole in here with the first bit of money that we can find, and we're going to go straight to the bottom of the map. How does that happen? No one knows. Not even the developer uh, knows. This bug has been reported several times. Developers can't replicate it, unfortunately, so it can't be fixed, which is a real pain, but I do break games on my channel for a living that's that's exactly what i spend all of my time doing and it's part of the course that i have completely ruined this game uh in the first place so we'll do the first bit we'll get our dirt we'll uh shovel our dirt into this pan right here and we'll just hunker down just doing this for a little bit i think that's annoying it is very annoying it is very very annoying but we do have the benefit of foresight in the previous iterations of this world we kind of set up all of our automation systems right at the top of the map and we don't necessarily want to do that again because now we know that we can get triple the resources if we just make a mad dash down to the bottom of the map which would require us essentially to dig a single hole which requires a pickaxe we can do that with a single pickaxe we'll have to mine out enough room for the machines and we'll have to actually get a grand together for the automation in the first place we may do a little bit of fishing we may not i have not actually decided on the fishing uh, let's pick this up and get another shovel full and we'll brush that good and we'll put that in the bucket good so whatever we get first, I think we should basically spend on a few pipes and we should pipe some water down to the bottom of the map and immediately go down there. That's probably going to be the best case scenario, right? Also, uh, for the last time, subscribe. That is a play on words. It is a play on words. You're not crazy. No one's crazy. Jensen touched the game, the game dies. That is true. I don't know if you've seen the uh, driving mechanics in this game, but every time I seem to get into a car, something breaks as well. Actually, the thumbnail that I have uh, for the stream and also for the YouTube content is of the uh, Hydronia sitting in the car in an upside down car underwater, which is quite funny. And uh, it just looks a little bit, a little bit sexy because that's the kind of vibe I ended up going for. Okay, I think we've got enough now to kind of spend on getting a pickaxe so we can go right to the bottom of the map. Also, Samin leaving me on a cliffhanger. Oh, right, the, uh, the Deltarune stream, right? Man, that is so, that, that's so unlucky. Basically, those are going up as fast as I can render them and upload them at 10 a.m. the consecutive day. Those, <laughs> that's how fast everything's going up. We should have about 50 bucks here. Ooh, 100. Nice. Good, so that'll get us a pickaxe and hopefully a couple of pipes. Probably won't be able to afford enough pipes to kind of pipe water down to the bottom of the map, but we will be able to get there in the first place, which is just fantastic. 
So we'll come down here. We will empty our bucket into this bucket right here. Okay, I was just making sure that only uh, the coins came out. Where are the pickaxes? Where are these bad boys? Are they even here? Yeah, there is actually one right here. 122 bucks. Still a bit expensive. That's unfortunate. That's okay. We'll go and we'll gold pan a little bit longer, I think. I think it is the fastest form of currency generation. But at the same time, you really do kind of have to be actively playing. Uh, instead of fishing, I might actually get into agriculture as well. Simply because in the previous session, somebody demanded I start farming. And we haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen any of the farming, at least on this channel. I have never seen the farming myself. Brush that. So I'd like to kind of see what the scales of, of farming get to as well. Uh, we'll get some dirt in this shovel right there. We'll brush that and we'll put it in the bucket right there. I know the start of the game can be a little bit repetitive, but we are getting very good at it with how many times we've restarted this map. Like, really, really good at this. And I'm hoping by the end of this week we'll be at the DLC area with a couple of um, bits of automation basically set up. Okay. We are actually getting money at a fairly alarming rate considering just how quickly gold panning is generating money. Still gonna... Nope, we want to put that in the bucket, and then we want to pick this up, put it back down, grab a little mm -hmm. bit more, so we don't have to do the dirt all over again. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we'll put that in there. Very nice. Brush time. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll grab this, put it down, grab it, shove it in there, and we will also mm -hmm. brush it. Is this, is this tickling everybody's autistic fetish? Yeah? Happy Ninja Wear, Nick. I don't know who Nick is. Is that like a, is, is that someone that pops up? Man, I wish I knew everybody's names. People keep changing their usernames on the YouTube chat and I keep, <laughs> I keep missing it. Stick that in there. And we will shovel some dirt onto the shovel right here. Boop. How far can you dig down? I have literally no idea, but it's not terribly deep on this first area. Essentially, once we get some decent automation set up, we want to kind of buy a license to go and mine a different location because there are different places you can go and dig deeper. There's a place called Ice Helm where we were kind of crafting in the previous episodes. I think that's got the best yield in the base game, but I could be completely wrong. It could be another place entirely. It's definitely the deepest place we can go. But what happened? What, to the save? It, uh, it corrupted. I have no idea, honestly, beyond that. I think it had something to do with um, the, the game itself corrupting. But there's literally no way of telling. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll drop that and we'll brush it. This should give us enough money. Actually, let's kind of empty out this river right here so we don't accidentally mm -hmm. sandbag ourselves with excess sand. Get out of the way. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brush that and we'll shovel that into the bucket. Boop. Done. We finished the first... Uh, part of the game, I think. Ooh. 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 <sighs> okay. So now we can do all the relaxing stuff as well. Something specific. I bet you do, you dirty bastard. I'm not going to give you anything specific, though. Not until we get automation set up, because once we get automation set up, we can start doing uh, other things. 100 bucks? 215. Wowee. That's exactly what we need. Uh, let's shove our money into this precariously placed bucket right here. Huh? Boop. Boop. Huh? Or not. <laughs> Come on, game. Come on. All right, now we're going to go straight to the shop. We're going to get a pickaxe. We're going to get a few pipes, and that should be us golden. We should get some really high-tier ores right at the bottom of the map. And then from there, we can start setting up the automation underground. And then we'll start thinking about a sorting system, I think. Find better prices than these. Really? That's good to know. That's probably why I'm here, actually. So first things first, we want a pickaxe. 122 buckery boos. That's fine. How much have we got? We've got 300. That's pretty good. I'll get a water intake pipe. We're probably just going to get a bunch of straight pipes as well to pipe right over where we need it to. I don't know if we can put the pipes in this bucket. I'm going to see. I'm going to see if we can. Can we? Do they clip? Ah, huh? oh, they still clip. Okay. So we're probably just going to get a, a hundred of these pipes and manually carry them. No, we're not. We're going to throw them in the back of the truck. Wait, what am I doing? We, we still have the cart. Would you rather a brownie or a 1,237 1, tons of peanut butter? <sighs> I'll take the peanut butter. Hell yeah. With that amount of peanut butter, I could start a company and buy myself my own brownie. That'd feel pretty good. Okay, we'll take all of our stuff over to this truck right here, which, believe it or not, we actually start with. This truck is ours. In the earlier builds of the game, we didn't get a truck, which is pretty nice. So, we have one now. We have a truck. Good, good. One more pipe. 
And good. We still need the intake. And we also need our pickaxe. Pickaxe, there we go. Good. So we can now get to the bottom of the map where we are just going to start mining up resources at an alarming rate. And we also want this intake pipe, don't we? I don't know how much more money we have. Probably not a huge amount. No containers for the nut butter, just the substance. Hey, I could sell handfuls of peanut butter. If it's really cheap, people would buy a handful of peanut butter off the street. I guarantee it. Hey, want a, want a handful of peanut butter, friendo? Sure, how much? 50 cents per handful. With that amount of weight, I could move a lot of peanut butter in a day. Just shoveling it with my hands. <laughs> and then I'll use, I'll use the revenue from that to buy a scoop or something. Okay, we got 100 bucks left. How much do these pipes cost? They're 22 bucks each. We could probably get four of them, unfortunately. We're like three bucks short for five. But I think this might do us for now. It'll at least get us water into a bucket as we need it. 88 bucks. Good. And we have 19 bucks, so I couldn't get a, a fifth one after all. Oop. Let's actually uh, kind of move this so that we can back it up and just fist everything into the back of here like we're selling peanut butter. Good. And here we go. One. And two. And three. And good. Now let's gap it back over here. Hey, what's up? How are we? I am really good at it, Ennis and Animations. We have unfortunately had to completely reset the, the save again based on uh, some poppycock <laughs> to do with the save, but I've completely reinstalled the game and we're going to try one more time to get this game to actually function. Okay, so I think that maybe about here would be a good place to do it because I really like setting up the sorting system on that side of the map. So maybe we just go over here and we just dig straight down. We'll do, the, we'll do the forbidden rule of Minecraft. We'll do exactly what the Minecraft has all told us not to do. Don't dig straight down. I think there are even songs made after that advice, but maybe, maybe not. Who knows? What do they know? We're the ones who are going to be massively wealthy. Oh, again, that's so sad. It is a little bit uh, of an upset, isn't it? But at the same time, we had a really inefficient setup in the last two runs, and now we are going to just make a mad dash to pure efficiency. So we, I don't think we're on any kind of incline down here, which is perfect. So we could probably pipe over this hole right here. I want to go right up to the wall and we want to try and make it as efficient as possible. So about here and now I'm going to go ahead and unstuck myself because that's the easiest way of getting out of a hole. We want a pipe to basically come straight over this drop right here. So let's try and orient an intake pipe towards that and we'll try and get that done. Uh, we can't or orient it perfectly, but we can orient it. Maybe like this? We go down? No, we can't, because we'd have to go through the earth, wouldn't we? Okay, game zero, Jensen three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I have a very high level of attrition. I Video games really struggle to frustrate me. I say that the Nightmare House uh, episode is going to be coming out soon. Unfortunately, it has been copyright struck to hell. Because the guy who uh, made the game specifically used copyrighted music as its exclusive uh, mm -hmm. source of, of music. And I didn't have the foresight to turn off the music, which I usually do in most games. So, Okay, let's see how far this goes. And then we will kind of like plan out... Oh, we don't have nearly enough. Probably need like another five or six. We probably actually need to do more uh, shoveling and brushing. We'll do that. We'll do that. It's okay. We're, we're happy to do it, right? Nightmare House 2? Uh, Nightmare House 2 will probably uh, be in one of these streams. I've decided I'm going to do a schedule. I'm going to be streaming every weekday, mm -hmm. which just kind of makes sense. And then I'll be uploading a couple of really, really good edits on the weekends. All right, let's grab that. We'll replace it. And we'll brush. And we'll shovel again. Boop. And then we'll brush. Huh? And then we'll shovel. Boop. And we'll put it back down. We'll shovel half of it. Huh? Uh, forgot to put it down into the bucket. That's embarrassing. Let's pick it up. And we'll shovel half of it again. Boop. There we go. Brush it and shovel it. And drop that and brush it. And drop that and shovel. Place. Shovel. In. Shovel. Place. Shovel. Uh -huh. And we'll drop it. And then we'll shovel in. Uh -huh. Huh? Huh? Oh, what am I doing? And how am I doing it so fast? What's going on, guys? Help! We literally have a stupid shotgun ape as a character right here. What game were you talking about, if not Nightmare House 2? Nightmare House, the first one. Oh, has it gone up? 
One of them has not gone up. I can't remember which one it is specifically. Okay, we'll brush this. There is one that's just like privated on my stream. I did stream Nightmare House uh, 2. No, not Nightmare House. It was uh, Afraid of Monsters. That, that was the one. Sorry, I had a little bit of a conniption there. Uh, we will put this back down. We'll grab a shovel load. We'll brush it. We could probably actually do this underground now, but again, we don't really have access to the water. We're going to need like a hundred bucks, I'd say. So this might be the last one to get that brush. And we go. Okie dokie. We also can't afford a bed, which is hilarious. The game should add an update where you can sell your own stuff that you don't need. There kind of is a method of doing that, but it's it's a little bit fiddly and a little bit frustrating, and it's certainly nowhere near where you start. It's in the Bridgeport City. There's a place called a scrapyard, and you can put things in the scrapyard. They'll pay you for it. Nice. That's exactly what we wanted. 100 bucks worth of crap right here. Excellent. And we're going to go straight back down. We're going to buy a bunch of stuff now. Nightmare House 1 was forever ago. It was, wasn't it? That one's that one's definitely live. I'm pretty sure that one's on the on the internet now. But the uh, five and a half hour long Afraid of Monsters, that one is in copyright hell, unfortunately. And there's not really a lot I can do about that. So I'm probably just going to release it with all the copyright strikes on it. But I, I don't want to get a copyright strike on my channel, just in case. Uh, we've actually got enough for another five pipes. So I'm going to bring this bucket back home. We're going to bring the cart over. Or should we bring the truck? I'll bring the cart. The cart's a little bit easier to maneuver. We probably want a bed at some point as well, but we still don't really have access to one. because Just because of the monetary limitations. Oh, yeah, it's really hard to find. I probably That's played this game for about 60 hours before I finally discovered you could scrap things. All right, we need five of these bad boys. Can we just dump them straight in? Yes, good. One, two, three, four. Whoops, that's an elbow pipe. And five. This should be all we need, I think, to kind of get the, uh, the the real easy levels going. How much have we got? Exactly enough. Good. Wonderful. We've got 15 bucks spare as well, which will not buy us a bed. We need seven bucks more for a bed, unfortunately. But we're still in a pretty good place. I'm still using my kind of, like, my shirtless, pantsless man with the moustache. I can't I can't say no to him. I can't say no to him. He's like a, a really, really cute kid. And I'm not talking about just like one on the street, but like my kid specifically. If, if it were my child, I would probably give them everything that they wanted. Oh dear. That's a little embarrassing. But we can still just keep on mining. We still need kind of like... We need to, we need to hollow this out anyway. So we'll just do it down here. We'll dig straight down here. Give ourselves direct access to the bottom here. Maybe this one as well. Yep. Looks like we are just going down. That's fine. Uh, we can't see anything down here, can we? This is completely blind. I'm going to unstuck myself. This is the easiest way out. We'll throw that lamp down there that we have over here. Good. Yesterday you had so much progress. Yes, but today we're going to get even more progress, I think. Yesterday was a was a big day, but today is just going to be straight off the bat, immediate efficiency. Oh, we forgot to turn the, uh, the lamp on as well. That's a little bit of a fart as well. Uh, can't drop the pickaxe, and we'll turn that on, and we'll drop it. Good, now we can actually see a little bit better. Uh, we can kind of see the water is coming down in here, so we could probably just get a bucket and go straight down here now. But I'm going to give myself a little bit more wiggle room as well. And we might also want to think about mining ourselves out a way out so we don't have to keep on relying on the unstuck button. So let's do that before we forget. Oops, probably don't want to be jumping up here either. Okay, and good. Nope, that's not good at all. Probably want to knock that down a bit, knock that one down a bit. And we should be good. Almost. Almost good. Almost very good. One more here. And we are good. Excellent. Hi there, Z30. How are we today? If people don't recognize Z30, he's the one I've been doing the uh, the Ready or Not series with. He's a, he's a personal friend. I'm not going to dox him, but uh, yeah, hey, roll out roll out the red carpet for Z30 right here. If I don't, if I if he doesn't message me and say, hey, I think your your chat is trying to gaslight me into into taking you out for dinner for something untoward, then you guys are doing it wrong. I want the red carpet rolled out for him. Yeah, you're chill. There we go. There we go. Please no, 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 no! Don't, don't worry, buddy. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get the, we're mm -hmm. gonna get all the stops out for you. Uh, we're playing some Hydraneer, by the way. It's really fun. I don't know if you've ever seen this game before because it's kind of a little mm -hmm. bit indie and underground. But my God, it is just satisfaction in a cup. 
We'll get that. Uh, we'll throw our shovel and brush down here as well. And now we're going to get some real big lumps. That's uh -huh. that's what this game is uh -huh. all about, I think. It's just about its, its enormous jiggly lumps. Maybe not jiggly. They're pretty solid, but... Here we go. All right. Uh, let's jump down because there's no fall damage. Thank, uh -huh. thank the Lord. Uh, probably want to also mine out probably a bigger little mole hill for us right here. So that we can kind of maneuver around so that we don't need to, like, look for somewhere to drop the shovel every single time as well. Honestly, this pickaxe is not that bad. I thought that the the upgrade from tier 1 to tier 2 would be quite substantial, but it doesn't actually appear to be the case whatsoever. I don't know what the difference could possibly be if, if that's not the case. All right, we'll get a little bit more room around us, and then we'll start exploiting the bottom layer here for its valuable resources. Great. I'm still kind of like, I'm mucking up my words a little bit because I'm still on the tail end of a cold, but, you know, it's, it's almost past. It's really, really good. Jensen getting big money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get big everything. We're going to get some some big big money. We're going to get some big uh, uh, cars. We're going to get some big... Uh, what else is big in this game? Whoa, that is a big nugget. Wow. Okay, so we've got some big nuggets. Great. Excellent. So it's kind of a little bit fiddly to, huh? to do this down here because, again, huh? we're limited by space. But it does seem like we are getting a lot done. Okay, we'll shovel that in. Brush it. I think already we've got about 50 bucks worth of crap in this bucket right here. So we should be in a really, really good place already. Okay, we need some more soil. Put that there. Very fun fun. Very fun fun indeed. Okay, we'll grab this. And... Oh, we've actually got an uncut gem in here. Wow, that is a huge emerald. And we've got an onyx. Sapphire, sorry. Okay, that's going to be big money as well if we can get ourselves a gem cutter. But... We probably won't worry about selling gems until we can get ourselves uh, the sorting system because cutting gems by hand is really, honestly, just the biggest pain in the ass. A bigger pain in the ass than, uh, you know, somebody sticking an adrenaline shot in there or something like that. Big shot? Oh, yeah, big shot. Definitely big shot. I love Spantum, by the way. He is uh, probably my favourite character in Deltarune so far. We haven't seen the icy place yet, but certainly so far he is my favourite character. Okay, we'll shove that bad boy right there, and we will brush that bad boy right there, and we will shovel more of that bad boy right in there, and then we'll brush that bad boy right there, and then we'll shovel more of that bad boy right there, and you know what's coming next? We're going to brush it. Of course we're going to brush it. How's everyone else doing? Remember the guy with the big sack from the last live? I beg your pardon? With the big sack? Oh, do you mean, um, Mr. Ligma? I remember Mr. Ligma. We, we all probably remember Mr. Ligma, right? This is already so much money, by the way. I can see the value in here. It's just huge. I sadly have an afternoon of meetings. Oh, dude, that absolutely sucks. I wish I wish that you could play video games all day instead like I do. Uh -huh. It's a shame that some of us have to, uh -huh. have to work for a living, uh -huh. but, you know, uh -huh. it is what it is. <laughs> uh -huh. Flexing my hobbies. All right, let's throw that into the bucket. We'll brush it. There's still some soil left in the bucket that we didn't really want to put in there. There we go. Good. Rip. Yeah, yeah, big rip. Big rip for Z. Okay, I am now going to take this, and we're going to see what kind of wealth we got after, what, like, four minutes? Four minutes of brushing? Oh, piss. <laughs> I think we're stuck. All right, well, that's why we've got this button right here. Now, we don't want to get into the habit of using the unstuck button because the unstuck button has a couple of bugs when it comes to the buckets and it can despawn some of your valuables, which obviously means decreased revenue. We don't want to, we don't want to rely on it too much. We probably want to get a staircase about as fast as possible. Jesus! See what I'm talking about? 20 minutes into the stream and we've already got a substantial amount of money. This is like an hour's worth of fishing right here that we've just got. Wow, I cannot believe that. Okay, we'll come all the way down here, and I think we'll spend it on a bed, right? Because we kind of, we like the sunlight in this game. As gamers, we don't usually like real sunlight, but the simulated sunlight, we, we're probably a little bit deficient in right now. Okay, bed, right here. One camp bed, Boop. and we own it. Excellent. How much? The bed, it was 22 bucks. We got uh, 500 bucks worth of crap out of it. Uh, good, there we go. We jumped over ourselves. Our sleep paralysis demon is haunting us. With his jockstrap, which is absolutely fine, I, I do not mind in this game. I, I'd probably mind if it were IRL, but uh, Sleep Paralysis Demon in this game, very courteous. How much have we got? We've got 538 buckery boost, which is enormous. We need a grand to get our automation over here. 
And then we're going to start doing kind of like a zigzag pattern of piping down under the ground so that we can get some automation. And we also kind of want to plan ahead to get the sorting system to pipe it above ground as well. When you're thinking horror games will be back, uh, probably about mid next week. I've been real desensitized recently and I tried to play... This is going to sound terrible, by the way. Um, so yeah, everybody get your um, your tissues out because it may make you guys cry. It made me cry a little bit. I tried to record a little bit of the Mortuary Assistant. You know, the game where you you basically do the bodies and uh, there are demons in the bodies. I did the first body, A-OK. -okay. Second body hit me like an absolute truck. Uh, the second body is 88 years old. Her name is Dorothy Page, which coincidentally is the same age and name as my own grandmother, the woman that uh, raised me. So that was um, a real, real nasty thing. And I mentioned in the last couple of streams, I've had some family issues going on in the background. One of those family issues is that my grandma is becoming really, really sickly and she uh, had a tumble last week, I think, maybe early this week, and she broke two of her ribs. So she is currently lying in bed in a very, very terrible state, and I'm not entirely sure if she will recover because she is she is getting to that age, and it's a little bit hard for me to talk about, but that that game absolutely just um, annihilated me for a bit. So I'm going to be giving the horrors a bit of a rest. That one hit me a bit too hard. Sup, Beach? Hey there, Cass. How are we doing? You know, you've got your real name on here, by the way. <laughs> It's sad. It is really, really sad. And it's like a, it's a one in a billion chance as well that a game that good just so happened to have my grandmother as a tutorial. Now I feel like an ass. No, it's absolutely fine. I was just kind of like talking about why I've been giving horror games a bit of a break recently. It's, it's, it's no biggie. Uh, I found a mod that allows you to kind of change the names in the naming pool of the game. And if that doesn't change the two names at the start of the game, then I will go ahead and I will uh, try and get my girlfriend to to play that bit for me. Or, or maybe my best friend, Carl. One of those two will definitely be keen to play the game. At least for a little bit. But yeah, un until then, I uh, horror has just gotten a little bit too close to home recently. So yeah, it is what it is. So I'm playing a bunch of games uh, now that really cheer me up. And this one here, Hydronia, is definitely one of them. This is been a labor of love since I got it in 2020 and all of the free updates are absolutely phenomenal. I don't think anyone can say anything bad about this game other than oh it can be a little bit repetitive and monotonous at times which huh? is kind of the point. <laughs> Your grandfather's in the hospital right now that absolutely sucks. I, I really hope they get better soon. Um, when my grandfather's health started dipping before he passed away uh, it, that hit me really hard as well. I can come over as well and do it for you. I, I would really appreciate that, actually. I, that would definitely be something that I would want you to do for me, uh, Z. Uh, I, again, not going to dox you or anything like that. My grandma on my dad's side and my grandpa on my mom's side died of cancer both. Damn, that is really rough. That is really, really rough. Uh, luckily, I don't really have a history of, of cancer. Um, my families tend to live an incredibly long amount of time. But I've also got a, a big family history of people being in excellent health up until like the last month of their life, where they kind of like dip. Hey there, Juju, how are we doing? How are we doing today? I was just talking about something rather depressing while we were kind of uh, getting over the, <laughs> the sad, sad fact that the last two worlds have uh, kind of disappeared due to a one in a million bug. It's been a, it's been a real month of one in a millions as well. Is Duolingo still chasing you? Uh, not necessarily, but I did see him kind of in the closet last night, unfortunately. So, uh, I, I do have something to fear from Duolingo at this point, but it's, 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 it, it seems like he's not that mad at me for missing those French lessons back in 2015. So, I think he's forgiven me. I think he's more interested in anybody else in the area. So, I, I gave him, um, my chat's name and number, and he's, he's going to be visiting everybody else instead of me. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I've thrown you under the bus. All right, let's go and sell these uh, immediate bits of wealth right here, and we will see whether or not we have accelerated our wealth uh, beyond the point where we need to manually do all these things like a stupid soil sim. Right? Not right now. I'm at a hotel. Oh, that is that is actually the best chart ever. I hope you stay there forever. I hope you stay there forever. Good. <laughs> No, I can't. I'm on two streak. Oh, two's not good enough. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. All right, let's uh, dip this right here. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah, we are definitely making money way faster than we were previously. How much have we got? We've got $1.3,000 straight off the bat. Half an hour into the stream. Isn't that insane? Well, Jesus, has it been that long since we've seen you? You or Moa's looking for... Oh, yeah, uh, I started growing it out. Uh, my, my girlfriend now calls it a porn stash, which I don't think is really accurate. Uh, all of the acne that I've got, by the way, has cleared up. I've been on a row Accutane cycle, so now my face actually looks like it belongs on YouTube. So, yeah, look, uh, quite a bit's changed aesthetically since you last seen me, but you know what they say, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Not really much else has changed. I've just, like, uh, been ticking away on YouTube as well. Hold up, I got room service. Don't answer it. Don't answer it, Juju. It's, it's Duolingo. He's, he's coming for you. Is this the game with the weird money glitch? Every game I've found has a weird money glitch. Every game I've found has a weird money glitch. Uh, there are so many games on my channel that have weird money glitches, and I find them all. I find them all. I'm like an efficiency expert what on YouTube. Business. That's, that's kind of what I do. I audit games for, for efficiencies. Oh no, it's Duolingo. Well, you're buggered. You're buggered, buddy. Okay, so we've got $1.3,000. We don't have the automation, so we're actually going to go ahead and buy that right now. Then we're going to see what we're left with. Then I think we're going to over-invest into elbow pipes and replace what we've got with this here automation, I think. Boop, boop. And 750 bucks less. We've got 640 left. We're going to stick this in this shop right here. And then we are going to see whether or not we can't pipe into the floor. Because right here, this is... Good for manual labor, but it's not amazing for what we want, which is to basically elbow a bunch of pipes down here and... Oops, I've fallen in the pit. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's start kind of like clearing out below here so that we can see where these elbow pipes go in advance, I think would be the best idea. What do you do when you see a rather bleak-shaped thing in <laughs> your green wall closet? You could have sworn was blue before. Uh, you should have done. You should have done your French lessons back in 2015. I remember seeing a video clip of this where you can just press a button and get a coin. You can just keep doing that. I don't want to do that. We are playing this game somewhat legitimately. Uh, to an extent, until we start driving the car. Then we start driving it basically upside down. It still functions as if it's a proper car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... We, believe it or not, this is the best run we have had so far by a long shot. The only thing I am lamenting, unfortunately, is the progress that we made in the last stream for the fishing. We got a tier 8 fishing rod. I've never seen one of those before. Uh, I've never got past the, like, lobster section of the fishing. Not even privately. So that's that's a little bit of a, a letdown. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll unstuck ourselves. And then we'll take a look at this hole from above. Because we can start piping in from maybe, like... Probably even from as far back as here, we can start piping in. But we're going to need clear egress to do so. And we're also going to need to get down the hole ourselves too. Good. He wants me to do Duolingo math. This Duolingo math? I can't think of anything worse. Oh, yes, I can, actually. Um, there's heaps worse than that, honestly. Um, the purpose for which the, the UN is here, that, that, is, a, that is a pretty, pretty nasty thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll dismantle our current operation right now. And I don't think we'll count out how many elbows we need. We're probably just going to buy an absolute arseload of them, as well as the amount of machinery needed to pipe in the automation system. And then we'll start working on kind of like eyeballing what we need after then. So for the machines, we need an elbow pipe. We need a single T-junction. And we also need a straight pipe. And that should be the bottom area taken care of. Now we're going to need a heap of elbows to get down there in the first place. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to need two per layer that we descend from because there's no like vertical pipes, it seems. I'm just going to buy an absolute buttload of them. I don't know how many pipes you guys can fit inside of your butts, but this is how many I can fit inside of my butts. My butt. Sorry, singular. Singular butt. I won't check because i got to switch again. That's absolutely fine. Duolingo politics could be much worse. Yeah, that would suck. I'll tell you what, though. It, oh, that, oh, that's expensive. I have been avoiding the debate like the plague, but I there's been one thing that's come out of the debate that I absolutely hold dear to my heart, and that's that based guy from the uh, Trump side. Where uh, I think one of the Democratic dudes was talking about what kind of BuzzFeed article he was reading that morning. Um, there was supposed to be this 10-year-old uh, disabled girl who was locked in a cage, and he was reading this on BuzzFeed, and he thought it was relevant to um, immigration policy, so he brought it up. And halfway through explaining this uh, quite tragic tale, uh, the Trump guy was just like, wah, wah. <laughs> that, 
That is so based. <laughs> He, he said that, and uh, the Democratic guy just started ripping into him. But I, honestly, that is, he should be the poster boy for uh, invasive thoughts. Honestly. What a guy. I don't agree with what he did at all, but in, a, in another way, it's funny as hell. It's so funny that he actually thought that that is an appropriate response. <laughs> ah, yes, very good. Okay, uh, so we're piping down pretty well, actually. We'll probably just jump on these to get out now. Ah, we can. Excellent. Now, the reason we are elbowing down here in such a horrid Willy Wonka fashion is we want to uh, basically stick vertical conveyor belts on each one of these. Good night or good afternoon. It is afternoon to me. Don't know if uh, anyone else is having a night at the moment. Probably. Uh, New Zealand is the first place to get a bunch of places, and I know that a lot of people are a little behind when it comes to time zones, retrospectively. Because the way everybody seems to remember New Zealand is like, you know, it's it's... It's later, but it's also tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll put that one here. And we are real close to the bottom of the map, actually. I think that we'll just pipe out one more elbow from here. And, oh, uh, we'll see. We'll see if we do that whatsoever. Uh, we want it unstuck right here. All right, let's start putting down some of this infrastructure. We actually need another T-junction down here so that we can kind of future-proof for... Actually, I think we're going to need a higher... Egress. So if we put this T junction here, maybe, yep, right there, and we kind of want to flip it around so it's like that and piping out of both those ways. Uh, now we can put more of these machines here, and we need the pickaxe, which I thought was down here, but I think we've left it up top, so we're going to go and unstuck ourselves again. Finish watching your next, can it officially say not worth it? Oh no, okay. I'll, I'll avoid it. I'll avoid it. I really, really like watching things that are actually worth watching. And the only way I find out whether or not something's worth watching is whether or not, uh, you know, other people say it's worth watching. Although that strategy has not worked uh, every single time. Rotten Tomatoes gave Big Mouth a 100%, which I found absolutely stupid. I don't know if it's sarcastic either. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a penis joke. The whole TV show is just a penis joke, so. They really did me a dirty. And also, uh, the, one of the Witcher spin-offs that was absolutely terrible Ended up having a pretty good score on, on a lot of websites too, so. I don't know, like, the, the way I find movies is just, like, browsing what's out now. Red 1, I'm very excited for Red 1 these days. That one looks really, really good. I can't wait until Christmas for once. Die Hard's got competition for best Christmas movie ever made, I think. Uh, I'm just going to mine out this area here, so maybe we can fit a couple of machines down here without worrying too much about them. And we're probably also going to need a single piece of concrete flooring to put down a bucket so we can... Just have the machines ejaculate the, the resources into a timely fashion. Okay, we won't dig too high because I recognize that the truck is right above here and we don't want to sink it. Who would play the Theme Park Tycoon 2 on Roblox? Theme Park Tycoon? Roller Coaster Tycoon is, is where it's at. Why, why don't you play Roller Coaster Tycoon? Oh, I actually found Roller Coaster Tycoon is available on mobile now. So now you can play Roller Coaster Tycoon on your phone, which is just crazy. All right, I think I'm happy with where we're at. Uh, let's go ahead and unstuck ourselves, and we'll start dropping machinery down into here as well. Uh, it's getting kind of dark as well, so let's go ahead and do a, a save. There we go. We jumped ourselves. Watching The Mist tomorrow. The Mist is awesome. The TV show I probably think is better than the film, though, to be honest, which is a bit of a hot take. The TV show on Netflix is probably the only decent thing Netflix has put out in the last couple of decades. All right, let's start getting our crap over here. Can't see half the screen, but that's absolutely fine. And we should be good to go. Yep, bet that's good for the machine. Uh, let's go over here and we'll get the other one. I'm not even going to bother cross this fence. We'll just grab this immediately and huck it over here. And we should be golden. Or not. That's fine too. Uh, we need a single T-junction because we already used one to get the resources pumping out of this bad boy as well. It seems very skinny there. It seems very, very skinny in that kind of lower area. So maybe we won't stick there permanently. We'll drop that there. We will buy it before we walk out of here right here. Actually, the new K dramas on Netflix are pretty good. Uh, what, like Korean dramas? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not one of those uh, long-term watchers, guys. I don't give myself a lot of free time these days because I, I spend so much of it on YouTube. Uh, we want this here to be piped in from behind. Mm -hmm. We can't put it there. Maybe we uh, need to drop that, grab our pickaxe, if we have it down here. Bugger. 
Why don't we just leave our things down here that we need? Because now we have to unstuck every time. There it is. <laughs> exactly where I would have dropped it to. Okay, good. What are your favorite uh, Korean dramas? Because I know Sam watches a couple of Indian dramas on on Netflix every now and then, but she she doesn't really have enough nice things to say about it to, to entice me into watching it either. Yo, am Bake. Hello there, Luca Boyle Morales Bake. Or just Bake. I don't know. If you want me to just call you Bake, that's fine. Uh, too skinny to fit that machine right there. We're going to have to hollow it out a little bit more. Probably a little bit higher too, I think. Get all of this. Back. Okay there. Hello, Back. I am I am Vin. I am Vin. Or Yinsen. Whichever one you want. Let's come over here and dig this recess out. I think we actually picked a really crap part of the map because this seemed to be the worst dip in the in the hollow downstairs. What is it bumping into? What the hell? Why can't I stick it in the only place I need it to go? Is it because it needs to be sitting on something? Maybe. Okay. Um. Righty ho! Let's go ahead and put an elbow. No, let's not put an elbow there. Let's put a. Let's put an elbow right here, facing outwards like this. The T junction would probably have to go. Probably on top then, if that's the case, like this. Which means this needs to go here. God, that is so yuck. We can't actually slot this in here. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. We've hollowed out the wrong side of the map, I think. <laughs> the machine's still wedged up there. That's pretty funny. Uh, we'll probably have to stick it here because it looks like there's enough egress to stick the machine down here. But we're probably also going to have to use elbows to navigate the rest of the map as, as well. Which is a little bit frustrating. We can do it. But I don't really want to have to do this long term. Nah, 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 we don't want to do it long term at all. We'll dig all of this crap out here. See what's going on. This is probably the most riveting part of the game, right? To dig out an entire section of the map. Super riveting. Are we all thrilled to be watching this? I bet we are. I bet we're thrilled. Oh, we really did pick a really crap part of this map to see everything up. Oh no, this is so skinny. We actually want it like two spaces further over there. Oh. Okay, explain the premise of this game. Uh, we basically, I can show you actually. So, never mind, we don't have a bucket. We basically want to shovel out resources into a bucket. We use this brush down here to brush the resources into usable materials that we can sell. And then we use the money that we get from that to... You know, build up automation systems like giant mechanical monstrosities. Unfortunately, way too skinny in this here area to actually set up a mine shaft. So we're probably going to have to take out all of this instead. Oh, oh no. We are going to have to do it. We're going to have to bite the bullet and just do it. How long have we spent doing this? Oh, we've only spent about 10 minutes down here since we accrued enough wealth to actually get down here. So it's not going to be that bad. Okay. We'll get our pickaxe and we will go upstairs and we'll see how better to orient this. God damn. Oh, oh I didn't realize that this is just a nasty place to set anything up. So we're probably going to want to maybe pull it way further over here, actually. We'll get all this crap out of the way. All this crap here. Actually, we probably also want to get these pipes here out of the way. We probably, just looking at the size of this area, we probably want to pipe in from where we did yesterday, which is about here. I'm going to do that. I'm actually going to do that. I'm making an executive decision right now. We're going to pipe in here. And then we're going to pipe in from a different section of the map entirely, I think. I'm going to check my cache to see if I can make another roller coaster. You can make another roller coaster. It's easy to do. You just need some plywood and uh, no safety regulations ever. Now, we are probably going to need a couple more straights to get out into this kind of section of the map right here. But we can elbow in from here now. Okay, we're going to have to maybe dig out some more of the... Actually, we can probably set this up one further inwards. We'll get rid of the straight right here and we'll put this elbow right there. And this one can go right here. So the other elbow that goes in between here is going to have to go into the dirt. I don't think it's going to be so in the dirt that we can't use it. No, it's not. Good. Excellent. But we are going to have to start piping in from this area here. So we need to pickaxe in from there. I think it's going to be a steep drop as well. Oh man, Pride Month only just finished. 
But don't worry, we'll we'll get a lot of uh, LGBTQ friendly pipes in here. There's a bunch of them. I think we've already got like at least one of them down this hole right. Yeah, we do. Right there. There's one right there. Unfortunately, there's not one that swings in all directions, uh, which I would probably nickname the swingers pipe. Why would I call it that? Why is that my first thought? Gross. But it is it is in the game. It is in the game. We've definitely got our diversity box ticked. Okay, I'll dig all of this crap out, and then we will start uh, piping in these elbows. I think we're looking pretty Gucci at this point. Could crouch a little bit. Oh, I just realized if you're crouching on something, you can't fall off it, like in Minecraft. Oh, that is so handy. We're going to use that so much. Will we fall off if we uncrouch? No. Okay, perfect. All right, let's start piping in these elbows here. Yeah. Very good. Wonderful. I was a little sus about that one. And we'll put that one there. And this one here can go on top of that one. There we go. And another one we can fit right down there. Way down there. And here we go. Good. Let's pick on further down. Piss, I fell in the hole. Oh no. This is worst case scenario. Oh, we're going to have to use the unstuck button again. We're probably going to have to use it a lot, I think. Uh, we don't really want to clear too much egress through here because we can probably just dig into the other hole that we made as well. But for now, we're we're pretty happy just digging in here. All right, we should be slipping and sliding down as well, but I think we kind of like caught on some dirt. Or maybe we're actually at the bottom of the map and we can't slide down anymore. Let's, let's see. I'm mining out it everything. Oh no, we're actually at the lower portion of the map. That was fast, actually. We got down here real quick. Wonderful. Okay, so pipe's coming in here. Want to straighten it out this way let's just let's just dig through here until we hit flat earth like that right there we are flat earthers at this point the earth is flat and if you have anything else to say about that you're probably a little bit too stupid to realize that the, that the earth is flat it is it is known it is written the earth is incredibly flat this flat uh 2d dimensional earth that we that we have here oh thank you for the youtube play button i have no idea what it means but it actually looks really cool in the chat Awesome. Um, so, we'll get a few more elbows down here. I think we've got the space now, but we still have to unstuck out of the hole. Hello there, sir. You want to help me out? Uh, that is my package. Yes. Can I help you? This guy's a pervert. Wow. What an absolute freak. I bet he's real loyal, though. He's, he's probably super loyal. Okay, we'll start dropping some elbows down in the hole right there. One, and two, and this should be the last elbow that we want to drop down there because it looks like we hit flat plane down there, so this should be golden. Right, uh, we'll stick this one coming out of here, whoops, Oop, screw everything up, there we go. And one more coming in here and downwards facing, and this one will go right here. I'm literally just mashing rotate buttons until something actually works. Uh, there we go. I usually get really lucky and get it first go, but not that time. So now we're going to want a T-junction here. Oh, piss, we're stuck. Okay. We will unstuck ourselves, and we'll come through with our pickaxe. Yes, very good. And now we kind of want to dig out a bigger kind of section down here, don't we? Probably not real close to this, but probably also super far out. We probably want to see the other side of the wall of this cavern down here. I probably should stick the lantern down here too. We could probably also dig into the other cavern that we already made. Just kind of like, so we don't have to go all the way into the other hole, unstuck ourselves to get the lantern and then go all the way back. Okay, we're gonna do it. I actually see that there is light at the other end of this tunnel already shining through the dirt. Good, good, good. Here it is, very good. And we are through. So now we can just grab these pipes and stuff without having to F around up top. Uh, we'll grab this here lamp, and we'll come in here. We'll drop this down in the cavern that we've already made. Key junction, right here. Good. So we'll put this on the end of here. We want to swing it around. There we go. And now we've got two areas that we could probably stick our resource miner. I'm going to go ahead and maybe stick it on this side here, since we've already mined out a little bit of it. It'll be a little bit faster. Probably not really interested either in the in the ability to kind of like stretch out. 
to, to put more machines in there, not until we actually get enough resources to do it. And to do that, we're probably going to need to create ourselves a sorting system, which should not be terribly difficult, but it will take a little bit of time to kind of get the, the parts and the logistics all, all put together. Okay, that should be enough on that side. We'll start digging out on this end here. We probably also want to dig out up top as well, because we haven't been doing this. We haven't been digging up up top. Good, 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 good. Okay. So I probably should start getting the piping from the other cavern, and we'll pipe it in. Probably after I am happy with this little hollow here that we're making, because it should be big enough for at least one of the machines, I think. At least one of the machines. And then we'll kind of eyeball it. I think this will be a session of eyeballing, rather than kind of like pricing things up properly and, and playing the game as an actual plumber. Right here. We'll get this elbow joint. I'm not really interested in expanding this out just yet. We'll get this T intersection. Very good. We'll whack it right here. And we'll face it downwards so that we can get an elbow. Uh, hell is that? That is very dirty. We are going to get rid of that horrible floating piece of dirt right there. Uh, we should have an elbow down here, but it seems like we don't, which is a little bit frustrating. Both of the machines are down here, though. So we need an elbow, and we need a single straight. We're going to polish off what we've got. And this is not nearly enough space to have set everything up. But we need to pipe into the bottom machine. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, one elbow. Drop it down this cat. No, we'll drop it down this cavern right here so that it doesn't get stuck on anything. And one straight right here. Good. I'm going to jump down myself. Or I could get stuck inside of that machine right there that we wedged. And this one go right here. Yes, 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 yes. And this one can go right here. Excellent. So now we need to basically just make room at this point. This one goes up top. It's going to go in here. It actually does fit in this hole, but I know the one at the front is not. Oh, damn it. We're stuck again. Is the pickaxe on that side? No, it's in here. Nope, that's the brush. Don't want a brush at all. We want to mine out this crap right here. And since we've set our automation up so far down, we are going to get so many resources that it is just going to be absolutely crazy. Probably also want to mine out the ability to reach the resources too. I think we'll use the bucket that we already have. Honestly, probably going to be the best bet. And we'll just stick it right in front of the machine. I don't think I'll worry about the concrete flooring so much yet. Because we just want the resources. We just want the resources before we go out and uh, maybe start a little bit of agriculture while we wait for the resources to kind of fill up the bucket. Because it is good. Money is going to come fast from down here. Okay, I kind of want to move the lamp just a little bit closer to where we're working. Right here. Good. Wonderful. And now we'll start mining out again so we can see. Excellent. Okay, this looks like a, a pretty good hollow. For almost everything, actually, the map's inclining upwards right here, so maybe we are pretty much good to go. Probably want to start piping everything in and turning on the machines. Also going to want to think about getting some water filters uh, pretty early as well, because they reduce the amount of repair work that you have to do on these machines here, which can really start to add up. Okay, get this other machine that's wedged up here. Good. And we'll stick it down here. So that's going to pipe in resources into here, and now we just need a bucket to put it in. Where is the bucket? We probably have to unstuck ourselves to get it. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep, do a sleep real quick. There we go. Sleep paralysis demon is jumping into the bed with us. Excellent. And in just an hour, we already have underground automation basically sorted. Where is our bucket? I mean, I'll, I'll get another one, but... Should be one here, shouldn't there? Maybe it's over here. Oh, it is actually in the store. Wonderful. Because we've left all of our money in the store. Thanks Great. Business. Uh, I'm actually going to get a second bucket as well, because we want to be able to swap these buckets out when we get the resources. Good. And we'll run this one back. We'll stick it in front of the machine, and then we'll get the second one down there, uh, just because we can. Uh, can we go in from this way? Yes, we can, actually. We mined out just enough space. So we probably want to stick this maybe, like, right... Here, I think should be should be good. Let's see. Uh, oh, that's right. We need the shovel as well, so we can shovel some dirt up its ass. Uh, we'll grab some dirt, 
And now we're going to stick it right up this bum bum right there. Okay, that is really close to just spraying out all over the floor. But we can readjust the bucket. We can readjust the bucket. Turn this back off, and we kind of want it a little bit further away. There we go. That's a horrible angle. Let's not use that. Right there. That's a better angle-ish. Yeah, that's way better. It's still kind of firing off to the side, though, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. All right, let's go and get that second bucket, and we can uh, now kind of focus on literally anything else while that fills up a little bit. I'm thinking a little bit of agriculture. I think we uh, take our first few resources from the machine, we go and get some money, we go and get some agriculture set up. I think that's going to be the way. Okay, we should actually have enough to just buy the starting gear of the agriculture from this bucket. Uh, let's not reorient this bucket because it's a bit of a pain in the ass to do. Let's just take some of the resources out of here that we can actually sell. Like all of this. Uh, uncut sapphire, we can't sell that, but we'll take it anyway. Take that. Big bit of gold, big bit of iron. Uh, this iron right here as well. We'll also take that gold that just came out of the machine. And whatever this is. So this is kind of why we want a sorting system really early. It's because otherwise we'd be sorting things by hand, like this, which takes just forever. Uh, let's go ahead and unstuck ourselves, because it's probably going to be the best option. Boop. Here we go. And we are going to the shop. And here we go. Uh, what we usually take maybe three hours to achieve, we've done in one hour, which is pretty crazy fast, actually. Let's see how much this is worth. I'm going to estimate about 400 bucks, but I'm reaching. I'm really reaching. There you go, blood. It's close. It was actually close to 400 bucks. Pretty close. Closer than, like... The other estimates that we've had, though. All right, we'll drop that in there. And now we are going to get into our tractor. We're going to go and get ourselves a our first bit of agriculture gear together, uh, which means we have to take the money from here as well. Yoink. How much have we got? 600? 480. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll whack it in the back of this truck right here, and we will just let this machine do its thing for a while. I think we're pretty good. I think we're in a pretty good place. Boop. Here we go. We could probably get a pressure doodad for the machine to kind of make it work a little bit faster. But again, I don't really think it's going to be worth it until we get a bunch more machines. Because that machine is just going to be ticking along whether we use it or not. Uh, right, here we go. We are upside down already. I think 30 seconds into driving the car and we are break dancing onto our front. Wonderful. <laughs> this game's so silly. I'm actually really excited to see the DLC. I really hope that the end of the session saves. Okay, we'll hit this guy as well. There we go. He is gone. Don't know where he went, but, you know, sucks to be him. Right. So, what were we here for? Agriculture. We're in the wrong city. Okay, let's get back into the truck. And we are back off with our floating bucket of money. So, we probably want to hang a right here, if memory serves, because I'd never actually been to this agriculture city before yesterday's session, and... Even then, we only went there once. Uh, this looks promising. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's right here. What is this? Grange something? Grange? Grangefield. That's where we want to be. Wonderful. And we don't want to be on this side of everything. We kind of want to be elsewhere, don't we? What is this guy selling? Okay. I'll, have, I'll come and have a gander. What have you got? Onion seeds. Wow. Oh, she takes the uh, tokens, unfortunately. A cut veg stacker. A veg dicer hook. Whoa, sprinkler hook! Look at all this! I bet all this uses water as well, hence Hydronea. Okay, we're probably going to need guild tokens for the agriculture sector to actually be able to buy those. But, what we don't need tokens for is this lady right here. Let's go ahead and back our truck into this zone right here. Or fast. Egress. Okay, we'll take this bucket. Take a look at my goods. I would love to. I'll throw this in here. Wonderful. And we are going to get some tomato seeds. Right here, and we're gonna get some carrot seeds. How much is this? 310, we've got 408 bucks, and we're gonna get a trail to um, plant them. I think we dig the holes with those, 372. And we're also gonna get a sickle, because I think we need one of these to actually harvest everything. Looking for some uh, not anymore, I've got everything I want. Thank you very much. Put that in there, we'll put all these things into this bucket, hopefully it'll carry it all. And we'll put the trowel in the bucket, or not. Or, oh, we can't put anything in the bucket. Righty-ho, then. Sure, don't mind if I do. Let's throw everything back here. And we'll do a little bit of farming. I don't know how lucrative it's going to be. Probably not very lucrative at all. But maybe when people harass us to get them like a tomato or something every now and then, we'll actually have one. 
Okay, so we came from that direction, which means if we go this way and hang a left, we should be on the right path to go home. And we hang a left right here. We bump some geometry a little bit. I was hoping to kind of like drift the car into the sky just, just a smidge, but it didn't seem like that was the case. I'm pretty sure I've taken the wrong path as well. So let's go ahead and commit to it. We'll overcommit to this and then we'll just go over the hill and far away. Should be absolutely fine and dandy. Oh yeah, this is fine. But oh, we could have taken that bridge right there, but I chose not to. I chose to jump off of it like a Fast and Furious movie. Unfortunately, there weren't like screaming guitars or um, a crowd of cheering uh, trailer trash trying to uh, kind of see if I, I if I crashed the car. So nothing like Fast and Furious, but I, I did try for that vibe. Okay, we probably want to do this on the other side of the field, right? Because this one looks real skinny over here. Not really terribly interested in mining out this area. So we'll use this for farming. Uh, trail first. Trail first, I think. Let's see. Oh my god. Okay, we could do it in a straight line. I'm going to do it in a straight line. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe five more over here. One, two, three, four, five. That looks nice, except for this one kind of barnacle off in the corner. We'll see how many seeds we get now. We've got some carrot seeds. I don't know how many are going to be in the pack. One. One seed in the pack. Oh dear, that is god awful. Oh no. Okay, we'll leave our scythe over here as well. I'm not sure if we have to kind of like water them or if they just grow organically. Hard to tell. We'll leave them for a little bit. We'll leave them for a little bit and we'll get, go see how our automation is doing. Oh, I thought my sprint was broken for a second there, but I was just crouched. Okay, that is heinous to look at. Let's see how much money we've wound up with. It should be a big stack. Oh, damn it. That is a lot of money down here, though. That's going to be a huge payday. And we're probably going to want to get ourselves a gem cutter, too, so we can kind of cut all of these gigantic gems that we're getting. We might actually be able to start off the foundations for our sorting system now, too. So we'll come out of here, and we will get ourselves our bucket, wherever that is, probably on the back of the truck over here. And we'll whack that bad boy down, down into the hole. We'll see what we've got to work with now. We should have a lot to work with, actually. Kind of a shame that we excavated this entire area so cleanly and just through here. It's just a very claustrophobic mess. All right, let's turn this bad boy off. We'll take whatever that was and we'll grab this bucket. Mm -hmm. Huh? I don't know what a bucket is. We'll put our money in this one and drop this here. That should be good. I'm pretty sure that's lined up. Damn, that is really hectic, actually. Let's move this thing. Maybe here. That should be good. That should be good. Yep, that's good. Wonderful. Right, so we're going to use whatever money we get out of uh, this bucket right here to probably get ourselves a... Maybe a step would be a best I the best know. idea. Like, the ability to get out of that hole would probably be first and foremost priority. And other than that, we probably also want a place to put that bucket so we don't have to pick up all of these resources every time we get them. I think we're going to have like two grand in here, right? Oh, 1.6 grand. That's still heaps. That is a lot of money. But literally bugger all work. We'll probably actually start setting up the sorting system. Oop. Okay, I was hoping it would merge and it did second time around. Good. Let's go check out this here shop because there could be a lot of other things that we could probably also work on. We've already got the foundations of the piping. Oh no. We've got lots and lots of these electrical crystals in this. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna get another bucket for the money, I think. We're gonna need a separate money bucket. We're gonna put that there. And before we put the money in that bucket, we are going to put the money in here so we can buy the bucket to put it in. And then we're gonna put the bucket in here. Now we can carry basically all of our money, all of our guild tokens and stuff in this bucket right here, which should be absolutely fine. And this one here can just be used to kind of swap all of the resources out. Now, maybe first and th foremost would be to get some forges we can drop the materials in, but we do need some way to sort them out, which is a little bit of a shame as well. So we're probably going to have to get a conveyor system pretty early on. But ingots also very important now, because we probably want to start keeping all of our iron initially. We want to start keeping all of our iron so that we can potentially start crafting more machines to accelerate the amount of resources we get. Uh, we're going to buy a bunch of these concrete floors. I'm going to get the cart in here so that we can carry all the concrete floors. 
Hopefully it's it's not going to charge me for all of the items that's already in here. I don't think it will, somehow. Okay. So here we go. I am going to drop that right there. No, I'm not. What am I doing? I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to drop it right there. The reason for that is we want to get a few of these floors right here. One, two. We don't want too many of these floors. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's going to cost us 50 buckery boos, I think. It should do. It's only ten times five. We count it. We actually count it. There we go. Done. And now we are going to start kind of setting up the framework for our sorting system. So we can kind of access it as we want. I think would be a good use of our time now. But we're also going to use one of these steps to uh, put the bucket down below. Okay. We'll come over here. Probably going to go down this egress first. Come down here. We will drop that right there. We'll clip onto it annoyingly. And we'll turn this machine off. Good. It's already dropped a bunch of resources on the ground. This is what we're fixing right this second, by the way. Whoops. Wanted to pick up the bucket. That's weird. Never seen that before. Uh, we'll pick this up, put it in the bucket, and we want to place this right in front of the machine. Probably skinny side there. So then we put this, I think, about here. And it should fire all of the resources in there without dropping it. Yep, that is perfect. Wonderful. Let's start setting up the sorting system. We still have to annoyingly unstuck ourselves. I think that this end of the map would probably be better used to create a staircase to get down into the the area down below so that we can kind of like do a little bit of... What's it called? Uh, maintenance. We need, some, we need maintenance, basically. So pipes are going to come up this way. So sorting system is going to go along this way. Let's start setting everything up Maybe here, like we did it yesterday. I think that might be the best bet. Or we could elevate everything as well, so we could have them automatically drop into smelters at the correct height. No, we actually want manual smelters until we get them, I think. So we'll just do this for now. There we go. One, two, three. I don't know where the conveyor belt is going to go along, though. That is probably going to be our next major question, right? And some of these are probably going to have to be replaced by furnaces, but it does kind of lay out the framework initially, I think. So we'll come along here, and what's this in line with? Probably this one here, right? So we'd want this to be a pipe, actually. We'll take that one and put that there. We'll put this one here. These four, I no, these two are going to be... Gem cutter and centralizer, and this one's going to be a furnace. That one's going to be a furnace. That one's going to be a furnace. That one's going to be a furnace. And we can't get any additional ores, so we'll keep this as kind of like the next area when we start working on the logic compressors for gems. So, if we haven't seen the earlier episodes, I do have everything kind of mapped out in my head. We just need to actualize it. Right, so we need an intake. We need a intake really really urgently let's take the part right here i think we'll just we'll just get a, a few intakes so that the water pressure oh we don't really need a lot of water pressure actually when it comes to the sorting system because it's just a conveyor system and i think we won't even need everything off of the conveyor belts what we will need is everything to stop moving so that we can uh, grab our smeltables so I'll just use one water intake, I think, and then we'll just kind of have it at the middle of everything. One there, we're gonna need a lot of straight pipes, like an absolute heap of straight pipes, a scary amount of straight pipes, like we needed yesterday. And then once we have that, uh, we're gonna go into the city using the wealth we have from down below, and we're going to buy ourselves a few conveyors, kind of get ourselves in ship shape condition. Good, good, good. Good. We have so many straight pipes, by the way. It is absolutely insane. Uh, we're also probably going to need a few elbow pipes. So let's grab some of these and we'll put them somewhere that isn't the straight pipes. Maybe like nine, ten of them? Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to need a valve hook to turn it on and off because we will need to be doing that a bunch of times. And we're probably also... Well, maybe we not, won't need a T-pipe at all for the sorting system. 
No, we won't, actually. We're not going to need a T-pipe at all. So this is going to be quite expensive. We'll see how much. It's 800 bucks. We still have heaps, honestly. That's half of what we've got. We still have more than what we just spent. Awesome. Uh, we probably want to get ourselves a repair kit too and just keep it underground for when the machines break. But once we get the sorting system up, we can start focusing on crafting everything, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. So I'll stick this bad boy right there. We do need a T-junction, actually, to line into this outtake pipe. Intake pipe, sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep. I don't know if it's becoming night or day, but we probably need to do a sleep. It was becoming night. Okay, we made the right choice right there. Good. And now we come all the way out here. Let's get that T intersection. That T junction pipe. It is this one right here. We'll grab it. Boop, and we'll buy it. And we're done. So now we've got everything we need for the infrastructure of the sorting system, which we'll just kind of like pipe up along this and then have it manually go onto a separate piping system so that we can uh, kind of stop everything as we need to. Now, we need to put this pipe basically in line here to kind of save ourselves on resources. Can we put it one further? Oh, we can actually. I didn't realize that. That's cool. Great. So uh, let's stick this turn section right here. And now we are going to not need this elbow. We need a bunch of straights, I think. Uh, let's get this cart closer to where we're working. Will probably be the next most important thing. Uh, straight pipe right here. We'll put one right there. And we'll need another straight right here. And we'll need another straight right here. And we'll need another straight right here. We kind of don't want to cover the river at all. So I think best case scenario, we're going to use these elbow joints to kind of keep it along the river bank so we can clean that up. We'll keep a couple of straights along here. Good. And then we'll get an elbow to straighten this bad boy back onto the straight and narrow. And one here. Right there. And one here as well. And also... One here, and then we're going to have to move the car because I think we're too far away to place anything. Excellent. And, whoops, I can't jump. This is, uh, st I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. I thought I had to use the unstuck button unironically for a second there. I don't have to. We are in a very good spot. I put one here, and we're pre getting pretty, pretty close to where we would want to use another elbow. Another straight, I think, and another straight here. Yep, we're probably going to want to use another elbow to line this bad boy back up. Whoops. Overshot that, and we'll get a couple of straights to line it back up. One there, and one here. And again, like we did yesterday, we're actually going to turn this pipe around, and we're going to have a big line of water purifiers going in a big circle, so that we can kind of put logic repair systems on those, and take a lot of the stress off of the machines down south, which should be absolutely fantastic. Get another elbow on this, because it looks like it's extending out good enough. Yep, I like this, and now we just need a couple more straights. We're also going to need a cork to kind of plug in the end of this as well, which is going to be fine. One here, one here, one over here. We should need one more straight before we need to just plug it and then call it quits. Oh, that was our last straight as well. Never mind, there's actually a pile of them that we already own. Okay, we'll put that there, and now we are off to get ourselves a cork. They help with the water pressure, which increases the speed of the machines, but it doesn't really make a huge difference with all the tier one stuff. So we're not going to worry about corking every little hole. We're just going to worry about basically reducing noise up top and separating economies, because if we want to put a T-junction there and it's and we accidentally uh, uh, d unplug it, then we're going to be in a bit of a bad spot. There we go. It's going to basically connect all of this around. Okay, so now we are actually going to take this cart from where we are. We are going to take all of these uh, straights from this area here and we are going to load them onto the truck right there right there right there because this is going to be used for our sorting system and that one there and now we're going to get the card on our back and on we go wonderful i if it's not obvious i'm a sin well that's not good i'm essentially trying to like speed run my way back to where we were in the previous sessions in only an hour. Actually, that's pretty impressive. I That's very impressive. We've made major progress within an hour. Okay, and one here, and another one right there, and we'll want another one right there, and okay, so this is going to be a turn junction. We probably just have these pipes go straight into here, to be quite honest. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do exactly what I just said, because it doesn't really make a lot of sense to have this kind of like excess piping right here. 
It's going to cost us more in the long run anyway, because we're going to need to get conveyor belts onto it. Oh my god. <laughs> the thing won't go close to me. Here we go. Okay, we'll put that there. We'll put a straight on the end of here. Good. And we'll take a straight and we'll put it here. You will see. We'll save resources by doing this. Here and put one here, because it's the same length. We've, we've just reduced these annoying little bends, and we're going to stick a pipe right there. And that is fully fleshed out. We now also have two spear elbows. We'll put these back apart in case we ever need them again. Wonderful. I'm going to take this uh, little turnpipe here, and I'm going to put it as close to our workspace as is humanly possible. And we should be good. We should be good to go. Now, we did say that that's going to be centralizer. That's going to be gem polisher. And then we're going to have four sorters for the four ores that we can get at this location. So we're going to start expanding this out right here and right uh, maybe here. And also, that's an elbow. Don't want that one. Ah, uh, we're out of straights. Actually, that's, that's dire. That's dire straights if I ever saw them. We only need one, two, maybe three straights and a cork. Let's do that. We'll get three straight pipes and a cork. And then we should also have the infrastructure for our sorting system set up. Almost to a T. And then all we're going to need to do is one by one periodically buy all of the uh, conveyor belts. Which we need to wait for, for the money to generate. But it's it's going to come quickly, I think. Excellent. We'll drop that down. And we will get three of these straight pipes. One, two, three, and one cork right there. We'll put it somewhere where we won't lose it. How about on the ground? That's not great. Uh, we'll put it there. Good. And now we want to put this in the oh, sale portion. Yeah, I know. You have a monopoly on this, <laughs> on all of these things, my dude. Don't mind what a guy. Me. I'm just mooching about. Yeah, I, I can't mind you. I can't turn fast enough. There are actually better cards, and we could probably do with getting... A better cart very very shortly because we are going to need them all right we'll put the cart right here Boop. and now we should be good to finish all of this off Give it here one there one there and one here and now we need the cork good we still need like a path as well there we go cork. uh i'm gonna turn this on oops drop that out of our hand okay water definitely reaches this far wonderful I was thinking that maybe the pressure wouldn't be amazing on such an annoying, like, long strand of pipes, but it seems to be at least nominal. It seems to be nominal. Now we want to start thinking about our sorting system. So we are going to basically swap out the buckets now. Let's go ahead and swap them out. I'll go in the other cavern right here, the egress cavern. We'll come down here. Uh, it also hasn't dropped a... S oh, it's dropped a couple of ores, which is a little bit of a shame, but it's not that bad. It's also broken the machine. So we're actually in a good place to swap this out regardless. Huh? 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 Okay, we'll drop that and we'll put that bucket right there. And we'll go up top. We'll we'll fix this goddamn machine. We actually have to unstuck ourselves too. Funny. We'll get ourselves some repair tools with this money bucket here that's just kind of doing nothing until we need it. Come over here. Boop. Don't you dare tell me to look at your goods. More water pressure and your machines will fare better. Okay, thanks for the unsolicited advice, my dude. Have you not seen what I've accomplished? And, uh, oh, I suppose it's all underground, actually. It doesn't look like we've done anything, does it? From up top. From up top, it doesn't... And it also looks like we're kind of stupid because we didn't connect these pipes up. Whereas a, a layman would look at that and think, Huh? Huh? Okay, we'll fix that so it just ejaculates resources at us again. And we'll see what a full load gets us. Uh, let's go ahead and unstuck ourselves, and we will find the... Oh, actually, we needed the bucket, didn't we? We needed the bucket of things. Right here. Good. And now we'll unstuck ourselves. There we go. Then we want to go sell it. We want to go sell it all up hey, here. Yeah. Hey. Okay. We are coming up here along this bridge right here. Does anybody else hold their breath when they cross a bridge? That's a thing that me and my family have been doing for generations. I don't know if it's like a superstition thing. Oh my god! That is an enormous bounty of wealth. Holy hell. Good grief. Okay, we're going to take this into the town. I think that's actually just given us en enough money for an entire sorting system. Minus all the conveyors to get all the uh, stuff out of the mine, initially. But that should be enough. That should be enough to get us going. We'll check on the farm really quickly as well, just before we leave. Excellent. We'll come over here. And see how these are... Oh, they're actually a little bit bigger. I can see that from a massive distance. 
I don't know what resolution you guys are watching this on, but they are significantly bigger. Okay. Right, so it's basically a fire and forget, and you just wait for it to grow, right? And I... No, I can't harvest. I don't think they're ready. I don't think they're ready just yet. Okay. We'll go into the town and... Ah, poos. We've actually locked ourselves out of being able to get around this. Hopefully we can get through this area here, but there is a little bucket in the way, and I do remember little buckets actually being a bit of a pain in the ass. Yep, we are stuck on the bucket. We are stuck it. Let's put this over here. And now we are good to go. Unless we are completely stuck. Here we go. Uh, just in case nobody knows who we are, we are in fact this moustached man with uh, with our undies. And we're also wearing some socks on our feet. But we don't wear anything else. We are um, nudists. We are, we are by definition nudists. Okay, we'll come all around here. And back to the town we go. So, we're going to need four. We're going to need four... Right bend sorters. Oops. And we're going to need two straights, minimum. And then we should be basically good for a sorting system. I think. We'll come over here. Hopefully hit this man. Nice, we hit that man. And we will come all the way over here. That's not where we want to go. We want to go to the conveyor belt one. No, this is the conveyor belt one. Good. I'm just a little bit crazy. Uh, I am going to back this in. Whoops. Oh, what well, the reverse button was for a second there. I've also forgotten which button goes backwards. Good, and we should be awesome to go. I love how we we get out in the boot now as well. Oh, I don't need to. I know exactly what I want. So we want two of these straight converters for 220 buckery boos. Mm -hmm. huh? And we also want four uh, right splitters right here. And one right here. And one right here. And one right here. Mm -hmm. And we also probably need a left conveyor as well. Good. One left here. Uh, we'll buy all of this. We still have enough money to continue to buy resources too. Right, we're a little bit stuck in here, annoyingly. Uh, we'll drop this. And we'll drop this. Because they, they don't clip into each other on the back of the truck. That's why I backed this in here. Good. We'll get all of these. Good to go. So that's all of our wealth immediately. We still have 760 bucks. So we can get one of these. I think that maybe the... Gem polisher hook would be more important than the centralizer hook because we're going to be dumping buckets anyway. Uh, let's actually leave this in here because we're probably going to want to come back here anyway. Uh, this is going to be the, the store that we go to the foreseeable future. Probably going to want to get a better truck as well. Got to be said, probably going to want a better truck. We could probably get ourselves a nice fast quad bike. Would be really, really cool to kind of quickly load things on and get them to and fro. But I'm not entirely sure how jank it's going to be to, to get it around. Because they're small, which kind of means they they break. They break easier. This one's got a this one's got massive junk in the trunk, so it's it's in a pretty good shape. Uh, I'm actually going to move that cart right there out of the way so we can get the truck in place. Put this over here. Should probably also design like a garage or something. Maybe somewhere to put all of our things. I think by the end of this episode. We are going to have a whole house. We're probably going to level off the entire area over here with these uh, kind of brick floor slabs. And we are going to be in a very, very good spot to build a house. Uh, we're also going to want some forges. Good. We'll put that there. One, two. That one's oriented well. We'll put it there. And that is our left conveyor. Whoops. Didn't want to get in the truck. Also didn't want to clip into all of that crap. And we want this one right here. So these are going to dump into crucibles, which will be on furnaces. So we don't have the chunks being spawned in, as they really shouldn't be, to be honest. And we'll stick that one there. We'll put this one just over here too. So I think centralizer right here. We want a gem polisher right here, which we've actually got in the back of the truck. Right here. Put that there. So it's going to polish all of our gems. It's going to sort everything out and drop them into things we want them to drop into. Uh, we're actually just going to go ahead and take the wealth that we have downstairs. Okay, so we want this one basically right here, I think. Yep, that's good. And I don't think we need any more left bends. No, I think every single one now is a right bend. Good. Actually, it's fantastic. Now, we'll go downstairs. We'll see what wealth we already have. Damn. Ah, oh, I think I've already gone too far. I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of that tiny little patch of dirt with this pickaxe right here. It's up here. It is 
Right there. Go away. Go away. Go away, little dirt. Okay, we'll unstuck ourselves to do this. I think, while it's on my mind, uh, we'll do a sleep real quick. We're not. I think it's because we've got something in our hands. Uh, there's a tiny little block of dirt right there, and that's it. Good. We'll drop this, and we'll go sleep. I think we're in a really, really good place now. Damn the sitchy nose. I did not ask for noses. I did not ask for skin. I did not ask for dry skin. All right, let's uh, take this pickaxe. We'll drop it down the hole. And now we will go and swap out the buckets, I think. We already brought our last bucket down there, didn't we? No, we did not. Okay, let's unstuck ourselves again. And we'll find that bucket. Should be pretty easy to do, given that it's glowing. There it is. Good. And we'll come down the egress hole. Good. And we'll swap these buckets out. And we'll hit this. And we'll swap them out. Oh, it only dropped one piece of ore, which is actually pretty good. I will stick that in there. And we'll put this right here. Good. And now we'll turn this machine back on. See if it goes in. Perfect. And now we're good. We're off. We're out. We are, we are going out of here. We're unstucking ourselves. We're going to sell this. And we should be good to go. We've got a sorting system too, which is pretty awesome. We just need something to dump it in, so I'm going to get these forges and crucibles. Basically out of the way as well. Come up here. Hello there, sir. Hey. Well, he was probably the kindest person we've met so far. Two grand? That'll probably do the trick. It's not as much as we got last time by maybe half the amount. But it's still a huge amount of money. It's still an enormous amount of money. Once we start splitting off the gold, we should start receiving a lot of money and crafting materials. But for now, we are not too worried about that. Right, I'm not going to dump the bucket in there. I'm actually just going to drop the bucket in there, I think. And we probably want to get another bucket for the end of the sorting system to drop all of the miscellaneous crap in. We want uh, four of these small furnaces, and we also want four of the crucibles to put on it. One and two. Probably need the cart to bring these back home. And three. And also four. These are pretty cheap, retrospectively. 356 bucks so far. We still need these crucibles themselves. One here, and one here, good, and one here. We probably should have got some scales while we were over in the city, but I'm pretty sure we don't necessarily need to just yet. Okay, 428, I am happy with that purchase. That is amazing. Uh, let's take our bucket back, because we kind of need it to replace the other buckets. We'll bring our cart over, because we're only getting big things, and we can't lose it in the mess of pipes that we have in this cart right here too. Got a lot of pipes. I think we should probably just get a bunch more T-junctions. I think that's the only thing we're lacking on at this point. But otherwise, we're still pretty good to go. Don't mind me. I'm just mooching about. Wonderful. Is the audio in this game fine? Let me just make sure. Yeah, it's okay. Music's turned off. Wonderful. Seems a little bit quiet on my end. Just gotta be said. Uh, let's drop this here and Do let's start loading it up. Goods. No, Brendo. How about you look at my goods? How's that for a, for a change of pace, eh? Okay, put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there. We also want this bucket to come with us. <laughs> yep, sideways will do. And we're going to grab these crucibles. We're going to probably drop them on this side as well. So that we don't lose them in the mess of crap again. One, two, three, and four. Excellent. We'll orient ourselves so that we don't have to waste our time turning. And we're good. Now, I'm pretty sure an upgrade account only costs us about 750 bucks, which is probably going to be the yield of ores that we already have in our bucket down below. I can already hear them kind of like dropping goodies into the bucket, which is awesome. We're also going to need a construction hammer because a lot of this is going to be made permanent. All right, put that there, and we'll put that one there. And we'll take that one, and we'll put that one there. Take that one, and we'll put that one there. Wonderful. And now we're going to take the crucibles themselves. We're going to drop them onto the center of here. Good. We don't drop them onto the center. They kind of like angle sideways, which means all of the ore doesn't go inside of them. They just kind of spill out onto the floor, which is a little bit of a Neanderthal thing, but we're not going to be we're not going to be doing that. Put that there, and we'll put this one here. You can also get automatic crucibles for about two, no, one and a half grand each at the old stores, but we shouldn't need that. We shouldn't need that whatsoever. Uh, do we have another straight conveyor? I don't think we do. We probably need to. Either get one or unplug this pipe right here and plug it into here. There we go. Okay. That should be good for now. We'll extend it if we have to. Uh, we'll get a bucket out on this end, which means we need another flooring piece. 
Okay, uh, let's grab the cart again and we'll go over here. This will be the last load that we get, by the way, before we get the agile cart. No, fast cart. Because this is too slow by my by my standards this, at this point. Right, we'll drop this here. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we can just fist things right into... Mm -hmm. uh, no, we can't. We have to jump. Yep, one. We gotta fuel these floors actually while we're at it because they are cheap as chips. And we need a bunch of them. Good. I'm also gonna get a construction hammer while we're here so we can kind of like say, hey, don't move thing. Even if we accidentally try and pick you up, we don't want you to move. Good. Drop all of that down there. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just filling up my cart with floors. And we also want a construction hammer. Probably drop it somewhere that's not... Oh, I'll take it, sure. 112 bucks. Mm -hmm. Oh, we took our money away, didn't we? Or did we put it in the back of here? No, we didn't. We took it away. All right, we're going to go back for our money. We'll see how much money we have. Because after this, if we got... Yeah, we got 750 bucks. We're actually going to go and get an agile cart right after we finish setting up all this flooring. Uh, we'll drop it here. Boop. And we should be good. Should be good to go. I'm going to come back for the money. I'm going to drop it in the back of the tractor, and then we should be absolutely fantastic. We are probably going to have to go and find some people to give the agriculture stuff to as well, aren't we? I'll right, we'll drop this here, and should be good. We'll put this one with the flat bit nose downwards right there, so we can put the bucket pretty close to the belt right there. Yep, that should be good. I was going to stick an extra straight belt on there just in case this sorter glitches out, but it should be absolutely fine. Okay, that is our sorting system done. We've got a sorting system. I'm going to start placing uh, more of these flooring pieces just so that we have kind of like an area to work with as well as just the base sorting system. We'll put one here, put one here, and we'll put one here, and we'll also put one here, and we'll put one here. Uh, I'm going to expand this bit out just a little bit further. One, two, and three, and four. And that should be good. We're going to put our blacksmithing area just around here. And we'll pick up this cart. We'll move it away. The hell is going on? Okay. The cart almost just killed me. That was very close. We'll knock all of this down so it doesn't move. Oh, we can actually... No, we can't. I thought we could maybe, like, pin the car where it is. But we can't do that at all. I'm going to knock all of this down. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong. And that's all done. Uh, gonna do all this piping as well, so we don't accidentally pick up all this crap. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. And we'll probably wanna maybe set all... Oh, I... Okay, that was weird. I don't think we can move this anymore, but I think it's gonna be absolutely fine. Okay, we'll set all of that to not be able to move, which is fantastic. And we're good. Okay, let's go into town. We'll get ourselves an agile cart. With, hopefully, we'll stick it on the back of the tractor. Because if we can't, we'll just run it back ourselves. Which may mean that we have to go back for the tractor. A little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, and we should be good. We should be absolutely fantastic at this point. We are next going to start shoving a bunch of crap into the sorting system so that we can start sorting itself. But until we do that... We're pretty much golden. I did say I was going to check on the agriculture, didn't I? I completely forgot to do that. We are going to go and get this agile cart out of the way before I forget that first. Because it's just going to accelerate the game even faster. We have only been playing for an hour and a half. And already we're probably very close to the point that we left the last two four-hour sessions at. Minus all the fishing. Minus all the fishing. Which we can do. We can do all the fishing. Just not now. Okay, so we are... Getting this money, and we want to go to this area here, I think, for the cards. Jump that, and in here. Hello there, ma'am. Don't mind me, I am just going to fetch myself a cart. So this one's agile, this one's fast. So it turns slow, but it moves It moves quick. It is fast one. The agile one turns... Oh, actually, this one's just fast in every direction. Why would we not use this one? Why would we just not use this one? Is this one faster? Thanks for kind of, actually. That one's, that one's fast for sprint. I think we want this fast one, don't we? 
Not the agile one. Turning's not so bad. It's probably the speed over distance that really grinds our gears. Okay. We'll hopefully be able to get this on the back of the truck. And if not, that's going to be a bit of a shame. But we did get the fastest one, fortunately. Right, up here. And... Boop. Oh, we can load it onto the back. Awesome. Nice. All right. And while we're here, we're probably going to want to buy a couple of other things as well. Maybe. Like some scales. Scales are pretty I cheap and they're the very necessary. If you got the cash. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just bought your cart, lady. Come on. Give me a break. This guy wants... And I'll give you my tokens. This guy wants the biggest gem in the world. You can suck it, lady. I'm not giving you a 15 kilo ruby. That is huge. That, that would be like this big, wouldn't it? Be enormous. All right, uh, so we're in here. That's not where we want to be. We want to be in here and we want to get some scales. Because the guy next to our uh, kind of dig hole site does not sell scales. There they are. Wonderful. Get those bad boys right there. And we are good to go. Put our money in the back of the tractor. As we have put our cart, we're going to put our scales in the back of the tractor. No, I found everything I need. I'm going home. And now we are going. Here we go. Actually, let's see how expensive the other upgraded cars are before we leave as well. Because with the yield we have now, we may be able to afford it. So this is the one we have. This one sucks. That's old crapper. So they're about one and a half thousand. We probably want this nice big yellow one, right? A big Tonka truck. It's a Mark II. It is slightly faster, and it takes water. Uh, we don't want this one. This flattens the earth. Good God, that is terrifying, actually. We probably also want one of these, don't we? Because it's got a, a, a small rack on the back, but we could fit a lot on this rack, I think. That isn't, like, a truck. How much is this? 680 bucks. Can we afford this? Oh, we can! Let's buy this quad. I'm doing it. Boop. Okay, we now own the quad. I think this is kind of like a storage space back here, right? Uh, it's not very fast. Oh, it gains speed quickly. Okay, we'll leave that there while we get the tractor back home. Uh, I think that one's going to be our new main car, honestly. I <laughs> Does it? It looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. It's quick. This truck, kind of a bit too big for our purposes. And it's got the maneuverability of a hippopotamus. We don't want that. We don't want a hippopotamus bus on butt on this truck. What we do want is the ability to kind of uh, get from A to B very, very quickly. Are there bricks in this game? I need to throw one at my work laptop. Uh, yeah, there's giant cement bricks, but uh, you won't have a work laptop after you throw it, because it's, uh, quite frankly, just gratuitously large. Park this here, and now we will get this cart out of our way. I think we'll just put it, like, next to the bed, right here, just in between us and the shop. Now that we've got that, we are going to take the scales. We also need a cast. The other thing we need is a cast. So we're going to put these right here. And we're actually going to use the hammer to lock that one in place. Boop. And now we're going to go across the road and we're going to get a... We're going to get a... We're going to get a cast. I forgot to bring the money with me, I think. No, it's on the quad, which is back at the store. We're going to have to go on foot, it seems. Which is fine. Uh, we'll actually, before we do that, just before we do that, we'll make sure we don't have to repair our machines because I think they're getting to the point where they'll be about busted. I don't hear anything. Never mind. I Oh, that one's definitely busted. Uh, yeah, they're both busted. Okay, let's repair this bad boy right there. Uh, what's grinding you, Z? What's, what's grinding your gears? It's a Max. You should, you should get him that brick. Max are a brick. <laughs> Max are definitely bricks. You could, you could use the Mac to break itself. That's kind of what the... I think their entire purpose is made for. I'm a Windows guy, if it's not obvious. I'm a big Windows guy, big fan of Windows. I never learned how to use Linux, which is why I don't use Linux. But uh, Windows, Windows is OP, especially Windows 10. It's pretty good, considering that you don't really need to know how to use a computer to use Windows, which is the whole point of Apple. Apple's entire thing is that when you pick up an Apple device, you already know how to use it. That's why their iPhones do so well. Because you could give it to a six-year-old and they already know how to... Uh, how to kind of find all of the information that they need. Uh, we are in our underwear, by the way. We are in our underwear and socks, and we are running through this lake right here. This is probably a recipe for trench foot. Or athlete's foot. One of the two, almost guaranteed. Hello, friendo. Yeah, what are you doing? This is, uh... <laughs> Let me just uh, get right between your legs here for some conversation. How you doing, man that looks like God? Computer go brrr, Apple. 
Yeah, they do kind of go, don't they? I'm not a graphic designer, so I would never get an Apple, quite frankly. NVIDIA, I feel, I meets all of the cash. needs that aren't, like, base graphic design requirements. So why are we here? We're here for this, the quad. We need the quad, because it's got our money in it. And we need a, we need a cast. Oh, let's get in this bad boy. See how fast this thing goes. It's kind of cool, actually. Oh, it is a lot quicker. Oh, this thing's so much better than the... And the crappy old lump of a machine we were just driving. It even drifts. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, it's, it catches. It's very agile. Oh, this is exactly what we needed, actually. This is precisely the device that we needed. Hello there, sir. How are we today? Goodbye. <laughs> I love that so much. So we're probably going to want to retire our truck at this point, aren't we? We'll, we'll get everything out of the back, and then we'll go hide it somewhere. Yep, everything's out of the back. Uh, we'll just, like, park it somewhere nice. Maybe over here. Yeah, this this seems like a good place to park a truck. <laughs> this just looks like a uh, a working hazard waiting to happen, right? It's <laughs> as soon as the handbrake gives out, this thing is going to go and total our mine. Sorry, I was just feeding my cat. What troubles me is people making stupid decisions, and now our application won't function anymore. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. My girlfriend deals with that exact same issue because she has to work the phones at a bank, so uh, she is basically the um, the dartboard that people who don't know how to use the app throw darts at. Also, this game is giving Palia for someone... Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, this is a, a very Palia kind of world. Very Palia kind of world. Uh, but it's it's for, it's for, it's for grown-ass men, I think. Sweaty, sweaty men that don't shower for very, very long sessions. You had money in the concrete store, also I won't message more because it's at 1%. Okay, that's fine. You stick around for as long as you possibly can, because honestly, I am the only thing keeping Duolingo away from you. I did, I did my uh, my French lessons. I did my French lessons. So I didn't. Don't tell him that. <laughs> I just sent an email saying, yeah, I did my French lessons. Uh, we want this money. We want this money to go and buy ourselves a delicious new section of casting areas. The sun's going down, though, so I'm going to sleep first. Boop, there we go. We are standing on ourselves. Our sleep paralysis demon is keeping us company while we snooze. Okay, here we go. Wee wee, ha ha ha. Wee wee, mon francais, a fra. Ha ha ha. I also was a mostly Windows person until I was forced to work from a Mac. No! Gotta say, coding on a Mac is fun. Oh, my dude! Rip, I'll give you a verbal F. A verbal oh, F. Usually people give Fs in the chat, but you can have an F right here. I'll, I'll F you all day, if you need it. Especially in Ready or Not. Uh, do you want to actually do more Ready or Not? I've still got a couple of episodes that I haven't edited yet, but the game is just so fun, I don't really want to stop playing it. I want to play it more than I want to edit it. Yeah, we'll drop those down. I wonder if we can hammer this thing. No, we can't. Okay. So, now that we've got the sorting system completely functional... We can now start dropping everything in. We're going to have to get ourselves some resources from the bucket down here. It means we probably need another bucket to just swap it out with, which we don't bring down here for some stupid reason. What do we have? Okay, we're going to go buy another bucket. We're buying another bucket. It's time. Of course, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready or not? Oh, okay, so I'm so sorry. I, I know your fiance is... Um, isn't it nice for him to, like, only cheat on you with me? There are worse people to be cheated on with. There are worse people, I feel. Like uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. She's a she's really unusual. Like her goop line of products, I, I definitely would not want to be cheated on with her. That would be very offensive. A bit gay. I'll show you a bit gay. No! Oh! <laughs> And then the frame drop got me and it, oh, it flicked my mouse sideways. <laughs> oh, oh, this is horrible. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> oh, that's awful! So we're ignoring James then? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I do have friends that are a bit gay. I do have friends that are a bit gay. I do have friends who are closet gay and they're like, they're based about it. James is most certainly one of them. I, I think he's definitely like, at least closet bisexual. It's not that he's like, in the closet about it. I just think he, he can't be bothered talking about it. <laughs> I think he thinks there are better things to talk about than whether or not he's interested in male, male genitalia as well as female genitalia. Okay, well, I started the arduous chore of dropping every single one of these horses into the bucket. Oh, 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 oh. Let's be real here. We're all pretty queer coded. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah, 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 yeah. That actually came up on a um, an earlier stream. Um, I was talking to some people on a Deltarune stream, and the LGBTQ community came up. I have never been accepted in any of those communities ever in my life. And it's not like I, uh... It's, it's because I'm a bisexual man, right? And I, I failed to mention this during the stream, but New Zealand has this massive, massive, especially Southern New Zealand, has this massive uh, bigotry against uh, anybody who's bisexual. Because on the one hand, Conservative people think that you're a, a piece of garbage degenerate who will sleep with literally anyone who crosses their path. And on the other hand, uh, queer communities think that you're just a greedy, a greedy person and they don't want anything to do with you. So it's, it's a little bit fiddly, really. I've, I've never actually been allowed into any of the LGBTQ communities because of it. I'm not, like, salty about it. I've kind of come to peace with it. But at the same time, New Zealand, it, it's, it's got this thing about it, right? Uh, down here in southern New Zealand, we are kind of famous for our... Uh, uh, extreme racism and extreme sexism and extreme homophobia and also extreme alcohol abuse and stuff. That's called bisexual erasure. Is that actually a thing? Because I've been a victim of whatever that is my whole life. And it's not often, it's not often that a white man that looks like me is a victim of something, right? It's, it's very, it's very uncommon for that to actually be a thing. Although it sucks that it's actually got a word. Maybe I should create the first ever um, LGBTQ bisexual inclusive community. Because I thought the B in LGBTQ was uh, was bisexual, but apparently apparently it's not. Apparently that's just like something that people do the do the the Drake dip on, stuff like that. Oh, I can't believe I can't believe I dropped all of this crap on the floor. This is taking so long. It's actually taking me longer to pick up all of these ores individually than it has been to accrue ten thousand dollars worth of wealth and automation. <laughs> I know you can get a magnet on a stick as well that kind of picks up everything, but it doesn't pick up everything to the magnet, and it also like pulls everything from this bucket and this bucket too. Oh, man, this... This is a chore I did not want to have to do ever. But we have to do it, because it's wealth. Okay, we'll put all of this in the bucket then, I suppose. <sighs> oh, well, say, Livy. As they, fray in, as they say in La France. You know, Viva La France. Okay, uh, still... This actually requires concentration, which is why I dread ever having to pick up a, a bucket load of things. Okay, we could probably actually by now afford to get ourselves the gem sorter as well, which is a little bit on the bougie side. But we could also just dump money into vertical and straight conveyor belts to kind of get all of the stuff out of here so we're not using buckets anymore in the first place. I hope this looks okay to watch because I realize also that I play relaxing games like it's a competitive multiplayer first person shooter. And a lot of people get kind of motion sick about it. Okay, good. Good. And good. Oop. That one fell on the end and that one just fell straight out of the bucket. Great. Okay, then. My soul is literally dying at this point. I hope this game saves. Because the last two sessions have not saved. And if this one doesn't save after I pick up all of this crap, I'm going to rage quit. I, I seriously... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat the computer like a Mac, and I'm going to throw a brick at it. As it deserves, if it were a Mac. Okay, we'll throw this away. Oh, this takes so long. Like, fishing was fun. Fishing was like a casino. Because you never know what you're going to get at the end of it. But here's the thing. 
We already have all of this wealth. That's the thing. We've already got it. It's already in our pocket. We just have to cash it in. Oh, man. Okay, we probably should also... Oh, we got the gem cutter wheel, didn't we? Yeah, so that's not an issue anymore. I'm just thinking about things that we could now focus on. Because at this point, we're basically going to be waiting on iron to get up to the 400 mark so that we can... Uh, get ourselves more machines down here. Okay, we're done. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I think that actually took all day as well. That's stuck. Good. All right, let's throw this in the sorting system and we'll see if we can't uh, kind of separate all of our materials. I saw some cloutium about here, I think. No, that's gold ore. Uh, we still need gold ore, probably on the second one. I like to order my ores by kind of like rarity as well. So gold can go second. Iron always goes first. That is a huge chunk of iron. What a waste to stick it on a sorter. Right there. And where is the cloudium? There it is. Uh, this can go third. And since this is the highest tier ore that we can get, we're going to stick the electric crap right after this. Now drop it again. No, 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 no. I am not dropping this bad boy after I oh, pack up all of that stuff again. Is it nice to watch? Is it is it nice and refreshing to watch somebody pick up a bucket load of crap after they've already harvested it all? Uh, you know what? We are actually going to drop it all. We're going to drop it all right here, I think. Uh, are we ready for the frame drop? There we go. The frame drop has begun. Okay, good. We've polished all of our gems, and now we can watch everything satisfyingly filter. Oh, yes. Into the forges they belong in. Yes! Oh, that feels good. One Clausium. That's embarrassing. And all of that can go in there as well, even though we don't even use this crap here. And all of our polished gems are in this bucket. That is nice. That is really nice. It was... Like it actually was, or a, is, is it like a, a trolling kind of, yeah, that was great to watch, do it again. Ho, 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 kind of thing. We'll put all of those in place. We don't want to put the cauldrons in place. Now that we've done that as well, we can start pouring things out into this ingot cast, which I've specifically set up into a, a, a nice little area. That was amazing. Oh, I know, right? The sorting system is really, really cash money to look at, but... Picking something and putting it up into a bucket is so painful. <laughs> Legit was relaxing and that sorting thing was satisfying. There you go. You've just found uh, the core appeal of the game. It's setting up something like this. Like, the early game is very monotonous. I'm not going to lie. Everybody who says that is undoubtedly right. But the actual gameplay elements itself, so fun. We have 3,000 bucks worth of gold in this cauldron, which weighs 152 kilos. Uh, we could sell that right now, or we could drop this back into the crucible and keep on accruing gold, which I think we do. Good. We'll see how much iron we have, because we need 400 kilos of this to make the next few machines. Anyway, you can have a belt go from the auto miner to the belt. Yes! Yes, there is, actually. That is exactly what we want to focus on next, other than getting, like, more machines downstairs. He says to Cass, who was making sure his Sims house has light switches. That is important, by the way. That is really important. If you don't install light switches in your house, you're basically stumbling around in the dark. We've got 188 kilos of iron, so we need another, need another 200 kilos, essentially, to get the next kind of sorting system up and functional. But this is what we've spent this entire session kind of, kind of doing, right? Now, previously, we would have had to uh, have buckets where these furnaces are. And things would just drop into the buckets, and we would drop the buckets into the furnaces, but we've, we've just gone ahead and skipped the middleman entirely. So we're in a very, very good place now. I don't think this bucket's supposed to be up here. I think it's supposed to be downstairs. I'm going to jump this hole. Good. Where's the other one? There it is. Okay. We'll drop this down here. Wonderful. So we need more machines, essentially. Uh, let's go and take a look at our ag agriculture real quick. So... When we get enough money, we can start piping all of those resources up from the area downstairs where we're mining up straight into those sorting systems, and it gives you nice little tss, tss sounds every now and then as well. Do we harvest these now? Oh, we do. Okay. No, we don't. It still seeds. Well, that's embarrassing. And back in it goes. Oh, I see. It's not growing because we need to go and get a bucket of water to water them with, I bet. Let's grab this. We'll fill it up. And then we'll come and drop this over here onto this. Oh, that's exactly what you do. Okay, that's really cool, actually. I really like that. Okay, we'll do more agriculture. 
and I'll water this one just in case it didn't. Here we go. We could get like a pipe to constantly drop water in it, but I don't want to like overhydrate the plants in case there's a mechanic. Let's get down to business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get down to business. We now have kind of like the very basic Jeff Bezos build. Plus also this here. Conveyor belt right here. So we are going to need to price this up. We are going to need one, two, three right bend conveyor belts. And we're going to sell all of our gold to get this, I think. Let's do that. And we will drop this back into place. So it all filters back in. We've got three grand to basically spend. Now, I know that these straight conveyors were 220, so we can get four of them per. Actually, I think there's a stock market over in the other city. I'm pretty sure we can also slot them onto the back of this truck here too, right? Uh, we'll also take the rest of our money, just in case this will actually end up subsidizing us well. Where's the rest of our money? Oh, maybe it's in that store. Oh, well, if that's the case, we're not particularly interested. <laughs> Oh, can you build actual houses? Yes, you can. By the end of the session, we're actually going to have, like, a cottage, I think. Because we are getting money at an alarming rate. Like, a very, very fast rate. I cannot iterate this enough. Okay, we're going to do a Fast and Furious jump over this hill. That was disappointing. Lackluster, and also a little bit weird. All right, wonderful. At least we made it. We'll punch it down this river, which, strangely, is offering no resistance. Well, this thing's hard to drive. And we'll drift up here. That was a good Fast and Furious jump. And we'll go into Conveyor Nation, which is right here. Wonderful. No, we actually have to go to the stock market, I think, first to sell off this gold bar. I think it's back towards here. And we should be good to go. You can, yeah, you can build houses, but it's not like a crafting system like you, um... Oh, I thought there was actually a stock market. Maybe it's just the jeweler here. They're not, they're like kit set houses. You've got kit set pieces all around the place. I can actually show you some of the pieces which are in here. There's a bunch of different stores as well. So here we go. You get the floors, you've got stairs, you've got giant concrete slabs. Uh, we should actually get a bunch of these as well for the base. We've got this lady who was sitting on a bed, which we can actually buy. Hilarious. I don't think the lady comes with the bed, but that would actually be a nice wee treat, wouldn't it? Uh, apparently you can get a rake, which flattens out terrain. You can buy this wall lantern. Basically anything you can see that doesn't look like a, a kind of nailed down poly, you can buy. Uh, you can get foundations, which you would actually need in a house, a real house. Uh, pallets here, they aren't for the house. That you, can, you buy one of these and you can just stack up lots of things on it. So maybe if we get a pallet, we can actually enlarge the uh, surface area that we can drop things on on the quad bike, but I don't know how that would work. Uh, here is some roofing. There is a big table right there, a couple of windows, which are fantastic actually when you set up lots and lots of logic gates because you need to repair them. And sometimes you don't want to fall down the pipes. They can get quite tall. So you, these kind of angled and flat windows, very, very handy to walk along and also be able to see the condition of your items. Roofs over here, got some slats. We've got a uh, wooden doorway. And that's just one of the houses. That's just one of the housing uh, kind of places yeah. that you can buy from. There's another one just over here, which is a little bit more bougie. Uh, they kind of sell furniture and stuff, rugs and chairs and... Uh, okay, what headpiece? Oh, this? Yeah, I can buy this. It's 1,200 bucks. Who says money can't buy taste? That's insane. There's a throne here for 14,500 buckery booze. And this head that you can mount on your wall. As a safe here for storing ingots. Like, it, you can do it. And there's more like housing places scattered around the uh, the map that you can use to uh, make different kinds of houses. Uh, no, I don't think I'll be doing that. I'm actually here for... Ooh. Wow! Our wealth has just increased. We'll get a bunch of these straight conveyors. We actually need a heap of them. We need three right conveyors straight off the bat, so uh, let's not screw around with these too much. One right there, one right there, one right there, and one right there. Whoops. One right there. And we'll get one straight there, and we'll get one straight there, and then we'll get one straight here, and one straight there. Okay, one straight there. I suppose we can buy that. 1,820. We still have 1,500 uh, bucks. Let's back this bad boy up so we can kind of like drop everything on it. Hopefully we can fit them, right? One there. Oh, yeah, we can actually. Good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But don't tell me it clips. Oh, no! That sucks so bad. So we can only put like one thing on the back of the quad. Oh, no. Okay, we're going to come back with the truck. I think we're going to have to, right? And we should be good. We should be good after that. It seems like this is really good for like little quick trips around the place then, it seems. Or maybe we could put a bucket on the back and we could just keep all of our ores and, and money in that bucket. 
But then we can't transport anything we buy back. Which is a little bit frustrating. But oh well. Such is life. Say la vie. Uh, I'm going to take this off the back and I'm going to immediately put it where it belongs, which is over here. Is it facing the right way? Yes. Right there. Good. Okay, let's get the big truck out, which we actually kind of need, unfortunately. And then we'll go and get our wealth. Boop. Well, that was sus. That was super sus. Uh, we'll try and angle this around here, and we will drive back. Probably just buy ourselves a better truck and then scrap this one. Because we can definitely afford it. We actually have the money to be able to afford it. I think we've got just enough, actually. Maybe we do that. Maybe we do that instead of just dumping into, into conveyor belts. We get a better truck. Actually, it is kind of like consuming time for us to go and get the conveyor belts, which allows the machine to go and get more resources. So probably not a bad idea just to keep the slow crapper for a, for a bit of time. Okay, let's back it in. Boop. And in the boot. In the boot we go. Okay, we'll drop that there. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, now I can't see. Wonderful. Drop that. Oh, piss. I'm hitting the same button. I always hit Q to drop everything. Uh, we'll put this one in the back and this one in the back too. And this one goes in the back. Buy the new truck, test to see if you can stack the items and scrap the old one. I think that the new truck is literally just a little bit faster than this one. But at the same time, we can afford it, right? 15 grand, I think the other ones are about 14, 20? We're about to find out. I think I just hit a note no one had ever heard before with that. Uh, this is not where we wanna be. We wanna be around here, don't we? Okay, let's see how expensive they are first. Here we go, 14, 20 bucks. That's exactly how much they cost. All right, what do we think? Do we want this uh, gigantic yellow one? Do we want a red one or do we want this blue one? I'm thinking yellow because we can see it better, which is actually, believe it or not, this is a little bit of inside information from someone who spent half a decade as a, as a builder around the country. Uh, they are painted yellow so you can see them. So you aren't crushed by them. Well, you're less likely to be crushed by them. If you have color blindness for yellows, then unfortunately you're just completely out of luck. What do we want to do? This is a democracy, by the way. Uh, <laughs> whatever the vote is, we'll go with it. Red, yellow, or blue? Uh. That's not whistling. I saw that subtitle. That was not whistling. We'll come back for it, too. After someone picks a colour. Okay. We'll get our money back into here, and then... We oh, yeah, do we drive away? Hold up. We actually need a, a left bend. No, we're not going to get the truck just yet. I'm going to allow the pole to run, just to see what we get. We need a left bend, and then we're going to start... I didn't pay for it. That's embarrassing. Okay, one left there, and we also need one straight for down below. Don't know if we have a bunch of straights in the back. We probably do, but better to be safe than sorry. And we need about four or five of these vertical conveyors. So we'll get two of these for now. 1106, we can afford that. Probably actually afford one more of these vertical conveyors as well, which will get the items pretty high out of there. And even if it doesn't kind of like pipe directly into the sorting system itself, we will be able to kind of get them at least out of the mine enough. Okay, we can afford another one of these. Let's get another one of these. Uh, likely, we can afford to get the last two of these vertical climbs right here, just with the amount of wealth that we already have generated in our uh, kind of bucket. Whoops, got caught on a everything. Literally just got caught on everything and I'm stuck. No, it's good. We're good. Blue! Are you are you certain you want to go with blue? Okay, one vote for blue. I'm gonna I'm gonna like wait like ten minutes. I'm gonna wait ten minutes for everyone to cast their votes before we go over there and we buy a van with whatever money we have. Doesn't matter how much money we have, we're going to buy the new van. Because that's essentially what this is. It's not really a truck, it's a van, isn't it? A builder's van. Uh okay, let's make the uh big willy move of taking this here quad and we'll move it off the building site we'll move it somewhere a little bit more inconspicuous maybe over here perhaps hello there sir don't mind me i'm just parking my quad how are you how's your poverty today it looks stagnant your poverty looks really stagnant yeah. wow i'm pretty sure that guy wanted to have a baby with me very creepy very creepy indeed okay i'll reverse this in and then we'll start polishing off what we can with this. Uh, I think we prioritize sleeping first, because I can't see anything. And then we go downstairs and we kind of work our way up this uh, elbow sequence that we've made. Whoop! There we go. Here we are. We are standing on ourselves while we sleep. Very creepy. Very strange. Very bougie. 
And now we are going to pick everything up. We need a straight first. That is a straight conveyor. We're going to need the left bend as well. Probably going to have to go down the egress down here. Good. Uh, the machine's broken, actually, and we need to move it off of... No, we don't. We need to pipe it up this way, so we're actually going to have to excavate a little bit. That's a shame. Okay, let's get this repair tool, and we'll repair this. Now we need the pickaxe, so we can kind of, like, mine out the area that we need to get through. There it is. Good. I'm glad we left it down here. Let's start picking. We're going to pick a path. Literally going to pick a path. Like those old, those old books that we used to get from bookstores. You know, pick paths. That used to be a thing. People used to buy them. People used to go on adventures with the pick path books. Yeah, that was so cool. I love those so much. What what happened to them? Oh, video games. That's what happened to them. People wanted to uh, not read anymore. Oh, well. Don't know if that's sad or good. At least video games got better. Otherwise, I literally would not be here, sitting here, mining in front of everybody watching right now. Okay, good. We've probably got enough kind of mined out to get the sorting system down there, but I also want enough space to get my own egress out of this goddamn place, because I know that we can also walk up the vertical, uh, the, vo the, the vertical conveyor belts. So we're going to be at a very, very good place. Uh, I'm going to mine out some more of this just to make sure that the verticality won't kind of sandbag us in the future. Good. Uh, we'll go and drop this in the hole just over here. We set up a couple of torches down here now, shouldn't we? And we want to this one. Ah, there's no piping down here. Hmm. Ah. 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 Okay, let's swap this out with two T junctions, and then we got one, two elbows. Two T junctions and an elbow. No. Two T-junctions, one here, one here, and an elbow to come out of the back and an elbow to elevate it, I think, would be the best option. And then we're going to need a straight, a T. No, don't we want to shoot it up here? No, we definitely want it to go up this path here. Okay, three T's, a straight, two elbows, and a straight. Three T's, two straights, three elbows. Three T's, two straights, two elbows. Okie dokie, three straights. No. Three T's, two straights, three elbows. Uh, okay, so one elbow, drop it down there. Two elbow, drop it down there. Three elbow, drop it down there. And we need some straights. Where the hell are our straights? Where are all of our T's? Is this the agile one? No. Why are we using this? Okay, we're going to decommission this here cart by uh, walking it out into the wilderness. And we're going to put it down. We're going to shoot it in the back of the head. Everyone stop looking. Nobody look! Nobody look! Nobody look what we're gonna do with this cart. Okay? Nobody look. Nobody look. Nobody look. Nobody look. Okay? Nobody look. Come here, old yeller. You've been good you've been good to us so far, but unfortunately it's uh it's time we um we put you out of your misery, okay? You 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 were good to us as a cart. You were good to us. But unfortunately, you know, nothing lasts forever. Ni heal no way. Soup soleil. Oh well, I've said enough. Bye bye. Rip in pieces, you big bastard. I know I left all the elbows in there, but he can keep them. He needs the memories. Okay, let's uh, go all the way over here with our actual cart worth having, and we will drop it all the way over here. The goods if you got the cash. No, I don't have any cash actually. So we need lots of teas, and we uh, more teas than the, what that guy's offering. We need lots of teas. We need. Two T's and three straights and three elbows. I think that's what we're going for, right? Uh, I think our money's on the quad, isn't it? It's over here. I think it is. I think we kept our money for a bit. Damn it, it's gone. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we left it back at that uh, back of that hole. That's okay. Uh, we can still put these in place. So let's start. Wait, this is a right conveyor. We wanted to put this here right there, to line up to this, and we want a straight on here to not move at all, so that we can basically just pipe everything up without the buckets entirely. Okay, don't want that. We want a straight right here. Excellent. Because this one should not be powered. We're not going to power this one for a while. There we go. So, production should stop basically there if we just turn this little swivel over here. There we go. Wonderful!
full. So not moving. Good. Awesome. Excellent. Right. So money. Let's go downstairs. Uh, we'll get a few items out of the bucket so we can save ourselves a trip home. We'll replace the bucket with this one. Oh, actually we've got a couple of things falling into the right place for once. Good. Uh, we'll turn this off and we will pick this up and not dump it all on the floor. Right. And we want this one to be here. That should be good. How's that? Very, very close. Very sus. Hi, I can't read any of that. I am uh, uncultured. All I read was Stalin. I hope it's not offensive. I'd hate to ban somebody. Okay, we'll come up here and we will start to uh, sell all of our crap. What do we want to sell it for? We want to sell it for pipes, didn't we? We need a bunch of pipes to kind of finish off the sorting system infrastructure. Good, 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 good. Don't Hello, sir. I'm just about Move. Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, we were. Okay, we've got enough for a truck, I think. Me thinks. Got a little bit of frame drop during that as well. That's crazy. That is an insane amount of money. 6,000 buckery boots. And we're taking it to the most uncivilized shop in the game. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to gonna crap your britches when you see how much money I've got. And it just stacked into 613. 6,013. Nice. Nice, nice. 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 Okay, uh, we need two, three elbows. We need three elbows because we don't have any other elbows since we put down our last cart. We need two straights and we need three T's, don't we? One, two, three. I think this should be exactly what we need. Okay, good. And now we're going to hit the button. 200 bucks. <laughs> I'm a thousand deer, buddy old pal. Watch me here. Excellent. Man, we have so much money now, by the way. We have massively overshot the progress we made in the last two playthroughs. Absolutely insane. We probably want to start dropping these down the hole, don't we? Oh, we actually have a couple of elbows already down the hole. Okay, uh, got to pick up that one. Good. I'm just going to toss them down here in case uh, we need them for later. I know it might congest the hole and we might be, not be able to fit down there anymore, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Uh, let's not throw the entire cart down there. We probably could, actually. But it would be a pain in the ass to get out. Okay, a couple more. And here we go. We're in the pile of pipes. The pipe pile. So, now we want to get a elbow. Right, we need an elbow. We basically want it to look like it's going to hook in here. And then we want another one to pipe out the back of it. Well, the front of it, technically, from what we can see. Just under here. Whoops. And turn that around. And now we want it to pipe a straight into a T. So, that's a, t that's a straight. We want this one right here. Right there. Very cash money. Is that how far we want it? No, we want it further one more. Uh, we're going to get the T in place anyway, just because we can. Right here. Very good. Right there. Now we need one more straight. Good. We did throw a straight down here. Excellent. My work headache is gone. They changed their mind. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Okay. It's almost completely set up, guys. Oh, that's right. We wanted a T intersection to come out the back of this, didn't we? So we'll turn this one off. And then we want a second T intersection to pipe into the pipes that we are currently piping in now. Boop. Put that there. We want to remove this from everything. We want to put the T junction coming in here. We want to remove this straight right here. I'm going to come around here. We're going to drop this in the pipe pit. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take another T intersection. Wonderful! Let's put this one right here. Excellent. Right, so we can keep our infrastructure and everything as well. Uh, we probably, now that we can, I'm actually going to move this away. And I'm going to put this pipe right here. And we're going to keep the machine off for now. And the reason for that is we want to put a conveyor belt right, actually, you know what? Let's take this, put it down here. We'll put a conveyor on here and then we will keep the machine on so that we are still generating resources. Okay. Okay, we do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that right now. Let's grab this and we'll come over to the egress hole, the pipe hole. And we'll... No, this is a bend. Well, whose? This is not what we want. We want to unstuck and get this out of the hole entirely. Okay, we'll put this here, I think. And we want a straight. Where are the straights at? This is a... There's a straight. Excellent. You can't really see it, but the uh, title is right under my shoulder. Actually, you can read it. It's well positioned. I didn't even plan that. Uh, we want to orient it right this way. 
Good. And now we can pipe everything onto this conveyor belt. And while it's not moving, uh, we're still generating resources, which is just the best thing in the world. Probably actually take this bucket of resources and just dump it on here too. It's a full of... Full of a lot of stuff, actually. Let's take this bucket. I'm going to drop it here. Boop. There we go. And we're good. Now we can start piping up from here and try and get at least a path of egress to the sorting system. So we'll put the straight right there. We should... That's moving. Excellent. So we do have enough water pressure. Uh, all these pipes down here, we probably don't want them down here necessarily. So I'm going to unstuck this one out. Just going to drop it on the ground. And I'm going to come out and maybe start just dumping straights down to the hole. What is this? Straight. Good. I'm going to dump this one in here. No, dump further. Okay, we're going to dump it into the other hole. This one here. Oh, ooze. <laughs> all right, we've fallen down the hole. We have to use the unstuck button. Basically... Every single second of the game, it seems. Uh, let's start vertically piping out as well. So we want this to face that way, yes. And we want it to come all the way down here. From there. Yes, that's precisely what we want. And now we don't really have to... Yes, we do. The conveyor belt actually just got us stuck, unfortunately. We want it straight down there, so it'll pipe straight onto that conveyor belt. And that... Oh, it was... Ugh. Right, this one is not even what we want. It's not even a straight. Oh my god, why am I so stupid? I can't believe it. Everything's going wrong now. Everything's everything's changing. And I'm afraid. I'm afraid of everything changing. Like a boomer who just saw their first pink-haired person for the first time. Right, uh, this is a straight conveyor. Come out here and... I'll try and get down to this goddamn hole again. This is a horrible hole. It's probably what I'm going to name it. All right, that's good. And we should be able to just jump up here. Wonderful. Actually, we can just walk up there. We don't need to do any jumping. Hello, I'm back from your last live stream. Hello there, King of Spiders. How are we doing? I remember you. Vaguely. Vaguely remember. I think you've been here once, right? So we'll get this straight and we'll come up here. We'll start piping in from here. We'll get the verticals, actually. Instead of these straights, we'll get the verticals. Because we need to start plugging in these ones here so we don't have to worry about anything below orient it. I think maybe this would be good. Like that? Yeah. So we're going to actually need a straight right here because of this T-junction. Oh, poos. I've fallen down. Again. I've been here once. Yes, yes. Yes. Memory serves. Memory only serves. Not much, though. Not much, indeed. Uh, we'll get these here vertical junctions again. Probably this one would be the next best. Doesn't really want to go down any further. That should be fine. We're almost done with the verticality. Oh, we need more verticals. Booze. That's okay. We've got six grand in our pocket, which is just absolutely excessive. I don't think we've got any more straights. Okay, we'll put one of these straights over here that aren't in use onto this infrastructure. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm completely stuck. I need to use... <laughs> We're actually going to use the unstuck button without cheesing the game for once. That's a first. Okay, so now we need one... Two, three more lifts, two more straights. Three lifts, two straights. Let's go get our six grand, and we'll go back and get all of those. I actually think we've got enough money to maybe finish off this entire sorting system. What the hell's in here? Literally nothing. Okay, we'll get this bucket out of this man's head. We've got five grand to play with, which again, it's just an excessive amount of money. Especially by my standards. I'm going to make a tier list video of underrated YouTubers, and you're going to be S rank. Yeah, baby! That feels absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Love that! I love being s rank. I was going to make a, a, a tier video recently of uh, cursed Pop-Tarts. Have you seen those? Have you seen all the Photoshop Pop-Tarts? There's hundreds of them. There's uh, so many Pop-Tarts that are just bad. Like, uh, like full of wasabi Pop-Tarts, which I would probably place at a B tier, but also there's toenail Pop-Tarts too. You've never heard of them? Oh, no. Don't Google them. You, you may lose any shred of innocence you've had left. Oh, they are rough. They are very, very rough to look at. There's Vaseline Pop-Tarts. That's how I found them all, by the way. Vaseline Pop-Tarts. I wish we had Pop-Tarts here in New Zealand. We kind of do, but they're 11 bucks a box, which is simply unaffordable for most people. Uh, also, there was only one vote for the colour of the truck, so we're going to go off, we're going to decommission this old clunker, and we're going to get ourselves the blue truck, even though it's probably the the, the least easy-to-see one in the game. We're probably going to lose it so much. Oh, well. It'll probably become a bit... All right, uh, up here, we'll get the truck first, and then we'll decommission old Yucky right here. 
Right, so we'll come out here, we'll grab the coins, drop this into the back of the truck. Boop. Wait, I missed a vote, I was busy. Yeah, 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 the vote is over, the vote is over. Uh, we voted blue for the color of truck that we're gonna buy. Boop. We voted blue. It's blue. It, wa it was blue the whole time. It was blue. Okay, good. Throw that in there, and now we're going to decommission Old Yucca. Which means we probably need to not only um, commit to the name Old Yucca for this one, but we're going to have to name the other one. I'm thinking Dump Truck Ass, but I'll, I'll stick it to another vote. Okay, we'll stick this on here. I don't know, you tell me. Uh, is there like a lever or something that I have to... Oh, there is. Boop. 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 No, nothing? Seriously? I can't scrap this piece of garbage? Do I have to back it in? Please don't tell me I have to back it in. Please tell me it's possible. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the crusher. No one turned it on yet. Everyone's just staring at me trying to get out. And scrap. And scrap. And scrap. And scrap. Uh, scrap. You're not great at your job, are you, buddy? Scrap. Okay. Okay. We're just going to leave this somewhere where we uh, won't miss it then, if that's the case. Maybe like, uh... Oh, how about in this pond right here? I think this pond would be a good place. Wait, you were probably too far? What do you mean too far? Can we put this in the pond? Okay, we need like a bigger run-in, I think. Oh, it's stuck. It's completely stuck. Okay, well, that's best case scenario. <laughs> we'll just leave that right there. You're probably too far from the button. No, I, I think I was close enough. I definitely think I was close enough. All right, what are we going to name our truck? Cast votes. There's still one vote right now for dump truck ass. It might be a, a little bit crass, though, I think, for our playthrough. Over here, I think. We go with Bluey. Bluey's a good one. I think we'll end up getting all of these cars eventually, but at the same time, we're not going to do that just yet. Oh, this is significantly easier to handle. Whoa, nice. Silver Sliver? That's hard to say. Silver Sliver. Ugh. Maybe. Okay, we've got to vote for that as well. <sighs> Big yucky, though. <laughs> we could name it, um, just something, like, terribly crass. Like, uh... Donkey Dick? Maybe? Silent Silver Sliver? It's getting worse. It's getting worse. Okay, we need three of these verticals. One lift... And two lifts, and this should be all the lifts that we need until we start, like, sorting out the gems. Three lifts, and we need a bunch of the straights now, don't we, too? One straight, and two straights. Whoops. Huh? Huh? So, lofty? Oh, lofty's a good one. Silent and deadly? That's more like a fart, isn't it? <laughs> it's not, it's not petrol powered, so I don't think it's thematically correct. We can afford that. I was looking at that thinking, wow, that's expensive, but then I realized, no. It's not, actually. We are just doing that well. Okay, whoops, that one fell off the back. And we are gonna get that one, and that one, and that one, and now we get our lifts. One lift, and two lifts, and three lifts, and we're off. No, we're not. We left our money in the back. Take a look at my goods. Still got two grand. No, lady! She sees my wealth, and she wants a piece of it. Gross. Gross! Your, your charms won't work on me, succubus. Yins and I here making a straight sports bar with all those straights. <laughs> yep. Argon? Maybe. Argon's pretty neutral. I don't think it's blue, though. Neon would be a good one. Maybe neon? Or Z30? How about Z30? Do we have any votes for Z30? That's a type of car. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll back that in there, and now we will finish off our sorting system right after we sleep, I think. I just b-hopped over that card, by the way. And I b-hopped over myself. Nice. Neon fart. Maybe. Actually, that's a strong contender now that I think about it. Or we could always just go for the, the tried and true, um, <laughs> you know, just name it. <laughs> Lofty is the blue truck from Bob the Builder. Oh, okay. That's, that's at the top of the list at the moment. It's, it's probably second to, <laughs> we could name it. <laughs> Yep, that's the wrong one. We want to put it down there. Good. And that's hooked in well. Excellent. Man, I'm a good hooker. Especially for the amount I'm being paid. Okay, we'll put that in there. And one more. And we have liftoff. Houston, we have a sorting system. 
Great. We need one straight down below, and we need two straights above. And then we will be uh, basically good to go to leave the sorting system until we uh, completely replace everything with these straights. We might even have enough to do it now. We need one down below. I don't think we've got any in the in the pipe hole. We do not. Yeah, we'll grab this one. Big blue or blue menace? It's not really a menace. Big blue probably makes sense. Uh, I need to put this down so I can pipe things in. Good thing the machines are broken. Ah, oh, bugger. There's somewhere to put this. Huh? I don't want to put it on the sorting system either because... Okay, it won't be carried away then. Good. Let's bring that in close and we want to orient it this way so that we've got more piping coming out that way. And then we want to stick this... No! No! <laughs> Okay. Okay. Looks like we're picking up all of this ore, lads. We're picking up every single chunk we just dropped again. Oh! Oh! The moment you connected the pipe, I saw that coming. <laughs> yeah, well, you like this, don't you? This relaxes you. Okay, we'll put this over here. There's nowhere to put this now, because it's it, the whole place is just filled up with crap. I'm going to redeploy the bucket. Okay, that's still not amazing. Okay, let's start the arduous task of refilling this bucket. Oops, drop that one away. We're now in a, a worse position as well because we're on a horrid incline. Why am I putting this in a bucket? What am I doing? Where is that? Wait, where did that conveyor belt go? Uh, hello? Conveyor belt? Don't tell me it's up there. Oh, I'm actually stuck. Okay, fine. You need a corner one as well, not a straight one. They still work. We need a straightener, which uh, it kind of like centralizes everything on the... <laughs> oh, perfect. That's exactly where we wanted them to end up, though. Because once we turn this big line on, it'll pipe it in straight to the sorting system that we already have set up. Good. So we'll just set up all of this first, I suppose. Ugh. Right here. This actually works, believe it or not. This this works really, really well. If we get a hook centralizer right here, then it'll be uh, even better too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to get the hammer. And then I'm going to lock in all of the pieces that we've already placed. And the reason for that is because we want to not pick them up accidentally while we're getting all of the rest of this crap from underneath it. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> oh, that hurts so bad. Uh, knock that in, knock that in, knock that in, knock that in, knock that in. Because we're not going to move them. Knock that in, knock that in. Uh, we probably want to... Get rid of this concrete huh? right here. Huh? And we're good. Knock that in. And the pipe as well. Good, so we don't accidentally pick them up. Okay, we should be in a good place now. Let's go ahead and put this on the sorting system. Or not. Huh? Huh? Okay, good. That's going to go up top, so we don't have to carry it up ourselves. And now we fill up the sorting system, I think. Okay, let's put this on the sorting system too. So it takes it upstairs. Okay, let's angle this way and we'll stick everything straight on the sorting system. I know it's hard to see, but it's happening. Believe me, it's happening. Okay, good. And that, and that, and that, and that, and this one too. And also this one. And there's another one over here. <sighs> hey, I'm back right now. My theme park is broke as hell. Can you give me some more money, money? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any money to spare because I am uh, down in this dirty hole fishing resources out of the floor. Oh my god, there's so much crap down there. And I can't reach it. Okay, I can reach some of it. We probably retrospectively don't need to pick up all of them, just like the gemstones maybe. Pick up everything that I can though. Because there is a button that basically clears all chunks. Huh? Huh? Okay, good. And this one, and this one, and this one, and also this one, and this one, and this one, and don't forget that one. Okay. Good. I was stuck on something. Didn't know what for a second there. There is also a repair kit down here. I'm actually going to use this on the bottom machine. And then we're going to go up top, I think, would be the best option. We'll go up, unstuck ourselves. Whew. 
Oh, look, it's piping all of our resources up exactly where we need it. Let's grab this hammer right here. No! Don't throw resources everywhere! <laughs> Why? Why do you curse me so, game? I'm going ape mode. I'm literally going ape mode. Be right back. That's fine. At least the sorting system is actually working, though. It is functioning as is intended. We'll kind of extend this out, I think, before we get too frustrated with what we're currently doing. Because if we just finish off the sorting system, we'll get everything that's already on the belt into the sorting system over here, which means we don't have to worry about the individual chunks of things. And the chunks of things can be cleared away with literally the button right under this unstuck button, clear all uh, raw resources right here. We basically want that one. Oh no, my heart st stopped ex excessive screaming with an accent. I don't know how you scream with an accent. That's actually very impressive. Gotta be said. If that's like a talent of yours, you should try and monetize it. Because then you'll have money, money. Ah, uh, this is hideous. We want these gemstones right here. We're going to keep the gemstones. Other than that, I'm not really interested in what else this place has to offer. I'm going to pour everything from this... Oh, come off it. No, don't you fall into that hole. I swear to God. Ugh. We are going to have one real expensive gold bar after this, though. Uh, so we need a bit of money so that we can get ourselves... A repair kit then the production will continue on and we will be absolutely fine to uh basically persevere with whatever we're doing now oh i didn't realize we left a bucket in here with 500 bucks in it nice we've got two and a half grand now let's put this bucket in the middle of the road hopefully we won't forget about it when we're driving around here let's get a repair kit Boop. done excellent so i'm gonna throw this into the bucket hopefully good damn it <laughs> Man, the buckets are really, really fiddly with what they work with and what they don't. Okay, we'll come down here. We'll try and go down the sorting system path. Do I have to crouch? Yes, I have to crouch. And we will repair this machine right here. We're also stuck on the pipe right here. A little bit of a shame. Can't get down. Uh, let's drop this in the hole. Hopefully we're not blocking that, the pipe hole. And now we're going to unstuck. Man, we really need to kind of clear out the zone, don't we? But we also really need to get this money together, don't we? And we've kind of doubled down on restoring this here point. So if we had a bucket of money... Oh, actually, I'll tell you what. I know exactly what we can do. But every bar you make into one pot to make a lot of money, probably. That's kind of what we're trying to do, but ores do not meld into alloys. You have to put like with like, unfortunately. There is something around here called a magnet on a stick, if I remember right. We haven't used it in any of our playthroughs so far. But what it does is it attracts ores to the stick. And if we do that, we can kind of drop everything into a bucket. Then we can shove it on the manual sorting system that we've already crafted. And that should throw everything into the uh, furnaces that we've already got cooking here. Yeah, we don't have any gold. We've got a bit of cloudy and we want to keep that. We can't sell this crap here. Uh, this iron we want to keep as well. We are going to be able to craft another item, by the way. We're going to be able to craft another item as soon as we get the sorting system done because all of the iron will filter into that pop and I can guarantee we've got a major excess of iron. We, we will have way more than like 400 kilos of iron, which is how much you need to make a single item. Uh, this is strange. I see the mechanics of this, of this truck are just the same. Uh, what do we decide on, by the way? For the, the name of this truck? Blue Menace is good. We're, we'll choose between Blue Menace and uh, Lofty. Because I think Bob the Builder is actually pretty close to what we're simulating here. All right, magnet on a stick. It's not in here. This is conveyor nation. Kamavaganda. Yeah, I'm doing that right now, buddy, old pal. It is. Oh, we also need heaps of these water filter hooks as well to uh, kind of staunch off the degradation. Yeah, this right here. Magnet on a stick. 500 bucks, though. Good grief. Oh, well. It's going to pay for itself very easily. Yeah, this is what it does. It attracts metals. Come on, money! I don't want to make two trips! I don't want to make two trips! Come on! Come on, money! Here we go! Who's a good money? God, I'm talking to this thing like Trump talks to his bank account. Okay, we'll drop this here, and now we're going to back it up, and we should be good to go! Come on, guys! Lofty or Blue Menace? I'm picking one of those two. I've already decided the finals, because there was a very even split on every single recommendation. Okay, I just jackknifed this thing into the perfect position. Duolingo is back again. Oh no. 
Oh no, he's not in the game, is he? Please tell me he's not in the game. Okay, now that we've got this, uh, we are going to kind of try our best. Oh, this is going to be absolutely messy as hell, by the way. This is going to be such a messy, messy thing we're doing. We are going to take this bucket. We're going to move it right to the edge here. Huh? Huh? Because it's on an angle. That's why it's going to be messy. And now we're going to take this mag this, oh, this horrible magnet on a stick. And we're going to try and lure all of these ores into the bucket. No! That's what usually happens! Okay, 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 okay. And boop. Oh! Okay, it did make an enormous mess. And it picked up a bunch of stuff. Good. Okay, so if we put this on the manual sorting system, we should have enough. We should have enough to finish off the entire sorting system. Oh, poos. As soon as we hit this lever, all of them are going to... Oh, that's absolutely fine, actually. I'll drop it all here. Good, and then we'll remove this pipe so that it's not connected. And we'll turn it on, and it should sort. Go, go, gadget sorting system! Okay, good. And filters off the iron. Wonderful. Into the pot. Very good. And over here, the gold into the pot. That is actually quite a bit of gold. And all of that crappy blue stuff into the pot. I don't want to see this go in, but it is relaxing to see the fruits of our labors. Okay, let's turn this off before we <laughs> put this pipe back on. I don't think we have anywhere near enough, though. That's the thing. I don't think we have anywhere enough money to kind of pipe everything back into straight converters. We do need one of these here, a right converter. And we want to orient it exactly that way so we can stick it on this corner right here. Whoops. Almost got it. There we go. And now we just need a bunch of straights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen straights. We need fifteen straights. Now we're getting into like sports bar territory right there. All right, fifteen straights. Fifteen straights at two hundred and twenty bucks would be roughly three and a half thousand bucks. So we need three and a half thousand bucks. We already have. What do we already have? We already have. 2,000 bucks. We need one and a half thousand buckery boos to finish off this here sorting system. So let's take this out. We need 1,500. We have 490 bucks worth. Oh no, everything went everywhere. Damn. You want good gold? Go to a desert for the best gold? Actually, rivers uh, provide the best gold because they're not tainted with other uh, ores. Here in New Zealand, we are famous for uh, basically 100 years of a gigantic gold rush. So if anyone knows gold manufacturing, it's us. And also Australia. Australia has uh, gigantic mines for, for that kind of purpose as well. All right, so this made an enormous mess and was uh, really didn't do a good job at all. Uh, great. Okay. It's still actually pumping out resources, which is awesome. We also need a centralizer hook. Oh no! Oh no, indeed. I think we're gonna have to go around with a bucket and manually fill it up again. Oh, the Nile River. I disagree, uh, mainly because I'm in denial. You know what I mean? All right, let's put that there and we'll put that there. We probably should hammer these down so we don't accidentally pick anything up. So I'm gonna do that right this second. Let's hammer. There we go. So we're not accidentally going to pick anything up. Damn it, seriously? And we'll leave those ones like kind of spare for now in case we need to disconnect everything again. Okie dokie, so the magnet on a stick overcomplicated literally everything. We'll uh, drop this bucket first so we can always drop into the bucket. Here we go. We are doing it again. We're doing Z30's favorite thing. Oh, piss. It goes through the bucket. Oh, no. What if we just put the bucket, like, here? Uh, that's sus, but I think we could work with that. Yeah, we can definitely work with that. Put all of this around here. And good, and good. Dad jokes be like, Ginson. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a dad in training. I haven't had a kid yet, but I'm, I'm training to be a dad. There's not even a kid on the way. I just like the dad jokes. All right, let's shove everything into this bucket the same way we were doing before, annoyingly. Uh, oh, we probably actually got enough gemstones, right? We could probably actually sell a bunch of gemstones. 
We don't have the sorting system on the uh, gemstones just yet, but we can probably sell them because they are being cut individually as they are. We'll empty the bucket into this one as well when we go up north to kind of sell everything, I think. I'm only picking out the uh, bare essentials of gold, though, from all of this. So we're doing pretty well. A lot of big clumps of gold. Got to be worth like, uh, like 100 bucks each, honestly. They are seriously valuable. Okay, we'll stick all of this in here and there. And one more over here. Great. And one there. And also another one here. And one here. That is not Cloutium. That's gold. We need that. A couple of gemstones, actually, that we are also going to pick out of the pile. Why am I not moving? Because we don't want to lose this kind of, like, orientation right here. If we can pick everything up from a distance, we will. Oh, there's one there. Good. There's another one over here that I'll take straight off the rack. Good. Let's start piling this into the sorting system. So, Because we're going to get a bit of gold out of this. Whoop. And there we go. Wonderful. Okay, so that's going to polish and we'll get a bunch of gold coming in as well. Denial? Worst joke ever. There are worse. There are way worse. I too have a father. I know that there are worse jokes. Okay, that filled that thing up like crazy, actually. Let's see what this is worth. Oh, it just tipped us over the edge. Okay, now we're off to go and get 15 straights. Excellent. Uh, we want to put this in the back of the car. We're going to sell it at the store. Boop. And we are golden. I know it's a little bit dark, but that's why we've got headlights. Very cash money. Okay, so coming up here, we probably aren't going to think about much else other than the... The, the straight conveyor belts, right? Because once we polish off this sorting system, we will be in the clear for the foreseeable future. There'll be no lag spikes. There'll be no need to carry buckets of things around. We will just be dumping resources straight into a pool. Uh, let's actually go ahead and back this bad boy in. Excellent. Okay. What were they? Uh, I'm going with uh, Lofty. Lofty is is now the, the option. We are calling the truck Lofty. Where's our money? There it is. Good. Okay, so we want to get out of Lofty, and we are going to come all the way over here to try and sell this at the jewelers, who should be at the end of here. I'd like you to make me something. A bowl of soup. Get it yourself, you dick. And over here, we are going to... Yep, how much will you give me for this? 20, uh, two grand. Thank you very much. Wonderful. And we need to go this way. You made that soup yet? No! I just told you I'm not doing it! What is the next stage after you get enough money and get everything you need? Uh, yeah, that is a major question. I think we just build a gigantic mechanical monstrosity to automate all kinds of, of income. Right, boop. That's more than enough that we need you 15 straights. Better prices than these. Yeah, yeah, stop shilling. I already know, lady. Let's just put them straight on the truck, can we? One. Oh, I think we can. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. I'll let you know after I've counted. Six, seven, eight, nine, uh -huh. whoop, huh? ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's what we need. We can afford more. We'll get one spear. Whoop, there we go. Great. There we go. And we are left with 500 bucks, which is actually pretty reasonable. And we're done. Okay, so the next stage is probably going to be maybe looking into another, like, element of productive enterprise while we wait for lots and lots of iron to generate because we also need to craft more machines to kind of get more crap being extracted from the earth. We're probably going to want to start looking at setting up at a new location soon as well, but that is going to take a while. So we are going to double down with this location first. We're going to get a lot of Cloutium, which is kind of like the next tier of, of ore. And once we have enough Cloutium, we can make tier 2 harvesters, which can go into the Ice Helm Mine. And once we start getting into the Ice Helm Mine, we'll also start getting Core Stone, which is tier 3 ore. And there's no other tiers, at least in the base game. We haven't seen the DLC yet, but there's no others in the base game. So that is going to be kind of like the foreseeable future game plan. Okay, one right there, one right mm -hmm. there. Good, and we'll get another one out here. Wonderful. And we'll start over here. Let's actually go ahead and hammer down these pipes, just before we forget. There's a hammer. Good. I know we're kind of working in the dark, but... We're kind of burning daylight at this point. Uh, by the... By the way, we're burning daylight. Well, Oh, have I hammered none of these down? 
No, I've hammered all of these down. Okay, good. Yep, one here. Excellent. We're in a really good place. Great! Let's start putting these straights down, and then we can absolutely just forget about everything here, right? We are putting it down to the wrong orientation, hilariously. Let's grab these back. No! Why is this on? Why is this on? Okay, we just made an even bigger mess. That's embarrassing. They didn't just dump it into the... Oh, they did dump it into the river. Damn it. <laughs> oh, they just bit us in the ass really bad. Oh, well. It is what it is. Wonder why you can't get wood without buying it. Uh, yeah, I think forestry is probably one of those things that should be added to the mm -hmm. game eventually, right? Because there is agriculture. And it seems as though there's not going to be a Hydroneer 2 coming out any time soon. So I think that there's going to be a few kind of like drops of DLC as forms of industry that are kind of added to the game under the radar just over time as they have been already. I didn't even see when the agriculture DLC dropped and it was free, hilariously. So I think that's going to be the game plan for the game. Oh, we also need a centralizer hook as well, which we should probably stick right at the end of here. But now we can turn on the sorting system. Everything should be Gucci. Should be good to go. There we go. Is it? Let's see. Right, everything is on here. Oh, God, we got to pick everything up, don't we? All right, let's grab this, put it there. We'll grab this, put it there. We'll grab this, put it there. We'll grab this, put it there. And we'll grab this, and we'll put it there. I'm not even going to bother with the crap over here, I think. I just lied. I'm going to do it right the second. I'm going to take this and put it over here. Take this, put it over here. Take this, put it over here. Take this, put it over here. And we'll take this one, and we'll put it over here. And we'll take this, and we'll put it over here. And also we'll take this one, and we'll put it over here. And this one too. I'm glad I've got literally, like, the longest arms in the world. Because if I didn't, this would be such a, such a horrible little task. I mean, it's already a little obnoxious to be pixel hunting, but at the same time... It's not so bad. It's not so bad, honestly. Because once you get started on a job in this game, you're basically limited only to your own work ethic. I'd say. All right, let's go and do a sleep real quick. We'll jump ourselves. Boop. Okay, missed it. Let's jump over ourselves. There we go. Did a jump over our own crotch. Excellent. I love that. And we should be golden. It's daytime, by the way, and everything's coming up. Ah, piss. We need a... Yeah, we need a centralizer hook down, way down south, I think. I think that's going to be where we should be putting it. But everything should be functioning. All of these ores should be dropped into the relevant pots whenever they get close. There we go. Nice. Oh, this feels so good. This feels so good to finally have this up and running. I don't even know if we had it up and running in the last sessions, but these are huge, huge value ores that are just being dumped into our pockets right here. A little bit of ore stone over there. Very good. And we've got some pickups coming up as well. This is nice, isn't it? This is so nice. A lot of, lot of gold right right there. Very good. Okay, so at the end here, we should have a bunch of gemstones, which we do. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead, pick up this hammer, and we're going to polish off everything that we just placed down. This one, this one, this one, this one. Anything else? Nope. Uh, this one, too. This one, and this one. I'm looking at the pipes as well, but I think we've got them all. This one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Excellent. Okay, so we're in a fantastic place now. We're in the place of automation where we don't necessarily need to continue onwards. You know what this does need, though? I think it needs a couple of torches. And it definitely needs a hook centralizer. Or maybe it doesn't. Because they're all kind of centering as they come up here anyway, aren't they? If it, like, it's coming slow. But they're not ridiculously hard against the surface. Yeah, this centralizes it anyway. I'm going to see if any ores are, like, falling off down here. Because I don't think any would have. Why would any have? No, it's good. This functions. Bricks should be added as well because of the bar thing. Needs more uses than cooling down gold. Gold. Uh, there are some other uses for gold. Like, oh, piss off. We'll use the magnet on a stick. We'll use the magnet on a stick for this. Because what's the worst that could happen with this point right here? Where was it? Here it is. Coming up. Okay, we're lifting it all up. And we're dropping it on the conveyor. Oh my god, this is exactly what I wanted. Yes! 
yeah, you can craft jewellery and you can also craft mm -hmm. uh, other things like weapons and stuff out of gold. There is a crafting system. It's just not very fleshed out, per se. This is going to look awesome when it goes in. Do we want to just wait for it to go in? Well, we just accrue resources. I'll wait for all of this to go in, and then we will empty out the gold. We'll go and buy ourselves a little bit more infrastructure to get a gem sorting system, a hook centralizer, and a couple of other quality of life features that we could do with. Damn, someone about to steal all of that. Nah, no one's going to steal. I'm the only person here who has any kind of work ethic. That is Hydroneer. You are, you are the Hydroneer. You're the only person capable of making money in this world. Other people can't even grow themselves a tomato to eat. Probably that soup guy. Oh, we probably could have actually looked at our agriculture while we were waiting too. Now, that soup guy, he's, he's, he's creepy and he's weird, but there's no way in hell he's going to be taking our, our loot. Look at all of this. Oh, let's see, let's see them get polished. Not a lot getting polished, actually. One gem, two gems. All right, it's going in. It's all going in. Yes! Oh, that looks so cool. I love all of that. How many core stones? One. Well, you shouldn't have. And two gems. Okay. That's a pretty good bounty, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off the sorting system. Because the machines are still going to be pumping down south. But we can now access all of this crap here that we want. So we now have a 137 kilo bar of gold, which is three grand's worth. Let's go ahead. Put that down. We'll take this bar and we'll start doing some good stuff with it. And since the furnace is back in place, we will just hit that button. Now, alternatively, we could actually raise all of this by one, with a couple of elbows going boom, boom, and then we could stick a higher lift to drop all of these into automated smelters, I think. Shiny clean? It is shiny clean, isn't it? All of this is shiny clean. It's, it's like I drank a bottle of Windex. That's what we're dealing with here, as Jensen just drank a bottle of Windex. Oh, we've still got straight conveyors. That's, uh, excessive. We don't actually need those anymore. Uh, we've got a lot of gold. I think best case scenario, we just sell it, right? We just sell this gold, and then we get a couple of goodies with it. So, I'll go take a look at our agriculture real quick. We probably also want to... Oh, one of the machines have broken. Yeah, that's what we need to do next. So, we could get the automatic smelters, which we don't need... We want them. We don't need them. What we need now is more machinery down south, which means we're going to need to set up some kind of water filtration system so that they don't break. Actually, we'll wait for all of this to deposit, and then we'll also clear all chunks off the map so that all this crap isn't... Oh, actually, there's a couple of gems here. Okay, we won't do that just yet. We'll... We won't fix the machinery just yet. We'll wait for those gems to deposit... And we're going to go and see if we can't get ourselves a few more machines. I think it's going to be the next best thing. There's a bit of iron there. Is that the last bit of iron? No, there's one more bit of iron. I'm going to manually drop it in. It's going to do it. Good. How much have we got? 462. Excellent. So, now we're going to go to Ice Helm. We're going to go craft up another set of machines. And we're going to place them right besides the ones that we have. Because we've got enough money. We've got enough money to buy these schematics, and we've got enough iron now to craft both machines that we need. And then some. We've, got, we've actually got uh, excess iron. We've got about 60 kilos more than we actually need. But that was the reason we were keeping all of our iron and setting up the sorting system in the first place, so that we could set up... Oh, this is hairy. So that we could set up basically the gold to be our money source and the iron to be our crafting base. Okay, let's go up this uh, heinous ramp right here. Should be able to get up there. Oh, that's... <laughs> wow, that was smooth. Okay, uh, we'll go around these trees because we can't go through them. Good. Now, can I have some money? Absolutely not. I am not sharing my wealth with anybody. I can, I could craft you a golden dagger, but unfortunately, money, no way. No way, no how. Uh, let's back this up. Actually, we'll put this kind of like backed into here because this is where all of the other items kind of eject from. So we want to eject them back onto the truck, don't we? All right, now that we're here, we will get our iron. And we also need to put our money in the hole just over here, I think. Send that down south. Boop, and it's gone forever. Excellent. Wonderful. Uh, we'll take our iron and we'll manually go down with this iron because we want to be able to craft things. And we're dropping. 
Oh my god, I just got a little bit of vertigo. I forgot that that gigantic drop was there. Wonderful. Okay, so this iron is going to be left at the base of this gigantic statue right here. And at this gigantic statue base, we are going to also need a couple of uh, things called smatter. So I'm jumping off here because I know that there's a an output station just around here. Because I've played this game before, it's not my first rodeo. We get this 500 bucks. I hope this is enough. I don't rightly remember. And we want to come all the way over here and go into the store. Then... We are going to have uh, double the output, which means we'll have double the speed at which we get resources to make more of the resource collectors. And it's basically another snowballing kind of situation like that. So here we are inside of a shop. I know that all of this was a little bit kind of hard to watch me just bee hopping and parkouring around the place. But this is the Ice Helm shop right here. And all of this is really, really cool and nice. And there's mining helmets and all this stuff right here. Tier two stuff. Very, very neat. Uh, we're not getting any of this, even uh, kind of like upgraded pipes as well that increase water pressure. Uh, even a conveyance system. But we're not interested in this. What we are interested in is all of these little tokens right here. This one costs 184, which we can afford. And this one also costs a bit of money. So we've got 306 bucks. We're actually just going to leave that in there because it's not worth taking up. Unless we've got a bucket. No, we can't put this in the bucket. We tried in the last, se uh, last session. We can't stick these in the bucket whatsoever. They just do not fit. They just kind of like flop around and, and glitch out. Wonderful. Good. And when we have these tokens, we want to put the token on this pedestal and then the crafting will be secure. We need two different machines. We need one machine to kind of spew soil and one machine to kind of refine it into something different. And I know you could kind of like get a better efficiency by having two machines uh, spew your soil out into one single kind of like harvester thingy thingy bob yeah a harvester but at the same time that takes three slots of machinery where you could have three machines just doing it my sister said to keep up the great work and she hopes you get to one to 10k subscribers oh that would be the dream wouldn't it i'm not going anywhere honestly i really like youtubing and i like editing the videos i really like the youtube community i've had two mean comments since i started doing daily uploads since last november that is insane to think about. It is actually insane to think about. And they were both bots. So not a single real person has said anything mean about me or my streams, which is kind of actually the community I want to cultivate in the first place. So I'm all about positivity. Good. We've got our first piece of machinery right here. And even if, like, I don't make it big, at least I've made some people smile. So that makes all of the, the YouTube stuff worth it. Uh, we'll take this token off and we will swap it out. We will stick it out. Thank you very much, Juju Sister, for the uh, good wishes, though. Oh, we need the iron bar as well. I love, to, I love to receive them. I love to receive them. It feels good. It's like a, it's like endorphins. It's free endorphins. I saw the edit you commented on. Oh, which one? If there's ever an edit that goes out that I am in, someone will tag me in it, and I will see it. I will comment on it. I will watch every edit that gets sent my way at this point. If I do hit like 10k subscribers, I'll probably start rethinking how I spend my time. But if somebody makes an edit of me, I will watch it. Because, you know, someone took the time to edit one of my edited videos. And I, I know just how stressful it is to kind of like edit a video. Okay, we're about to be crushed. There we are. We got squished, but, but fortunately we're skinny up to fit through this here. Slat. Yeah, was that, um, oh, what are they going by now? Uh, Mads or Faded Star or something like that on YouTube? She's one of my, like, uh, she's one of my earliest fans. Oh, one of them fell onto the back of the truck. That's great. We'll stick this one on the back of the truck here, and now we are going to go and double our production. We're probably going to need more piping to do so, but we should be in a very, very good place. Yeah. Yeah, there's... A lot of people seem to be attracted to my channel who also really, really like just kind of fiddling around with multimedia, which is basically why the channel started in the first place. Just a, just a wee hobby. Just a wee hobby. And now here I am, entertaining people. Mainly because I've got nothing better to do in my in my private life. That's probably actually going to change next year because I have committed to uh, taking a course in electrical engineering. And I'm pretty excited for it, actually. I'm very excited for it. But I might be restricted with time, which is kind of why I've just set my schedule recently of streaming on the days of the week and also uploading a couple of real good edits on the weekend. About to make eight horse dwarfs? What, like Shetland ponies, or do you mean like, like, like dwarves with the, the body of a horse and the, the head of a man, like a centaur or something like that? I have no idea what you're talking about. 
Okay, we'll come along here, and we want this to be set up right next to the machinery, don't we? And we are. Oh, actually, since everything is piped into our system, let's go ahead and we will clear all raw resources. Let's see what this does. This will remove all raw resources in the world, e.g. gold ore, uncut gems, etc. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and try and sell my gems just before this happens. Actually, no, let's do an experiment. Let's, let's hit the button and see if it clears all the gems. Clear! That was really fast. Oh my god, and we kept all of our cut gems. That is fantastic. I love that. I love that so much. I have so much time for that. Okay, uh, now we're going to go downstairs, and I think what we're going to do is mine out another little segment for this machinery right here. Oop, I'm stuck on this. How predictable. I knew that would happen too. It became short from the elevator. Oh, that's right. I did too. It did, it did compress my spine basically to a lethal extent, didn't it? Embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Okay, I think I'll try and like hook around here and hook into the uh, conveyor belt that we've already got set up. But since we already have all of this money as well... Oh, no, we'll worry about the water filtration system after we get, like, maybe six machines. Because when you get five water filters on a single hydro circuit, you get 100% water cleaning efficiency, which does not damage any of the machinery that the circuit's attached to. That's pretty OP, especially when you start getting uh, water pressurizers set up further into the circuit to kind of maintain water pressure and make things go along faster. But... Each water filter does 20% um, water efficiency, and the first one on the circuit will take all of the damage. So that's going to be kind of... Oh, we found our first artifact! Ho, 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 ho! Look at this! Nice! So we can put this on a podium. I think I showcased the artifact room in one of the earlier sessions that we played of this, but I don't think we actually found anything to stick in there. So we're going to see what happens for the first time ever. I've never done it. I've never done it. I just know it's... It's a thing, because I've been on the wiki before. We're going to put one of these on the podium for the first time ever and see what happens. Right after we clear out this area to mine a little bit more effectively. I kind of also want to go and get some of those fireflies and see if they're not like an excellent source, source of light. But we also kind of want to set up the machinery before we get too distracted with other miscellaneous things. Uh, we'll mine up here. Maybe we want to mine up to daylight from this artifact so we can grab it from above. Good, we should be able to grab that. Excellent. And we've also just illuminated this cavern as well, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to mine out the area at which I would walk around here. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. And we should be good. Should be good. I'm just going to keep on mining this out a little bit further, just in case we get stuck coming down the hole. Probably actually mine out the side of this hole to get down here easier at this point too. Or we could just, like, mine out the uh, the soil above the conveyor belt so we can just walk along the conveyor. I'm going to do that, actually. That's a really good idea. That's going to save us a bunch of time, too. Get rid of some of this crap. Excellent! Okay, we've just came into a lot of wealth, by the way. We've just come into a lot of wealth. Right, so, uh, right here, we need an additional pipe. We need a single pipe in here, which we probably have done here. We do. We've got something in the pipe hole. Huh? We're going to add it. Huh? There. Wonderful. And we've got a straight conveyor. Yes. Good. So we're going to pipe this in sideways here, facing inwards. And now we need to separate this elbow into a T-junction, which we don't have down here. We need a T-junction. We actually need a few T-junctions. We're going to need a T-junction, an elbow, and a straight. In fact, I could probably put the other bits of infrastructure in place that we already have down here. Like this one right here. We go right there. Excellent. We'll mirror that. My sister's watching on TV right now. That is really cool. It's good that you figured out the TV thing. Yeah, it was it just as simple as literally going to your subscriber list and selecting the channel manually? Because I, I, I haven't seen a lot of people pop up in recommendations on TV. I, I'm not sure that system really works all that well. All right, uh, this one has to go here. Since it's out of action, we can just move it. We're not too worried about that. We'll put a T-junction here, and we also want a T-junction. We want two T-junctions... And a straight. Okay, we can work with that. Let's get two T-junctions and a straight. We should have a lot of that somewhere. Maybe even up top here. We might have a straight somewhere. Yep, I see it, actually. There's our last straight just over here. And we still need two T-junctions. So we'll dip that into the hole, and we'll grab this here cart. And we're off! At breakneck speeds as well. I forgot this was a good cart. I wasn't signed in on the TV. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, we will... 
Drop that there. And we need money too, which I forgot to put in the cart. We're still at a really, really good place, by the way. Three hours in, we're still doing twice as good as we did in the last session. Uh, where is the money? Probably in the back of the truck, right? Yeah, no, it's not actually. We left it back home. But we can sell this gigantic gold brick for a hefty sum, which I am also very happy to do. I wonder how we're going to... So, I want to floor out an entire factory as well. That's kind of what I want to do here. And I also want to build kind of like the beginnings of a cottage to some extent. Since we have had our, our progress accelerated so quickly, we could definitely afford some kind of cottage. We've got three grand in coins right here. So I'm thinking getting those big, like, huge floors from the city. And then with those floors, we kind of map out uh, the floor or the foundations at which we would use. Let's drop this in here. We don't want this cart here. We actually want to face this way so we can save time on turning. And we want to drop two T's into it. One. We could probably actually fill this bad boy up, honestly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because it's best just to have all of these things kind of in one place anyway. We'll get a bunch of straights because we are out of them, unfortunately. We're not really out of the elbows at this point. We've still got three in the pipe hole. But I think it still would behoove us to get some anyway, honestly. Get a bunch of these straights, they're really handy. And now, also, elbows. Huh? Huh? What do you mean I can't huh? stick it in the... What? Huh? Huh? Okay, I'll just get a few elbows, I think. Not as many as the other one. Uh, don't want that lying around. Here we go. Okay. Uh, we'll drop this off at the sale till. 113 bucks. Sorry, 813 bucks right down the drain. And while I'm here, I'm actually going to take this bucket and we're going to throw it in here too so that we don't trip on it over and over again. Good. So, now that we've got that, uh, we should start sticking the things that we need down the pipe hole over here. And we should be clear to set up everything else. We need two of these big T-junctions and we also need a single straight pipe. All right, let's go down. We're going to need some lights too. Hopefully we'll have some lights set up by the end of this session, but I won't feel too bad if we don't. Especially if the game actually does save and the rear bug has been fixed by kind of uninstalling and reinstalling the game. Which would kind of also insinuate that there's just a bug that happens in the game. Uh, why aren't these ones good? Oh, I see. We need the T-junction back there too. Working in the dark a little bit, but it should be fine. We'll crouch, we'll get over here and we'll orient it properly. So these are now outputting. Wonderful. Now we need the machines themselves. Uh, where are they? Damn, Yinsen, that's a really good question. Let's follow the conveyor belt until we find them. Oh, that is so much handier. All right, let's get down here with the... Kind of like the thumper, I suppose you could call it. Get the thumper kind of close to us. Right there. And we'll face it right there so it functions. We need to shove some soil up its booty. And we also need to repair the other one. But we're not going to worry about that just yet. Let's sleep, actually. It's too dark. Yay! There we go. Just jumped across myself. A feat only capable of the Hydra now. Excellent. Uh, just over here, I don't know if anyone's noticed either, but my voice is almost completely repaired from screaming with that cold. Your last one, complete the mission. <laughs> it's your last one, complete the mission. I love, I love that line so much. That's Call of Duty, isn't it? That mission, you, that be mission being you finally getting cash and you broke as hell vibes will all be gone. We still have broke as hell vibes if we kind of like jump over this. Because this is our farm. This is, this is what we've got to farm right now. Actually, let's, let's, let's bolster it up. Let's, let's water these plants real quick. Boop. We probably need to set up some kind of piping system to automatically water these plants, don't we? Which make it way, way, way easier to, uh... Kind of like set out a farm as well. Just because like it's really, really hard to place these in a line square with each other. But we're not going to worry about it too much until we kind of have this all set up. Uh, we still need one machine, don't we? Here it is. Back here. The grinder. We need the thumper and the grinder. Good. Right here. Great. And now we need uh, the shovel. Shove some soil up this thing's booty right here. Boop. Buffed it. Great. And now we need to repair this other machine. Uh, we're also going to turn it off. We'll drop that there. Just because it's not moving fast enough. We'll repair it. 
And that should have full health at this point. Now, we put both of these on. We should probably focus almost exclusively on bolstering the filters, right? Once we get the filters, we can start buying ourselves an auto repair site, which would probably polish off everything that we've got at this point. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the settings to make sure I can't, like, maybe make it a little bit brighter. I can. Uh, Gamma's probably good at about a, maybe a three? Yeah, that's good. I can't believe this is the last... No, that's way, way too bright. Way too bright. No, 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 no. Like a, a two, I think, is probably good. Oh, that's way better. Actually, that's, that's so much better. We'll drop this repair kit. Actually, yeah, we'll drop it down the hole. Oh, whoops, I fell down the hole. That's embarrassing. Let's start thinking about how we can kind of bump out our factory floor because we are not using a nominal setup like this at all whatsoever i am the sister and i have a question do you make the farm with metal uh no you gotta you gotta buy the seeds and you gotta plant it with a trowel which is actually how you garden you take a trowel you look where you wanted to garden not at the kind of yellow thing where you play the rest of the game you pl you plant and then you plant some seeds in there sadly seeds are 130 bucks each which is just daylight robbery for produce. Um, honestly, setting up this entire system was probably cheaper than planting these two seeds right here. So we haven't gone too far into farming just yet. All right. Uh, just down here is looking pretty good, actually. We've got all the resources coming up, coming up the pipes. And they are centralizing themselves. So I don't think we will bother getting ourselves a recentralization hook. So water hooks probably going to be the next big thing. Honestly, probably going to be the next major upgrade to this entire station. Again, the gems, they're kind of like plopping into their own place and they're not going anywhere. So we don't necessarily have to worry about that that much. Yeah, so water filters, probably going to be the next best thing. We're going to need $1.7,000 because I know a water hook is $172 each. And we need 10 of them along a circuit. So let's try and... We're going to need lots of money for this, actually. Uh, we'll come over here, and we'll see how much money we've got to play with. Because if we do have enough, we'll buy, like, 10 stripe... We have 10 stripe pipes, actually. We just bought that. We do have enough, actually. Let's get all of these water hooks, and we'll start kind of delegating the damage above ground so that we don't need to go underground as much anymore. And this dirty egress hole can uh, be used far, far less than it deserves. Right. We're going to town. We're going to town. We're going to buy some real big goodies. I think it's going to be fantastic. We also need a pressurization pipe as well. Because moving the water intake pipe away will lower the water pressure and everything will function a little bit slower, which we don't necessarily want, especially on the mining equipment. But it'll be fine anyway. So we'll come over here into conveyor. No. Yes? No. We want to go over to this other store that we don't really go too much. And in fact, let's not go in from this angle, because it's kind of like a little drive through area just away from here. <laughs> just skidding around the corner like this Tokyo Drift. Wow. Okay, we'll come in the back here, and we will fill up the trunk, I think. Oop, I think we've boxed ourselves out a little bit too f Actually, we haven't. We've done really well. I think if we can come up here, we can probably just manually grab these things and drop them in without too much issue. Okay, kind of hard to get it in back here, to be honest. All right, we're going to have to move the car a little bit further forward. Or at least angle it a little bit out so we can probably see a bit better. Like, this might do it. You have to be arrested for driving like that without your game driver's license. I don't have a game driver's license. I am, I am driving without a game driver's license. I have game drivers. I've got NVIDIA game drivers, but I don't have a game driver's license. Oh, right in the back of the truck. Nice. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And one fell off, unfortunately. So let's put that back on. And we'll pay for this before we drive out. Good, we got 200 bucks left. And we're off. And away we go! <laughs> yeah, who needs a license when you can drive like this? Oh my god, <laughs> I just had a massive collision. Wow, this truck really has no chill. Good old Lofty, huh? Good old Lofty, swinging and swerving. Okay, good. So we're almost home and we'll install these water filters, which will delegate all damage away from the machines themselves and towards the water filters so we can repair everything topside. 
We need to cross this path right here. I just drove over an elbow. That's fine. Let's cross over here and we will back this in just right here. There we go. So that is probably a little bit in the way, but we should be able to set up some straight pipes here, shouldn't we? We'll do them without changing the orientation of that pipe just yet. We just need lots and lots of straights. Okay, we'll get this cart because that holds all of our straight beams. And we'll leave it in the water right here because that's probably where we're going to need it most. Well, too bad I have to give you a ticket. No! My 200 bucks! I just came into it! Uh, we'll put this maybe... How do we want to line it? We probably want to line it in this way, don't we? So we'll put the water intake right there. I think that will function. And we'll have kind of like six coming out here because we are going to put a pressurization tank right at the end of this kind of like chain of eyesores that we're about to engage in. And one here. And do we have any more straights? Yeah, we've got plenty. And one here. So we can elbow around from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Elbow, elbow. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, nope. fourteen. So this is probably a little bit excessive, honestly. Twelve is probably pretty good. We'll drop. Why do we drop that there? We actually have to stick that on the other side. Come on, come on, Jensen. What are you doing? You're trying to drive the community? Maybe. Maybe I'm trying to drive the community. Who knows? It's 4,000 bucks because you parked illegally into a place without a permit to pay up. It was a car park. Of course I can park there. I have permission from the owner. She told me to look at her goodies. Maybe you should arrest her for solicitation. You know. Maybe, maybe do your job. Maybe do your job. How about that? Huh? Okay. So we've disconnected everything. Unfortunately, we're going to connect up here. And we need two elbows. At the end over here, we're going to put one right there, and the other elbow can go right here. So that should be absolutely cash money. I'm going to put a water pressurizer right there with whatever cash we have left, which is not in the cart. It is in the back of the car right here. Yoink! And then the pressure should be absolutely fine. Every machine down there should have nominal pressure. The output thing. Damn, that's a lot of money. Yeah, I know, Andrea. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. We got 200 bucks. I think that can give us a booster. Yep, here we go. 142. We have 60 left. I'll pay that. I'll I'll pay 59 coins right here. I'll pay that for the for the parking ticket. Consider this. Consider this my parking ticket. Where do we go? Probably have to go up here, right? All the way up here. Uh, this castle looks pretty official. I'll I'll just pay my fine up here in the castle. It's probably a good idea. Probably a good idea to pay my ticket earlier rather than later. I don't really want to be a felon in Hygienia. Oh, hello there. Silent man, wearing a very dapper bow tie. What do you do? He's a grocer. Okay. Good to know. I didn't realize he was gross. Okay, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay my parking ticket, Statue of the King. Thank you for, for the forgiveness. <laughs> I'm the sister. I demand you pay. It, it, I did. I did. I just paid. I just paid. You're gonna have to talk to the king now. It's 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 his problem now. It's his headache. I already paid. Right, good. Now that we've done that, we'll take the uh, intake pipe and we can actually now finally have a use for all the glowing crystals that we've accrued, which is pretty good. So we'll drop this. We won't drop this, actually. We'll, never mind, we'll drop that and we'll put that there and we'll put this right here with the cage facing up. Nope, that's not what we want. With the cage facing upwards. Nope, that's facing downwards. Good grief. Here we go. Yep, that looks good to me, and we've got enough room for all the logic circuits too, so that's fantastic. Uh, let's put the straight pipe back on here. Maybe like right there with all the others. Very good. And now we are going to get ourselves some glowing crystal bars. So we're going to grab this, we're going to cast it, and then we are going to throw it back on the barbecue. Right, right. I don't think we had any others coming up, so we probably didn't need to do it that fast. But my god, 84 kilos of this stuff is actually quite substantial. Right, we'll come over here, and we will drop this. Oh, we don't want that there, actually, do we? Because we want to pressure it. We want to pressure it. Oh, we need the money. Damn, I can't believe I just paid that fine. Oh, no. Oh, we also want a valve, too. So, oh, that's going to really throw a spanner in the works. One, two, three, four, five. So we do actually want to extend this out by one, sadly. Put this one here. And we'll take this one. We'll put it here. We need a couple of straights. One here and one here. One of these straights won't actually be used. One of them needs to be replaced with this. This one needs to go here, unfortunately. Put that there. 
No, we'll actually... Oh yeah, we'll have that facing out this way. And with... Oh no, actually, we'll get the bars from the other side. So we'll swap this around. We'll have it come in from this side. We'll drop this bar in there. We'll close that up. There we go. There we go. So the water pressure intake is going to be absolutely phenomenal now. We are going to take a straight pipe. We're going to put it here. We want to put a water pressure gauge on this one so we can see how crap it is. Right. Let's dump on there. And now we are going to place all of our water filters. Which should be in the back of the truck. Water filter. One right here. Put it here so we can see it. One right here. Good. One right here. Good. And one right here. Good. And five on this side. Only five. Only five on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Because we're going to put a valve on right there so that nothing on the circuit takes any damage when we shut the whole thing off. We want to swap this around. Good. One there. And we want one here. Excellent. And we also want one right there. Sure, we'll skip one because we can just reimburse ourselves right there. And then the last one goes right here. So, now if we get a repair kit and we repair all of the machines down below, none of them will take any damage. And when one of these water filters breaks, still not going to take any damage because the uh, valve just shuts off. So the next issue we're going to have is going to be all about the uh, kind of logic circuits that fix this, which uh, ironically is an electrical circuit we're going to have to put in the water here. Quite funny. Quite funny indeed. Uh, we'll get all of these pipes out of the way because uh, we're pretty much done placing pipes around here until we go downstairs. Let's actually, we'll get a valve with the money we don't have. We'll go and cast some money so that we can buy a valve and we'll also buy a couple of other little cool gadgets. All right, no gold coming. Let's cast this, see what we've got. It's 3,000 buckery booze. Excellent. Good. We're going to take this and we're going to sell it uh, basically at the store. So we need to get into our truck just over here good old good old lofty and right there whoops okay we've got a floating bar <laughs> that's funny that's funny indeed we'll come over here and we will get stuck no we will actually go all the way through we will get stuck on the cart instead we'll get stuck on that pipe as well i think and also that brick great that's exactly what i planned and we are going to push onwards so now we're going to need a couple of rather expensive little items which are more like quality of life things we're not going to get into the logic repair just yet. Oh, here we go. We can do a little a bit of a um, a dance in the in the new truck. Chris in the new truck with a with a saucy dance. How do we like this? How saucy is this? Is it? This game. This game. Oh, I adore it. I adore its jankness. Okay, it fixes itself. Good, and now we're going to go, we're going to reverse all the way to this place. Uh, probably going to also park illegally, unfortunately. Hate to be said. We're going to reverse all the way through here, and we'll park right up here in this little wingding. There we go. So that should be good. I think we're just going to throw everything onto the sail platform right here, and then we are going to be good. And throw everything on the back of the truck. Uh, let's go and sell this hey bar of gold. Yeah, hey, uh, you, do you need a vitamin? You look like you need a vitamin. All right. You do you. Creepy. You tripping. I told you pay and look what happened. You fell over and now I'm not the one paying for the medical bills. I paid. We paid. We paid. We paid the 59 bucks that we could afford. It's all we had. It's all we had. 59 bucks. Uh, now we've got three grand. We're about to spend it on something that'll make us more money. Water pressure gauge hook. Okay, so we need one of these. Just one. Probably just load it straight on the truck actually we need one of these bad boys and we also need a valve hook i didn't realize we could buy these here oh the did the first one we selected puff away maybe huh? Huh? okay we i don't think it disappeared we did it let's move this so we can see oh no there's two of them here uh we don't want this one we'll get rid of that one and now we can go shopping for things we also like so there's some scales here, not really all that interested. Bucket, no, hammer, no. Saw, meh. There's a, a couple of lanterns. We could probably get some lighting. Magnifying glasses. That's going to be really handy, actually. We definitely want one of these. And while I'm at it, we're probably also going to want something that shows us the durability of uh, something as a hook. Right? So water pressure gauge, not interested. Where are we going? Where is it? Where's the hook we need? It's like a... um. 
probably also get a couple of these lanterns, actually. Like, a standing torch would be absolutely fantastic for the, uh... For the pit. It's 150 bucks, though. I don't know. Maybe there's better sources of light. We'll see, actually. There's lighting over here. Okay, so we can buy the standing torch, and we can buy this wall lantern. I think that's actually all of the lighting in the game, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Except for the fireflies. I'll check out the fireflies before we see anything else. Is this for sale? Can I buy this, man? Are you selling the street lamp? Do you own this? What are you looking at? Okay, she's creepy. Let's not talk to her again. Right, so, again, like, I'm looking around. We could probably also get a gem compressor, which would be fantastic, but we still don't have, really have a sorting system for the gems, unfortunately. So maybe that's not the way. Why is that not so big? Why does she look like that? Uh, everybody looks the way they look in this game because they can't afford vitamins or vegetables. They are very expensive to grow. Maybe we just use the magnifying glass. I thought that there was a hook that maybe we could stick onto a device or a little doodad to show us what the durability was. Oh, there is actually, but it's a, uh, it's a logic thing. Okay, so we've got these three things. I'm not really sure if we want anything else. We've got all the hooks we need. Probably get ourselves a better... Better pumps would actually be a really good idea. Okay, good. Because I'm pretty sure what we're pumping in is 100% pressure. These are 250% pressure. Uh, we'll get two of them, I think. What's it going to cost us? 1.8 thousand. That is <laughs> chump change. Good grief. All right, let's get back in the truck. And we'll try and shoot off. Almost just hit somebody uh, lying on a bench. This truck handles like ass. It's actually worse handling than the tier one truck. It's lucky it's faster. It's lucky old uh, Lofty is faster, because honestly, I wouldn't be using it if it wasn't. It's just yucky. I'd probably just almost exclusively choose to use the, uh, what is it, the uh, the quad bike. Quad bike's awesome. Okay, so the reason we got these two intake pipes, there is a good reason for it. It's going to speed up the efficiency of our machines down below. And since all of the damage is being delegated to all of these filters now, it's going to be really good okay so this one does 100 percent pressure this one has 250 percent pressure boom that is an enormous whoa you can actually see the pressure holy hell wow good okay so we'll also take the other one and we'll put it by the sorting system which just should spew resources in at an alarming rate but we also might have to move these items here because it might also spew the resources uh, away from the the forges at an alarming rate uh, we'll get a hammer just over here so we can actually manage this Boop. here we go good and unhooked and we'll put it right here great that is so much faster please don't overshoot it okay let's see overshoot it no it is significantly faster but it actually seems to be aiming more for the center of these crucibles than it was before that is awesome oh my days this is so good look at all the things we're smelting I adore this. Oh, this is the satisfaction of Hydronair, by the way. If, if it's not obvious, you spend hours and hours and hours trying to build up a system, and once it starts flowing like this, it's so amazing. It is so, so unbelievably amazing. I adore it. I actually adore this. Okay, so we probably actually have enough iron to go and get another couple of machines, but we'll... Wait just a little bit longer. Just a, a smidge longer. We now want to probably... Probably want to take this booster, right? The thing that we... No, not the booster. We don't want the magnifying glass. We want this here hook so that we can turn off the entire system at once. We want to put it basically here. Uh, Yep, it'll do. Is it still going? No, I turn it on. Excellent. Man, that pressure is crazy. If we plugged all of the holes, we would have way higher pressure too, but we aren't even doing that. So this right here is a water pressure gauge hook. We're going to hook this in right after the water pressure hook right here. We're going to stick it on the side. Right here. 177! Wow! Wow! That is insanely powerful. We could probably also get another one for this side too, but I don't think it's really necessary just yet. Okay, so maybe 
We probably do need an ore centralizer, don't we? Because I, I don't really want anything to glitch out, all these ores to fall off the side or anything like that. Because that'll just build up crap. That'll just flush the game out. I don't think anything has fallen off the side, though. Because there's no ores down here. Not since we did the last purge. I am the girl who said you have to pay the bills and you still have to. Okay, uh, Skylar Tips, I, I've already paid it. I've already paid it. I feel like I've already paid it. I'm not going to pay it again. Uh, we have something here in New Zealand called the Consumer Guarantees Act, which means you, if you if you pay for something, you get it. <laughs> Essentially. Okay, we have a lot of gold. I'm actually going to shut this off, and really quickly, we're going to see whether or not we can get a little bit more iron into the smeltery, because we've already got 60 kilos of iron still at the other base. Okay, we'll wait for that to finish just really quickly. We also want to start basically flooring out this place, don't we? Oh, we uh, there's that uh, artifact, didn't we? Right here. Right here, this artifact. It's a sword relic. Place in the cave with the other relics. Okay, we'll do that right now while we wait for the sorting system to finish. Here we go! It's just around here. Hello there, sir. Hello there, sir. Creepily standing in this alleyway. All right, in this gigantic uh, Pantheon-looking area. No, Pantheon is where gods live. Greek-looking area. Seen any relics? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, we'll stick it over here. No, you pay a little bit of money. You still need to pay it. I think it's fine. I, th I think what we've paid is enough. Uh, is that what we need to... Where do we put it? Like, do we... Oh, no. I can't pick it up. It's glitched. Oh, yes, I can. Here we go. Anything? Please? Game? Try to click on everything. Hello? Gods? Okay, we'll try the other one then. Hello? I swear I, I don't have to pay that parking ticket. I swear... Maybe the gods don't believe me. I don't have to, like, click on something, do I? No. What if I just try and give it to this guy? Hey, buddy. Do you recognize this? Uh. Well, this is embarrassing. You paid 59 bucks, and plus I need to pay my bills for my Robux. I don't want to be a noob, and I don't want to be bullied for my avatar. That is uh, a very heartbreaking story. That is a very tragic story. But unfortunately, uh, inflation really, really uh, got to this place. Inflation absolutely uh, it just toasted whatever the, the king demands, so we, we have to pay a pittance of it. Which is quite lucky, actually, because without that, we'd be we'd be down like four grand. All right. We only have uh, 987 bucks as well. So, right, okay. Let's see how much iron we have. Boop. We have enough for the, for the machines. We're going to go and make two more machines. We're going to bring it back, and then we're going to make ourselves a house. I think that's going to be the way. I think that's definitely going to be the way. Oh, we also left the uh, magnifying glass here. So what this does is it's a little bit unique. You hold it over an object that takes durability damage, and it will show you the uh, kind of durability it has on the handle there. So this is at 65, this one's at 73, 80, 88, 96, and there's five over here that haven't taken any damage. But when all the circuits go down, uh, <laughs> this one will take damage. So basically you're transferring zero damage to the machines whatsoever. Oh. Apparently there's a... Wow, this thing's range is insane. 26 on the uh, the lower crusher. And the thumper has 52 durability. That's okay. That's not going to go down. We'll kind of leave that where we need it, which is just over here. And then we'll go and make two more of these machines. Because we've got enough. We've got enough to do so. All right, here we go. Uh, I think we'll take the bridge this time. I don't think we've taken the bridge in this session. I think we're doing pretty damn well just kind of going through the river. But we'll take the bridge this time because I think we need the, the elevation and this truck is... Oh my god! <laughs> it's hard to handle. Oh my god. This this thing is like if J-Lo were a car. I think only millennials will get that one. It's almost time for my bedtime. I have to go. Happy, hope you get lots of subscribers. Thank you so much. They have been coming in droves. It's actually been really, really cool. Growth has been good since I started streaming. So thank you so much. You have a great sleep. Oh, I had a collision. Let's hope the uh, the tax, tax man didn't see that one as well. Okay. So I think three machines is actually going to be pretty productive. And then we'll start getting into the habit of making multiple machines at once. 
And by saying that, I don't mean two machines at one go. I think we'll just like accrue so many iron bars that we can kind of like double our setup every single time we uh, come here to Ice Helm. We're at a pretty good place. I think we are going to need a pallet. Unfortunately, they're about 500 bucks. We're going to need a pallet to get all of the homewares that we need at uh, home. Uh, okay, so we'll put that in there. We'll craft whatever this is. And then we'll swap out the big wang doodles. Whee! Jump over here and we'll drop that right there. And it's gone forever. Good. We'll swap out these wang doodles right here. Put that on the ground. And we'll put the thumper wang doodle right there, which costs a little bit more. We also need the iron bar that is output right over here. I wonder why the output isn't over here. Like, I get that it might be gravity, but huh? might not be. Huh? Might not be gravity. Oh, can I not afford this? Oh, no, I can't. Because we put we had two iron bars there, right? So the 60 iron bar uh, is still in there, right? And this one is going to tip us over the edge. But... Man, that thing comes down like crazy fast, doesn't it? Okay, we'll take this. I didn't want to place it. No, 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 no. Can we place it down here? No, we can't. Okay, good. And it's gone forever. Good. Wonderful! We probably should have parked our car where it belonged. Uh, I'm going to take this iron home. Because we don't know how much it weighs. We didn't really pay attention to that. I think it's going to be like 70 kilos or 80 kilos maybe. So the next uh, mining area we want to go down is actually down here. Underneath this bridge. I jumped down here before to get to the shop really quickly. But down here where we picked up all of our resources. There is also another mine. It's not downwards. It is kind of more horizontal. And it's kind of trickier to get through simply because of all of the extra requirements for the next tiers of items. Stones are down here. Now we just have to wait for the, the good old spine compressor to come down here. And crunch. Great. We've compressed our spine. Wonderful. I love that. I love I love a good spinal compression. No, I don't. That is the honestly, that is the worst thing in the world. I don't know why I said that. I hate spine compressions. I was a builder for five years. I know what spine compressions are, are like. Oh, they're awful. So bad. You don't know a spine compression until you've uh, moved literally two tons of powdered cement by hand in a single day. That, is, that was a rough one on my back, actually. It wasn't the worst day I've ever had. I think um, maybe taking down three floors worth of scaffold on a million dollar house was probably a bit worse on my back simply because you don't just... You don't just pick it up like a deadlift and throw it on your, your shoulders. You literally have to dismantle the whole thing. Got to raise your arms up like you're uh, like you're benching it. Very, very painful. I don't know how scaffolders do it. I don't know. I, I Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know a single scaffolder over the age of like 25. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Maybe the scaffolders over 25 end up like hiring scaffolders under 25 to do the scaffolding for them. Then they, they pay them like less to do it. Oh, my poor back. Yeah, it's rough. It's it's real rough work. It's super rough. It's not the worst work in the world. It's satisfying at the same time. Once at the end of the day, you've lifted all of that cement, uh, you get to look at a pile of cement. I know that office workers, they they lift a pile of cement and all they've basically got at the end of the day is a spreadsheet, which is a different kind of work. Uh, we'll weigh this first. 74 kilos. I was spot on. And we'll throw this right in the crucible. Now we want to turn everything on. Right, don't we? We want to... Ah, uh, it's supposed to be on. Why is it not? Zero water pressure. Do we not turn this on? Oh, no, we didn't. But why? Why didn't we turn that on? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Okay, we still have 987 buckery booze. Uh, we could probably actually see how much gold we've got really quickly while the machine kind of catches up. Yep. Excellent. That's a lot of gold. That's four and a half thousand dollars. We could probably actually make a house out of that. I think we do that. I think we set this up and then we actually get started on that house. Uh, I can't see anything. Right. So this thumper will go right here, right there. And we kind of don't have any egress around here. So we'll get the pickaxe, I suppose. And we'll dig out a little bit further so we can uh, kind of get around all the machinery when we come, when we come down here. Here we go. The most thrilling part of the game. Digging dirt into the void. We also still have one straight uh, conveyor belt, which is just fantastic too. So we don't have to go anywhere to kind of finish off this this new efficiency that we're about to set up. We probably also want to maybe just get rid of this entire gap in between the the pipe hole and where we're working as well, maybe. Or maybe 
all set up like kind of like a stairwell into the new house that we are going to build on top of this thing. Maybe that'll be what we do. Maybe. Although I actually see... No, I didn't actually see. I thought that maybe we'd found the uh, wall limit, but we hadn't. Bad. We have everything that we could kind of like trip over down here as well. Because they do kind of, they stack up against you. Alright, I know it's a little bit dark. We've only got one single lantern down here to work <laughs> by the light of. But I think we are mining out a pretty good proportion of this here area. We're actually going to start have to start, after we get like maybe three more machines down there, we have to, we're going to have to start kind of lining them up that way rather than from this way here. So we kind of maximized this path as best as we can. All right, let's start setting up all of the bits and bobs right here. This can be a L bent and, oh, we also need to mine out a little bit more of this so we can kind of fit the piping in here too. Good. We need an L bend to go right here. And the reason I'm not using the one we've already placed is because we have, uh, we don't need to take this down. We don't necessarily need to take that down. We just need to replace it with a T-junction because taking that uh, elbow right out there would put this machine out of commission, which would halve a turnover. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to use business words in a video game. Isn't that crazy? Okay, let's go upstairs with the magical unstuck button and we will get the other machine. And then we'll shove something up this, uh, this one's bump, the thumper's bump. The bumpers. Kind of hard to place, actually. Put it there, oriented that way. Very good. Now we need a single straight pipe, which, uh, strangely, we didn't give ourselves down here. We will go to the unstuck right here. Finally finish work for the day. That is fantastic. Did you do a good day's work? That's always the question I used to ask myself when I was actually working and not just playing YouTube for fun. And the answer usually was yes. The answer was, was usually an unequivocal yes. Uh, we don't need this, actually. We are probably going to dump this into... Uh, old yellow over here. Boop. We're going to shove it in there and we're going to forget about it altogether. We need a straight pipe, which we're going to find in this nice new cart. Always. That's good. That's really, really good. I can't... I literally have never done a day of work where I haven't, like, tried my best. It's kind of a curse as well. Kind of a curse. All right, let's uh, fire into here. And we've got a straight, but we don't want to stick it where we think we want to stick it. We want to stick it right here where the conveyor belt goes. And then we also, because we forgot to do so, want to throw a straight conveyor down the hole. Is this it? Yeah, we still have one straight conveyor. Excellent. Here we go. And in the hole we go. We want to face it the right way. I think it's facing the right way. Good. Awesome. And now we want to turn this on and we're going to go get the shovel. And we are going to buff this right up the thumper's bottom. Boop. Here we go. And now it should thump all over the place. Oh, the T intersection. I forgot to replace the T intersection right at the back. Okay. Up we go with the magical unstuck button and we'll grab one of these T's. We'll come down here. Oh, there's the T. Okay, let's put this one back in the cart. I didn't realize we already had one halfway down the, <laughs> the hole. The other hole. Okay. The poo hole. This is not a very good one. Uh, we probably need to pipe in here, right? And we probably also need to pipe in from behind. Don't know if we've done it already. No, we have not. We still... Oh, we need that... We needed that other T. We needed the other T all along. Okay, we'll come and get it. This one right here. And this is it. With this, we have finished off our third machine and we can start focusing on the delicious mechanics of house building, which I've never done before, by the way. So it's a little bit new to me. It's a, a little bit exciting, actually. Okay, almost. Boom! Oh! Triple thumper! Tree umper. Yeah, there we go. Nice! Oh, that feels so goddamn good. We've got three machines working in unison, pumping resources into our pockets. Uh, I'm going to use this repair kit here to kind of repair these uh, machines that are already damaged. A little bit damaged down here. This one and this one, and we've lost it. This one probably needs a little bit of repairing, but at least none of them are ever going to take damage again. Uh, we've only got one pipe in the pipe hole here. So, we're going to gap it out of this hole, and we are going to think about building a house. Which is why we needed that gold. That's right. We needed that gold to do so. So, we've got four and a half grand here. We've got another 900 bucks right here. Probably going to drop all of this on there. Let's take the quad. Let's take the quad into the city, and we'll see if we can't, like, put a pallet on it. Because we don't need this gold or this, or this money on us at all times. If we can put a pallet on the back of this thing, then we should be in a grand, grand place. 
Oh, it carries the... Carries the bucket. That's good. So we can actually carry more than one thing on here. I've been to meeting for the last two hours. Mind showing me the whole setup? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, so I won't gap it out of here just yet. I named him Lofty. I named him Lofty. I decided, because, uh... <laughs> All of the votes had one vote, and none of the votes were uh, really very well thought out otherwise. Like, Neon Fart was probably the worst one that I could think of. But Lofty was a good one. So, what we've got here is... I'll show you the first bit first, which is down in this dark, dingy hole. I'll get this lantern we can see. We've got these uh, thumpers right here, which uh, thrust this here soil that I've buffed up the butthole of the thumper into this grinder. This grinder processes materials into raw resources, which are going on this conveyor, and if I stand on this conveyor, we can actually pretend that we are in fact one of these re raw resources ourselves. Just, or not, we can get stuck on here too. We go all the way up this right here. Aha, uh -huh, yes, yes, we've got lots and lots of buffers. No, I think Thumper is probably better than Buffer. Got lots and lots of uh, conveyor belts that basically come up here into the main thoroughfare of how we're working. Uh, you'll see over here, that we've got 10 pipes with a water pressurizer and a pressure reader right there. We can turn off the pipes whenever we want with just a click, and we should stop. Never mind, we're on the wrong system now. Uh, let's enable this so that the machines aren't out of action. These here are water filters. Five of them equates to 100% water purification, which means the machines don't take any damage, but these also take damage. We've got a, a magnifying glass just over here that we can use to kind of identify how much damage they have taken. This one's at 37%. And when they break, the whole circuit stops. So we're going to need to set up some logic on that to auto-repair all of those things with something called uh, a spanner hurtling unit, which will basically throw a repair object at the item as it breaks or as the durability hits zero. Okay, we're still crouched. Moving on a little bit. Uh, we used a magnet on a stick to get rid of the gigantic mess that was all around the place uh, with pretty precise accuracy. And if we come all around here, we have the sorting system, which is now really satisfying to look at. But before I show you that, this right here is an upgraded pipe with an intake that triples the water pressure, which means the speed at which these here uh, conveyor belts are going is significantly faster. And we're actually just seeing the fruits of our labors with the third machine coming in now. We can now watch all of these resources just get funneled into all of these here cauldrons exactly where they need to be. That is essentially the setup that we've uh, spent four hours getting so far. And I'm going to delve a little bit into the base building. I'm at least going to get the materials to build a base. Maybe we won't kind of build a big base so far, but we definitely want to take this kind of setup that we've got right now. We want to floor over all of the kind of soil that we have here. We want to get rid of all of the soil, essentially. And then we want to start building another one of these uh, thumper systems that we have here kind of a one lift up and we want another conveyor system going onto this lift right here which i'm just planning out now in my head i didn't realize that we could do this in advance but the mistake of having this right here means that we can put another conveyor system all the way through here with another lift of the resource machines now they're going to be less efficient so what we're going to be doing in the future is filling out this entire bottom section of uh, all of these machines and they give us the most effective form of ores which is like between around about two to three kilos of ore with each one of these. So if I take this lump of gold right here and I weigh it, this one weighs, this is a pretty average one, it weighs two kilos, which is pretty damn good because we are absolutely spewing resources into here. We need 400 iron to get ourselves uh, another set of thumpers and crushers. Uh, and this gold is just coming like absolute crazy. Where's the other gold? I think we didn't even spend it, right? We stuck it on the, on the quad. Yeah, in the bucket right here. So I'm actually, while we're here, we're going to take that explanation's worth of gold uh, manufacturing. We're going to pick it up, put it there, and we're going to drop this back where it belongs before any other gold can uh, kind of spill out. And we're going to see how much it weighs. It is 4,000 bucks. So, in the time it took me to explain all of this infrastructure to you, we made four grand. That was it. We made 4,000 buckery boots. That is absolutely insane. And we're about to take the quad away to see if we can buy a pallet to put on the back of the quad because then we can transport all of the home resources through one vehicle. This one very agile and quick vehicle, which is probably my favorite one. I'm going to name it Gap It. I'm not going to put up a vote. I'm just going to name it Gap It because <laughs> that's what it does. Okay, we're going to do a big, a big jump over here. That was lackluster. Really disappointing, actually. Even the crash at the bottom sucked. 
Wish I could do that IRL. You probably could. It'd cost you a few million dollars, and also you'd need the land rights to mine, but... <laughs> if you've got infinite resources to mine, you could definitely do this. Uh, let's actually back up this, this gap at... this gap at us, and we will go all the way over here to this here jeweler. Right here, because we want to be able to sell our gold. I don't know how much we're going to get for this. Probably about seven, eight grand. Eight and a half grand. Wow. So with this, and stacked on top of what we already have right here, we have a total of... 9,000 buckery boos. That is absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? That's insane. We had nowhere near that amount of money in the last two sessions that we played. So this run here has been incredibly lucrative. Right, let's check out these, uh, these housing bits. We're going to need a pallet first. We are definitely going to need a pallet. Mm -hmm. uh, we need money on the pallet. Right here, we're going to buy this thing. We're going to see whether or not we can put a pallet on the back of this here truck. Sorry, uh, quad. And if we can, we'll be able to basically transport all of the construction mm -hmm. materials. Home. Oh, it's close. It's very close. Mm -hmm. It's very, very mm -hmm. close. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes! Perfect! Does it, does it snap? No. Oh, we need to get the truck in here. Okay. Yeah, you would make a lot of money doing this IRL. Yeah, you would make heaps of money doing this IRL. I mean, a kilo of gold IRL is... Actually, I don't know the value of a kilo of gold IRL. I know that about 100 grams of, of gold was 40 grand back in 2012. But other than that, I don't, I don't know what the gold conversion is. It's, it probably goes up, right? Every time there's like some kind of global hardship, the value of gold skyrockets. Also, if anyone's interested in, uh, like, trading and stuff, there's alternative trading than the stock market. You can actually buy your money in gold, right? It's, when there's an act of terrorism on a country, it's probably better to invest in gold before the act of terrorism and then sell it right as the act of terrorism goes up. Uh, from my knowledge, this is called jackal trading, and I was part of a, a, a bunch of uh, jackals way when I was a teenager. I didn't have the money to trade, but God, those guys were smart. They never let a crisis go to waste. 76k at the moment for a kilo of gold or 100, 100 grams because that would have gone down that, that, the price would have gone way down my uh, stepfather when I was growing up who I, I do not like did not like uh, he was always the kind of guy that wanted you to be afraid of him uh, he was a gold miner for a bit so we ended up having a lot of gold just kind of like lying around our house as, as kind of like thank yous from the I got from the, the company if you got the cash Okay, so what we want is a pallet of these gigantic floors right here, and then we're going to start filling out our base with them. One, mm -hmm. two... Oh, what? They don't stack on the pallet? Come on! What is this? Really? Oh, this pallet's worthless. Okay. All right, let's just back the mm -hmm. truck up in here, and we'll just buy a bunch of these and load them onto the back of the truck, I suppose. A kilo, 76 kilos... Okay, 76,000 bucks a kilo is... Nah, that's not great. That's not great compared to uh, how it's been over the last, like, 20 years or so. It, it does fluctuate, though. It's always least expensive in times of peace. Okay, we'll dump that right there, and hopefully we'll be able to reach everything from where we need to be. Uh, yeah, just need to dump these on the back here. This is horrible. <laughs> I hate this. Uh, we can't reach it. Or can we? No, not even remotely close. All right, looks like we're back in the car up even further into the store. That's fine, I can do that. We'll just, like, readjust if we need to actually purchase it. Okay, that looks good to me. Oh, hello there, ma'am. Uh, I was just burning my face off with that torch right there. Jump up, and jump up, and jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up! Come on! Got the goods if you got the cash. All right, come on. Come on, game. Oh, actually, I've got a creative way up. We're going to take the stairs. Wow, I'm surprised this actually worked. Good. Good, 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 good. Can we still reach the damn thing we need to buy? No, oh, almost. Uh -huh. So close. We need to jump. Good thing we don't fall off the edge. we got to aim, like, right at that corner, to the, though, which is a little bit of a eater. Pain in the ass. But it is what it is. We could probably just move the truck further in here, but don't really want to do that. It's, sh it's a real shame there's not, like, a flatbed truck in this game, because that would be probably the goods. one thing that I would want added to this game is kind of like a freebie. Okay, we'll drop that right there, or we could drop it on the floor. Uh, I know it looks like absolute garbage, but we are going to be walking out of here like a bandit. 
We're going to have a foundation where we can have a house. We're going to be at a really good place with our money, which we don't really want to lose underneath all of this crap, actually. Oh, no. Have we lost it? No, it's right there. Good. Okay, so we'll get ourselves... Hmm. Let's look at the options. There is a wooden doorway here. Let's get a doorway so we can have a door to go in. We'll get a wooden wall. Maybe we'll make it like a, a four by three cabin initially. We'll need three of these for one side. There we go. Another one. And we'll need another three for a, another side. Then we'll need another three for the front, including the door, which would make it four. Okay. That's three. And then we need another three for the old... The old sides. Gotta kill these bad boys. I've lost count. I think that is three. And then we need four for the back. We could probably put a door in, but we won't do that. Uh, one, two. And this one here is going to be three. And this one here is going to be four. By the way, we've made $4,000 while we figured out how to, how to put all of this crap on there. Because I'm looking at the timer... Uh, of how long the stream has been going. It's only 500 bucks. My God. I'm looking at the timer. And uh, it's been as long as it took to explain the entire uh, workflow. Now, we don't really want a flat roof. That would be silly. We probably want a... Okay, we'll need another... Ugh, okay, I don't know if there's any, like, half roofs. But we're going to need two of these peaks. You huh? won't find better huh? prices than huh? these. The builder in me knows that much. Two peaks. One... Two. And we're also going to need maybe four of these angled bits. Unless there's kind of like an easier way around this. There's not really. Okay, so we're going to need another four of these. Now, I'm not sure if these are as tall as the wall. It is as tall as the wall. So we're going to need another two of these. Let's not forget these. Another two of these bad boys to go above the house. We could probably actually get a window in one of them as well. I don't know if the window's cut out. But we are going to figure that one out together, I think. Right, one, two, and then we're going to need two facing the other direction. One, and two. Now, we're also going to need some uh, piles. These here, some wood pillar foundations. I think we'll get... How, what have we got? we got a three by four, so we'll get one, two... We'll get four of these. I don't think it's big enough to justify having a bigger foundation, honestly. I, I just don't think it is. Unless we've got an enormous deck. Do we want a deck? Do we want a deck? Do we want a deck? I think we want a deck. Okay, so these are kind of like half floors. I don't think there's like any half long floors. I think there's only kind of like one of these or the other. We could probably actually get a wall and just angle it sideways. But I think maybe if we've got a three by four, then coming out of the front door, we probably want a deck of some sort. So maybe, maybe like a cozy... Okay, we'll get two of these. Right, hear me out. We'll get two of these, which will equate to one of these floors. One, two, right here. And then we'll get a staircase that crosses across both. Nice. And then we'll get two of... Uh, no, three of these. And we'll angle them along the... We'll angle them along the outside, alongside the staircase. Yeah, I think that's pretty good, actually. That's, that's, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Uh, we're going to need four by three roofs, uh, floors, unfortunately. One and two. Huh? Huh? Two and three and four. And we're going to need another two loads of that. Four and one. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, this reminds me of drumming lessons. And two. But a really crap teacher. And three. Can I just play the drums? No. Learn counting on uh, 20 beat per second music. And four. <laughs> and one. Almost went five. I have actually had drumming lessons. Going five is a, a bit of a bit of a dirty thing unless you're using obscure timings. Two. And three. And four. Boom. Okay, so that's all the flooring set out. Let's talk about roofs. So we're going to need two of the, uh, four of these. Actually, we can just flip them around. Yeah, we can just flip these around. So I'm just going to get the uh, the normal, uh -huh. the normal uh, uh, flat slanted roof, I think. 
can't remember what it's called. I know it's not a peak and gable. That's one where you've got like two slanted roofs cut away into each other. One, two, three. Huh? 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 Three. And then maybe a cutaway? Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so we're going to get another one of these. We'll get four. Huh? huh? Just drop the damn thing, you oaf. And then we want another four. Another load of four for the other side. Good. Pick it up! <laughs> and two. And three. And four. Man, you can do anything in gaming, right? And we're also going to want these uh, kind of angles right here. These peaks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can do anything in gaming. I'm just realizing uh -huh. now that I'm, I'm able to buy uh -huh. a house. Uh -huh. My god, just put the damn thing in the truck. What uh -huh. are you, simple? This is an idiocracy. Just drop it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, one. <laughs> We've made a bit of a mess in here as well, unfortunately. Uh huh? Uh huh? Uh -huh. I don't know how to put this down, huh? Uh huh? Uh -huh. Okay. Can't see anything. Uh huh? Uh -huh. Drop the damn uh -huh. thing! Stop that up! Uh -huh. Oh my god. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have a conniption. Uh, uh, Dude! Uh, Dude! Seriously! What if we like stick it out like here? Uh, uh, Can we just like uh, No. Uh, uh, okay, this is this is embarrassing. Okay. I don't know how many peaks we already have, probably like one. Okay, we're gonna have to take the stairs up now because the truck is too full, it seems. Or we could not! Oh my days! Okay, good. And two. I need another two of them, unfortunately. We're going to take the stairs up because obviously... <laughs> Are you taking the piss? I haven't even left the store. Come on, game. Work with me here. Grief. <laughs> Not rocket surgery. I'm trying to buy things. It's too big. I shouldn't be, be complaining, actually. That's good value for money. A whole house. A whole house. Okay. Let's buy them. Wow, that is a cheap house. Still have seven grand left over as well. Let's just drop this in the back. Okay, so we should have the foundations for making a house. Uh, this guy is not in a great position. Ah, well. Say la vie. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> and into the lake they go. Good. All right, so we probably overloaded the back, which is why we're spinning out like crazy. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Very cash money, very cash money. Very good, very good, very good, very good. What did I miss? I was gone for a while. Uh, you missed me uh, trying to rage, panic, get a bunch of housing materials into this truck. And we are just about to try and build our first cabin. Ever. Ah, I can't see anything. Where am I? I can't see anything if I jump either. What if I just, like, move around? Okay. There we go. I'm out. I'm free. Let's do a sleep. Oh, my days. That was very frustrating. Good. Let's get rid of this uh, bed. Put it over here. Can we use this here? No. Okay. And we've got a floor that we'll put over here. And we'll also move this cart, I think. Oh, the water filter broke. Uh, we'll repair that. That's fine. In fact, actually, we better do that before we start building this. Oh, piss. Oh, no. We've buried our money. It's gone. It's literally gone. Oh, dear. Uh, let's start piling out these uh, wooden floors, I think. Okay, good. And maybe we'll find our money underneath. Because we're not making any money while the water filters are broken. Uh, put this one out here. That's four in a stack. Here's five. I hope we're stacking them in the right place. Because if we are not, we're going to have... Uh, I'm going to throw hands. I'm going to throw hands. Okay. And under here. Uh -huh. Stack it up there. Stack this up here. Good. And we'll stack this one up here as well. Uh -huh. It's a shame we've lost all of our money in the pile, in the pile of stuff. I think we've just uncovered it. All right, good. And is that it there? Oh, yes, it is. Thank the Lord. Okay, so we're going to come out here and we are going to buy ourselves a repair kit. Boop. Good, and we'll get one of these. Very good. Done. We now own a repair kit. Excellent. Wonderful. So we can now start generating money once more. The sorting system is never going to go down unless we turn it off. Let's repair that bad boy right there. And we should be good. Let's leave all these repair tools in the water. 
because uh, honestly, they belong in there. I'm not sure all the other ones. That was 22, 99. 22 is probably going to go next, which is probably why we need to set up the uh, logic circuits, but we don't have to do that just yet. Okay, so we want nobbins. We want nobbins on this level right here, and I think we want to start building our house maybe about maybe here. We'll put it there. Put that there. Get a few more of these piles. Sorry, foundations. The piles are going to be going on top of these. And three and four. So this should be the first kind of like foundations for the house. One here. And there is a reason I'm kind of using the notch uh, kind of on top. The reason is that we want a flat surface on the bottom. Uh, yeah, and I'm pretty sure it'll be absolutely fine. We probably won't need to take away any soil from here. We can probably just dig it up from beneath. But w how would we know otherwise? We don't actually want to, to spend ages doing that. Okay, one here. We actually need another two of these. We only have one. Damn. Ah, oh, ploppers. Ploppers indeed. Ploppers, 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 ploppers. Uh, can we access the piles? No, we can access the floors, which we are just going to dump on a pile right here. One here, and one up huh? here. Oop. Huh? One here. I think this is it. I think this is the last floor. Get all the building materials out before huh? we kind of worry about going back for another piece of these. In fact, we might go back for another few pieces of those. Ah, here's the piles. Wonderful. So we want a three by four, right? So one pile has to start essentially here. We'll put it in each corner. One there. And we need another one, which I don't think we can access. There's two little little bits of flooring right here and one right here. Should be good. Duh, that's the staircase that leads up to the floor itself. So now that we've got the piles in there, we need to start unstacking everything else, don't we? This is a wall. I'll put mm -hmm. this here. Huh? Uh, let's actually place this down, like, here, just so we can lean all the other walls against it. Another wall. Good. No, nope, fall the right way, please. Okay, good, that'll do. And one over here. We've got a lot of walls as well. We've got heaps of walls. We basically just kind of want to lean them down on top of each other until we get to the uh, roofing. There we go. Nice. Nice. We are going to go back for those uh, foundations, though, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. That is something that's going to happen. So we'll drop that down there. That's not even a wall. That's n that's not even a wall. That doesn't belong there. That's a piece of the roofing. Uh, that can go literally anywhere else. Sure, it'll go right there. We'll make a bit of a mess, and we'll clean it up later. This is definitely a wall. Uh, boop. There we go. Here we go. We've got access to the piles again. So, all right. So we're doing a three by four, aren't we? So we need another pile here, and we're also going to need some kind of decking to go up front as well. And we're going to basically layer out this entire area with these slabs right here. So we want to put this one in this corner, right here, right there, and we need the other two. I don't think we've got access to the other two. I think we might be in a bit of a pickle. Nope, nope, here's one. Huh? Just drop it, my dude. And there's one more somewhere in there. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. I'm pixel hunting. No. No. I'm really trying to, like, move my mouse. Oh, there, there it was. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's put this one down here. Right there. Great. And I think we have to go and get uh, five. Five. Five more of these. Five more of these. Kind of consider our, our foundations ripped and ready. So we can do that right now. Is our money around? Do we, do we have our money? Did we... What do we do with our money? We left it over here, didn't we? Okay, we'll go and get this money right here. Seven grand, that'll give us five foundations right away, basically. Uh, let's get in the back of the car. And we're good! Look at us go! Man, we're nailing this. We're making one more trip. I know our, the car kind of looks like a house car. It won't look like that forever. Lofty literally looks like it's got a loft. It does not. Uh, we'll fire around here. We'll basically do this about as quick as we possibly can. 
uh, we'll back our booty up into here. Kind of, we'll, we'll try and maybe angle it like this. I guess it's probably going to be the best way. Uh, yeah, five foundations. If you could move them in for me, I'd be grateful, but I know you can't. Captain NPC. All right, up here, and we need a few of these bad boys. One. Huh? Huh? One. Two. Three. Four. And five. So this should cost us a hundred buckery boos. It does. Good. Excellent. We have enough. And now we can drive out of this place. Let's go! Onwards! Onwards and upwards. We've been generating so much money, by the way, in the background of, of this kind of, like, little sideline. We've been absolutely nailing the money generation. Right, we'll come up here. And we'll go around our usual route, or we could hit that lamppost as well. I fully planned on doing that. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, come down here. Probably want to back up a little bit this way. Let's get rid of that elbow pipe, because I know it gets in the way. Where is our cart? It's up here, isn't it? Well, not anymore. Now the pipe is there. Uh, we'll back this up a little bit further. There we go. It should be awesome. All right, let's start getting these placed. This one is way too close to my face. Uh, we'll put this one way off there, and now we'll also get another one kind of way off here. We want the deck to basically overlook all of the industry that we are going to make in here. Because this is going to be our, our first home, I think. We'll get one here. So these piles, I'm going to put this one actually uh, a little bit closer, right here, so that the deck doesn't look like absolute ass. I think, would be a good idea. And another one right here. Good, that's pretty good places for a pile. Uh, let's start placing the floors. One, maybe... Uh, wait, why have we got foundations if we can't place on top of them? Why? Uh... Oh, hey. Well, this isn't good. Uh, this is good. This is probably good. So if we just kind of like flatten out this entire area with just planks. Oh, that looks really good, actually. Yes, we want that. We've got some floating planks way off in the distance. I don't really care. Uh, let's get that one there. And we'll grab another one. Some of them are adhering to gravity. We don't really need these uh, foundations then, if that's the case. We probably just want to put them in the corners of the house. I thought that we could maybe put things on top of them, but that doesn't appear to be the case at all. Uh, we actually need to spin this around. Maybe like... This? Yep, that looks pretty good. And we'll get another one right here. We'll get another one right here. Wonderful. Another one right here. Our foundations are going pretty damn well. I can hear the machinery is stopped, so we are going to go over here and repair the water filter. There we go. And now we're going to carry on with the house. Wonderful. One right here. And one right here. Very cash money. One right here. Now, I don't know what I was thinking with this kind of decking. Oh, no, I know exactly what I was thinking. We need to get rid of this, and we need to replace it with two little ones. I think. So that we can get the stairs up there. Because we want these two little ones to butt right into here. Essentially. We could probably just do this, and then put the foundations uh, around, right? Like this? Like, this looks pretty damn good. It looks like a real sturdy house. Good, good. Another one. Oh, no! I'm in the hole! That's embarrassing. Uh, okay, I'm also stuck, so let's utilize the unstuck button. Good. Hopefully we don't fall in the hole every time we leave our house. Okay, right there. I'm going to put this right in the corner up here. This one can go right in the corner up here. Oh, the, it's facing the right way, right? It's not like uh, it's supposed to be like this. Surely not. Oh, I think it is actually. I think it's supposed to be like this. Okay, well, they're all upside down then, I suppose. Oh, no, that was exactly what we wanted. Okay, uh, we don't need one over here. Let's just put it there. That one can go right over here, and this one can go down into the dirt and soil where it belongs. Wonderful. I actually hate the clipping textures. 
That is revolting. I actually just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Oh god, do we keep them? I don't think we keep them, you know? Okay. Okay, looks like we're elevating them up, like, a little bit higher. Uh, let's fire them up here. Nope, don't want it that way. How's this? This is how we have it. Good. We're going to elevate all of these up. We don't really have a choice in the matter, unfortunately. We're probably going to need a few piles as well to kind of, like, make the house look supported, but... We are going to pack out this entire region with these here foundation blocks. So it shouldn't be awful. It shouldn't be awful indeed. We also kind of want a little farm look out as well, don't we? Okay, a couple over here. Whoops, don't want that there. Put that there. Put that there. Uh, that can go up there. That can go up there. We're going to need two staircases now, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not indeed. There's a staircase. So I wanted to put this here, but it seems like we're going to need another one, I think. And also the piles are busted as hell. They don't work. All right, let's uh, start putting the walls up. We'll put them maybe... We'll put them with the flitch facing inside. Whoops, too far. And on the outside, we'll have it nice and kind of like clean. So I know it's going to look a little bit ass with this gigantic gap in the foundations, but we are going to pad out the rest of this area with foundations, so it's not going to be too ass. Good, and we want this one as well. Good. And we also want this one. I think we have a few walls left unattended, to be quite honest. And this one right there. Let's get some more walls. That is definitely a wall. Put that, maybe not there, but there per se. And we'll get another one over here. One more. That is an angled wall. We do not want that. We want door. We've got a door. That's good. So I was thinking maybe we put the doorway here. That's, I think that's facing the wrong way. Put the doorway here. And then we've got to like move these walls in just a, a little bit more. Oh. Okay, good. And now we move these walls just a little bit in. Excellent. So we're probably actually going to need like... Ah, we want to move this door fully inwards, don't we? Right here, so we can get a nice deck. We'll put that there, and we'll put this here, and we'll put this one way over here. Open this bad boy up. And now let's keep on going with the walls. We're actually going to move this one, because it's not where we want it to be. Now rotate it, put the flitch inwards like that. Then we need a couple more. Uh, that looks like one to me, right there. And maybe another one, please. Yep, that looks like a wall. Let's jump up here, and we will fire this into this doorway right here. And we're also going to close off this gap just over here first. We'll do this one first. And then on the other side, we will put another wall right here. Excellent. Whoops, that's way off. There we go. I like this. Now, we don't have any windows. I imagine that they're going to cut away into all of this. So it shouldn't be too... Kind of barren, right? And now that we've got all of that set up, we can actually take our bed and put it in here. Very good, very good, very good. Where do we want to put it? I'm thinking kind of like... Maybe in this corner right over here. Or maybe kind of like with the pillow facing... Maybe just over here. Over here. Maybe this is a nice place for the bed. Maybe in the corner. Cozy corner. Okay. We're going to sleep through the night, of course. Man, we're doing so well, actually. Look, we've got a house. Well, something of a house. Uh, we want the flitch facing inwards with this. Put that there, and this one is the other side. Wow, what luck. What a stroke of luck. Usually, I just have a stroke. That was that was a lucky one. Uh, there's another one here. I'm just going to drop this outside because we don't need them just yet. That's both of the end bits. Uh, we're going to stick this out here farmhouse style, and we're probably going to do the same on the other side before we forget. We need another staircase. We need another staircase to let us up here. Okay, so let's rotate this that way with flitch inwards, and we will open up this barn, kind of. Uh, it's a very barn style house, isn't it? Like, we could probably put a lift in there for the peak, but I don't really think it's necessary. And it would actually look like a barn. Oh no. This is, uh, 
I think we got one extra of the wrong end. That's not good. Yeah, I think we actually did. So this is a wooden wall. I think we're done with the wooden walls. We probably got too many of them. This one is a slanted roof that can go... The, oh my god. This way. Just over here. Put it right there. And we need a few more of these bad boys to polish off the roof of the house. One right there. Good. One of these right over here as well. Okay, thank you, gravity, for that. We almost have a thatch cabin, which is pretty cool, actually. Come in here. And we've got half a roof. Good. We'll do the other side from this side. Probably makes the most sense. Uh, right there. Good. And we'll grab this. And we'll come up here. Good. We're probably going to need some lamps, aren't we? Some, like, wall torches to brighten up our home as well. The hell? I think something fell in the water, but... But what? What the hell? Okay. I don't really understand what just happened, but thank you very much for the noise. And we need one more roof right here. I think this is the last one to go up on this end anyway. Yep, the roof is fully done other than the peaks. Which I'm actually very glad to take off of the uh, truck. Alright, good. Uh, we still need kind of like half corners up there as well, unless we kind of like want to role play with some smoke ventilation, which I don't really want. If we can fill up this cabin with smoke, I will literally do it for fun. Uh, stick one up here. Uh, thinking about it, we probably want to extend this out as well. Whoops, that's weird. Yep. Because we don't want them flat against the side here. That looks very strange. We probably want them to poke out a little bit, at least a block further. So we're probably going to need another... At least one more peak, so let's just remind ourselves for the next time to do this. Okay, uh, yep, one there, and nope, we don't want them to cross over. We'll get yucky clipping textures if we do that, I bet. Yep, yuck, and there we go, and one more. Come here, there we go, wonderful. So that peak hanging over it should look real nice, that does look really nice actually. We'll put a window in those little uh, slots there, it'll look very cash money. And uh, we've got another wall. Not interested. Oh, we did actually get a peak. Good. So we will uh, make sure that it is glitch facing inwards. Good. And now we're going to jam that up there with our incredibly long arms. Wow. Look at all this. We've got a house-ish. We've got a house-ish. We need one more peak roof and we might even get another... One of these, uh, another four of these kind of slanted, another two of these slanted roofs. We also need another one of these here, uh, roof corners, because we, oh no, we didn't cock it up. No, we definitely cocked it up. Yeah, we definitely cocked it up. We don't need another one of these. Okie dokie, but we have a house. We've actually got a house. It's got a hole in it. We've got a house. We've got two holes in it. It's got a house. We've got a house. We've got a house. Uh, let's go and quickly count up our money before I end the stream because I am very happy with how we left it and I really want to see whether or not we get to keep all this progress because I can do it in real time. I know I know exactly what causes the glitch. I can do this in real time. Uh, we need to turn this off. I'm actually going to go ahead and unhook this thing and I'm going to move it close to the spout right there just so that we actually know where it is. Good. All right. Let's count our wealth. We are standing at 15,167 bucks. Oh my God. Almost a thousand kilos of gold in just this alone. Holy hell, that is insane. Okay, let's burn that down again. Convert that into liquid profit. And this one here, how much is this worth? Oh my God, that is insane. We've got 1.4 thousand kilograms of iron. Whoa. So with 1.4 kilograms of iron, we can actually uh, uh, double our output. Now it is worth doubling our output, which we are going to do in the next session. So I am going to just make sure that it actually saves before I leave really quickly here. I'm going to turn off all of the production for the sake of roleplay. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we want all of that off. I know the floating house looks a bit ass, but we will get more foundations to kind of stack on themselves. It seems like that's kind of like how you're supposed to be doing the, the housing. And I know the foundations here look a little silly as well, but we're going to basically 
cover this entire area in these uh, bricks right here and get a gigantic mining facility beneath them. Right. We're in a really good place right here. Like, this is an exceptionally good place to leave it. We can triple, no, we can double our output, which has basically given us, in the time it took to build a house, which was about half an hour, it's given us double the things we need. So if we do that again, we could probably theoretically, again, double it in another half an hour, and then we'd have a, a gigantic line of 12 machines under the ground here, just absolutely ejaculating resources into our wallet right here. This must be what it's like to be Jeff Bezos, honestly. Okay, let's see if the game saves. Oh my god, if it doesn't, I will I, I, I will I will throw something at my computer. How much is this? I don't know how much of the electricity we've burned through here. Alright, let's do it. Let's save. We've just saved. Okay, everybody just watch me save, right? We are going to go back to the menu. We're gonna save and return to the menu. Yes, let's go back to the menu. And now we are going to load the same save to see whether or not we actually progress. Because we may not. We may have just lost our save by, by saving, which is the intended way of doing it. Okay, for the last time, subscribe. Load save. Oh! All right, well, thank you so much for watching the last episode of Hydroneer. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist of failed Hydroneer playthroughs that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you are going to find yourself a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community personally whenever you want. And until I make the next episode or stream, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye! Damn, that's rough, huh?